Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Day. Day. It's not your official birthday today. You had your birthday no, a couple of days ago, didn't you? On Friday. On Friday. But look, orange We've balloons. balloons. Orange balloons as well, especially for Hannah. Good morning, everybody. We have got the most... Yes, we have. We've got some no secco. Oh. No secco, because it is oh. very early. Yeah. It's very early, but we could have some no secco. We've got a great show today, Hannah. Yeah. I'm producer Hannah, if no one knows who I am. Oh, so I should introduce you, actually, because you haven't been on air in the studio, No, have you? I don't know. I'm looking at all the wrong places, because no. it's very confusing. You're looking at the right it? place. Just just look ahead or look at me. But okay, we've, got, look at you. <laughs> uh, we've got producer Hannah on air. Well, you're going to be in and out of the gallery, so yeah. you've still got to produce a bit, haven't you? Today? Yeah, I'll just do a bit of a job. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's really scary out here. <laughs> but you've picked out everything for today's show, haven't you? Yes. Um, we got Fiona in. Yeah. Um, and she's bringing her products with her, but everything else you've we picked. picked. Yeah. It's well, very exciting. Okay. Hannah's actually designed her own panel. Mm. Um, we've got some products that I've not seen for absolutely ages back in stock. Some of the best sellers, some brand new collections as well. I've not seen the new Tula collection. I'm so excited. Yeah. So if you do want to scan ahead, it's all on pre-order. And come on in and get your messages in for Hannah because you haven't been on oh. air actually for ages, but you've probably heard John no. talking about Hannah for years. Literally, this studio is really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. I'm, just, I'm like, I'm just looking at you because I just don't know where to look. Oh, but look, yeah. Delphine's watching. Aww. She says, happy birthday, Hannah McCabe. That's me. Um, we've got Claire watching. Hannah, we're all happy birthday, Aww. Hannah. Keep your messages coming in for us. So, you're going to start your birthday show with a brilliant early birthday. Yeah, we're actually going to do two early birthdays. Okay. One yeah. this hour. One this hour, one at start of nine. Amazing. So, to kick off the show, you've done, a, a, well, whenever we do anything like this, it's always really popular, yes. isn't it? Yes. We've done five fat quarters, designer fat quarters, wow. mystery. Okay. Pack. So, yeah. a pack. 
it's a mystery pack. So mystery gonna, pack. But we've cut them in house, haven't we? Yes. So it's all of our collections. All yeah, so you've got Moda in there, you've got Lewis and Irene. <gasps> oh. Um, oh, there's Moda. Oh, that is lovely. I like all the birds. But we can't guarantee what no. you're getting. Yeah. But it will all be designer and they'll all be fat quarters, so half of a half metre. Oh, look. So that is a lot of fabric, isn't it? You know yeah. when you see sort of like oh, scrap bags or smaller pieces, whereas actually fat quarters, there's loads you can do yeah. with a fat quarter. I'm now unfolding them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can unfold them all. Well, I just think you get, you actually do get a lot in there. Oh, we've got Dawn Taylor watching. Morning, team. Nice. Happy birthday, lovely Hannah. Lo said Thanks. good morning, Hannah. Claire said good morning. Happy birthday, Hannah. Helen said good happy birthday, Hannah. We've got Alison Aww. at the bottom saying happy birthday, Aww. Hannah. From one birthday girl to another. Aww. Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Alison! I uh, hope you're having an Osako as well. Happy birthday, Hannah from Susan. Oh, we've oh. got some more examples as well. Oh. Um, thank you so much. Kat's going to pass them through. Nice. Uh, different examples of what, of what you, you could, could get. get. Um, because as we say, they're all at random. Nice. Okay, we have got loads of you already There's checking gonna out. There's going to be so many treats this morning. And you don't even know the price yet. No. Are you ready? Because you could get five mystery fat quarters. So this is another random selection. Ooh. Oh, I like that one. Oh, Paisley. I do. Lovely. There's some beautiful. Should be nice. 18 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, you're yeah. looking at the next one. <laughs> Hannah's already dipping, her, uh, dipping in. Um, okay. Ooh. Cat's producing, by the way. Cat, hobby maker, producer. Cat. She's popped in after her show it's to come and say hello. All the girls. All the girls. We never get to today. work together. And Bruce. Bruce is in. Oh as yeah, well. sorry, and Bruce. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's, uh, he says, I'm an honorary girl today, Aww, just to say that we're with all the girls. He was talking about curly girl this morning, Oh, me? your hair method, your hair looks lovely, by oh, the way. Oh, no, it looked wet. No, this you've morning. washed it especially for I the have show, haven't you? It. Yeah, anyway, sorry, we're meant to be doing the crash. <laughs> so, it's 18 99 That's supposed to be the price. Remember, five designer fat quarters. <laughs> Shall we go really low, really, really low to kick off Hannah's yeah. birthday show? Go for it, Kat, go for it. Straight down, straight down. Five mystery fat quarters. Oh, there's loads of messages on Facebook Live for you. You're gonna have to read them all when you go in the gallery. 11.99 <coughs> for great. all five. Do you want to, do you want to Prosecco? Yeah, I think it's best. <laughs> it's really hard talking. I've only talked for like two seconds. Oh no, we've got three hours, Hannah, no pressure. Um, happy birthday, Hannah. Congratulations oh. on doing your birthday. Um, Sorry, doing brilliantly in your oh, MA, says Ellen. So, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about the MA once we've had a drink. Yeah, I really need to. <laughs> <laughs> it's very dry in here, isn't it? <laughs> it is quite also, dry. Also, I'm feeling like those messages across the bottom. I was like, just read them, read them. They're really difficult to I read. can't see them. I have to have a look on that screen. I think I'm, I'm starting to realise how horrible I am to present. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, Dawn Taylor, you definitely need to get some Nosecco. It tastes just like Prosecco. I've never tried it. Oh, have you not? I'm more of an alcohol I'm gal, but I understand at work it's not acceptable. Oh, hang on, sorry. I'm really bad at that. Ooh. There you go. What's this, sorry? Oh, yeah, I bought it. It's, it's cold yeah. as well. It's been oh. in the fridge all night. No, there you go. Oh, Cheers, so Hannah. It's hot at the moment as well. I know it's there got go. nothing to do with anything that's happening, but it's so really hot. hot. Cheers. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. There's a um, lot of people buying multiples of these. Well, you can. <laughs> Cheers to multi buyers. Mm. Well, nice fabric. Tula pink. To, yeah, oh well, you could get anything. You could get Cave, you could get Thule, you could get Liberty, you could get Moda. Yeah, Dan Morris. And Nikki says, I got my fat quarters, amazing. Ooh. Watch nine o'clock's early bird. Yeah, sorry, I just got a bubble up. <laughs> oh no, it's <laughs> all going wrong. And I was like, this is just the rehearsal, yeah, no, isn't it? It's fine. Uh, I'm really Margaret good at this. said, I hope you have a hip hop hooray happy birthday, Hannah. <laughs> oh, all the. <laughs> All the, uh, Try and say that after a few no echoes, Hannah. All the no echoes. There you go. I quite um, like this. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. So, what does that make our price per fat quarter? Can we do the maths this in the is gallery? Not me scrambling round for a calculator. Have you found the? Ca Thank you um, for your message. Oh, Tom, why did you tell everybody? I haven't told anybody. I've got a little red nose, and I don't know what's it. A spot? I don't think it is. I think it is. Can you see it? Yeah, I think there's a spot. Come. Oh no, is it one of those that's under the skin? I don't know if it's a bite, I don't know whether it's mm. Maisie punched me in the face. Oh. <laughs> or I don't know whether it's a spot. It spark. looks lovely. But thanks Tom, can you see it on the screen then? Um, right, that makes your price per fat quarter 
two pounds 39. Bearing in mind these are all designer fabrics selected at random, cut in house for you, 11.99. Amazing. That's amazing, isn't it? You know, if ever you go to Festival of Quilts and you see backwaters under, you know, even under three pounds, yeah. especially designer. I always call them the whistle price because you know the episode of Friends where they take the whistles into the wedding Bride dress shop. shop. <laughs> yeah. They have to wear high vis. It would jackets. be that price point where everyone will bring the whistles. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Elbow style whistles. Mm -hmm. I have to wrestle anyone here. Oh, Tom said happy birthday, Hannah. Oh, Pauline thanks. said happy birthday, Hannah. Kate said happy oh, birthday, Hannah. Thank you. Um, everybody who's uh, waking up with us this morning, crack open the, the no secco. Yeah. Morning, Mum, and happy birthday, Hannah. Looking forward to seeing the dungarees. Yes. Well, like, That's going to be great. Obviously, I'm not wearing them. You love dungarees. I do love you? dungarees. So it's kind of the perfect show because Fiona yeah. later is doing bucket hat. Okay. Which I rocked a bucket hat on holiday. Love a bucket hat. Time. Very on trend. Um, and dungarees, which I absolutely just love dungarees. So, yeah, Fiona's show is going to be brilliant as well. Yeah. Oh, Sue's also got her no secco. Oh. Cheers. Um, she said, Michelle said, happy birthday. Bought a couple of fat quarter packs. Mm. Yay. Oh, brilliant. Nice. That's not the end of the deals today. There are so many. Oh, absolutely. There are so many we deals. We did another early bird at nine. Mm. But yeah. also, do you want me to show the panel? Yes, please. Yes, We're please. We're going to talk about it at 11. Okay. I'll um, I think we'll flash the graphics in a moment, yeah. Kat, because everybody's going to be shopping ahead anyway on pre-order. So for anybody who struggles to find it on pre-order, we've got to do it. So, right, talk me through the process of this. You've actually, they're already selling, by the way. Oh, They're already selling. How exciting. This is your first uh, So panel. I thought, it's my birthday, I could cheekily ask, can I design a panel? <gasps> so they let me. Amazing. I know. I was really, so with the help of Lou, the graphic designer, who is yeah. amazing. Yeah. I put together what I'd want as a panel. Okay, and so what did you think initially? What were, what was your what were your thoughts? What's the concept? Oh, we'll talk about it more. Oh, yeah, we'll actually. talk about it more later. I'm going to show it. Okay. Basically, I love travelling places. <gasps> oh my word! I've seen it this morning, and you're going to absolutely oh, love it. It's weird. amazing. <gasps> so it's a massive <laughs> panel. <laughs> With like oh, this is great. A map of the world that you can then embroider onto where you've been or colour in where you've been. Oh, I love it. Or just leave it. You could use this as a piece of fabric to make like an iPod cover yeah. or like a laptop cover or make it as a massive garden pillow <gasps> oh, with like that is the gorgeous. map or like in a kid's room kind of massive pillow across the top of the bed. And then along the bottom, I wanted loads of different project labels. So mm -hmm. I think it's important to be proud of what you've made. Oh, it's so important. And yeah, like, it's great. And I love so, the colour palette that's used. Yeah, I wanted, as well. like, because it was like a rainbow, but not like gender specific. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it could be for anyone. Yeah. And if you just cut it off and keep this strip for general in your stash, yeah. not even for this project. And little applique, I'm now in the way of this. No, you're not. Little applique bits of like, yeah. as if they're all stamps and things make like passport covers or oh, you've made great bags use and of things. this yes. yeah well because you know i see a lot of panels coming through and then i'm like oh i want the best bits of everything that's it oh someone who's gone traveling or yeah. you know or a new gift. home or, or someone that lives the other side of the world as a gift yeah. or to remember where you've been yeah like if you're covering a no notice board as well perfect and I, I kind of thought of, you know, those kind of scratch off maps yes. where we stayed on holiday. There was one and people were scratching off where they that they were from. Yeah. Oh, in that's the kind a great of holiday idea. home and stuff. And then little bits to make fabric postcards. Oh, look at this. So not only have you got all of these applique sort of stamps, you've also got four postcards as well. Yeah. We've got some of the, the interfacing, actually, that you can make your own fabric postcards, yeah. which I know lots of people love to do. So they're included on the panel as well. Oh, yeah. this is brilliant, I isn't it? It was cool. <gasps> that is so cool, isn't it? Nice. Yeah. We'll, we will talk about it a bit more later, but I just, I was really excited and oh, proud. Oh, well, look at the graphics. It actually says Hannah McCabe's Adventure oh. Map Panel. There you go. It's only 12 99 oh, did I'm you know the price? No, I just was allowed to do one and not argue over the price because I felt I was lucky to be allowed to design well, one. normally this sort of size, they're normally 19 yeah, they aren't are. they? That's what I expected. They're normally 19 99 For Hannah's birthday, £12.99. Um, Judith says, brilliant idea, uh, Hannah. Uh, when are you designing your next panel? Well, it's only when they let me. Well, this is like... <laughs> how many years have you worked with Hayley? Yeah, quite a while. Every time years. I'm like, please, could I do this? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Hannah. May all your dreams come true, oh, says Leslie. That's a lovely message. And mm. uh, just before you um, 
you you uh, you go as well because yes. you've got to. We've got to do some. Uh, we've got I've loads got to do, to do yeah. haven't you? We've got menu and How is your MA going? Oh yeah, it's going fab. Um, well, it's a lot of work. Um, <laughs> it is hard work. Yeah, yeah, I've got another year left. Okay. So the first few projects are done and they're really good. Like I was really happy with them, but it's starting something new. Uh, it's summer holidays now, isn't it? Though. No, I don't get those. Oh. <laughs> I thought the whole thing about being a student again is meaning that you'll get some holidays. <laughs> Six weeks. No. Hannah's a very, very busy lady, so we're so lucky to see her on air today for her birthday. Kate yeah. said, happy birthday, Hannah, from Kate in the office. Oh, She thanks. says, um, I love that you have bubbles on the show. Yes. yes. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Do you need a top-up for the gallery? Oh, yeah, okay. Have actually, a top-up. I've got up. coffee. I'll have no Oh, yeah, you've coffee. got a coffee in there as well, haven't you? It's also a fruit platter. Oh, oh fabulous. Oh, share the fruit platter out with us later yeah. on the show. <laughs> Hannah's going to be sitting in the gallery gallery um, bringing us more deals yes. but please keep sending her birthday messages because she'll be able to, to see them right yeah. thank you okay, Hannah we'll right okay. we'll see you in a little Bye. bit Han's gonna come back in and out on air all day today but if you do want to send any messages to her you can send them via either the website or Facebook or on the email which is studio at sewingstreet.com studio at sewingstreet.com Oh, lots of people have been sending in messages on the website. Lorraine said, happy birthday, Hannah. Have a wonderful day. Always remember um, when I had a lovely time when we met. That's crazy, Lorraine. Dawn says, I've added some rose Nosecco to the shipping order. Oh, I didn't know you could get rose Nosecco. I'm presuming you mean like your, your uh, food delivery shop, because I don't think we've got rose Nosecco on our website at the moment. Right, early bird, just to remind you. So that is, of course, the adventure panel, Hannah's panel, which we will be talking about later on at 11 o'clock. But don't forget those early bird mystery fat quarters were just, how much, 12 99 Oh, 18 99 sorry, 18 99 Oh no, we went lower than that. We went today to 11.99. That is five fat quarters. And it, they're all cut at random. So you're going to get different designers. I mean, I spotted some Tula Pink earlier. I spotted some Liberty earlier. I spotted some William Morris being cut. So you could get a whole selection of mystery designer fat quarters all for 11.99. Today's gonna be jam packed full of goodies and discounts um, for you all. So, oh, there's lovely messages. Hannah's getting all. She's going, oh, this is so lovely to read all messages. Oh, thank you. You're not awkward on it at all. You're amazing. <laughs> it is quite warm in here today. Happy birthday to you, Hannah. Hope you have a wonderful day on your birthday from Helen in Devon. She's saying thank you. Thank you for your messages. Okay, so let me talk you through today's show. Do you have the menu there, Bruce? because there is loads going on. These first two Annas, we're gonna be doing happy birthday. Oh no, that's not today. When's that? Uh, we're gonna be doing happy birthday Hannah deals for the next two hours. So until about half nine, 10, we're gonna be doing um, happy birthday Hannah deals. And then at 10 o'clock, we've got Fiona Hesford. I'm not sure whether she's coming on between half nine and 10. She'll either be on at half nine or she'll be on at 10. We'll speak to her when she gets here, but I know on the, uh, the EPG, it says that she's gonna be coming in from half nine. So we'll see. Um, but everything, all of her products are on pre-order. She's got a funky accessories kitchen set. She's got a dungarees later on as well at 12 o'clock. And at 11, Hannah's going to be back again for more of her birthday treats. Uh, good morning, everybody. Hello, Susan. It's lovely to be back with you. I haven't been here for ages and ages and ages, so it's really nice to be back. Okay, you're going to have to remind me where we're going next. Oh, of course we are. Um, right, bear with me. Stay there. Or should I come, actually... Yeah, come over with me. We've got hexes. Now, we can't do a birthday show for Hannah without her incorporating pre-cut hexes. I know Hannah is a huge EPP fan. And not only have we got pre-cut, laser-cut uh, EPP card, we're going to do a bog-off offer. It's especially for Hannah's birthday. You're going to get a buy one, get one free. Now these are three quarters, uh, they're little, they're three quarter inch hexes. I think these are really lovely for your stash, for scraps of fabric, you know, little bits of fabric that you've, um, that you've got that you don't want to throw away and you just don't know what to do with. 
every time you get one of those little pieces, cover it with a hexi, sit it out in the garden and stitch them together. You can make lovely little, I'm thinking like makeup bags or borders on cushions. There's loads you can do with this size. It doesn't need to be a full quilt. It could just be smaller projects or accents and applique them onto to bags or cushions. So you're getting a hundred, they're both the same size, a hundred in each pack. It's buy one, get one free. So obviously you're saving 349, which means you're basically saving your P&P. &P. I know it's just a little bit off, but you're basically saving your P&P. Your so therefore, um, your P&P &P is paid for the whole day. Once you've checked out on one order, your P&P &P is paid for the whole entire day. And trust me, today is a day to definitely make the most of the fact that you're getting one P&P. There's people multi-buying on the um, early bird. There's loads of you already checking out on Hannah's panel. Um, and the Hex is already very popular. I think with days like this, don't get me wrong, I know it's been very, 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 very hot the last few days, but I've certainly been sitting out in the garden, especially of an evening. It's nice to actually sit out, isn't it? And if you normally sit behind your sewing machine and you feel like, oh, I should be outside really, making the most of, of the nice weather, Get your hand sewing out. Perfect time to be doing a bit of hand sewing. Or well, these are nice sizes to actually keep a little pouch in your um, in your car or in your bag. And if you're sitting waiting for somebody to finish an uh, you know an after school club or going to your caravan on the summer holidays or going to um, going on your holidays, then this is going to be perfect and portable to take on the move, isn't it? It's quite a fun way to get organised, isn't it? Uh, especially when you're just paying £3.49. It means that you can sort, start sorting through your stash a bit and, um, and making something, even something really scrappy with your favourite fabrics are going to look great. So you're getting buy one, get one free. Just £3.49. And the great thing about this specific card is, yes, you could cut your own, yeah, but one for £3.49, getting getting all of those, getting 200 laser cut hexes that are all exactly the same and also it's on a really lovely weight card that is thick enough that it holds its shape but um, thin enough that you can uh, uh, and thick enough that you can actually take these out and reuse them but th thin enough that it's not going to be a battle to get these out once you've stitched them so they are perfect weight Traditional lovely hexes as well, all laser cut. There's no point buying the card and cutting them yourself at that sort of price, is it? Uh, just 349 for 200 hexes. I'll keep them around um, because anybody who is getting into uh, EPP, or maybe you started your EPP and you're now at the point that you're thinking, right, I need some so line glue pen refills. Uh, we've added this into the schedule really, really late because we've just realised that they've come back into stock. They have actually been out of stock for a long, 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 long time and we've only just got them back in. Thank you, Kat. I'll show you what they look like. Now, you'll get a pack of six. Now, it doesn't matter what colour they are. The one that I've got here is blue. Um, I think you'll get two of the white, two of the yellow, and two of the, the pink, or two of the blue. But it doesn't matter because they dry completely clear. This is the pack that you'll get. This is what they'll look like. Um, we can show you that picture from the website. You get all six of the refills for seven ninety nine. Now I'll always remember when Hannah um, actually through lockdown. Oh, was it Cat? No, it was. It was cat with this one, wasn't it? Um, through lockdown, we couldn't get these Solan glue pen refills for love and money, and obviously a lot of people got into hand sewing, uh, as it's really mindful, isn't it? So during lockdown, uh, I think Kat actually paid, oh, I can't remember how much it was, but it was something stupid, like 15 pounds for two refills. Bearing in mind, we're getting six here for 7.99, and uh, it's a low tack glue, so it's not like a Pritt stick or, or another craft glue. It's, it's especially sort of uh, derived for sewers to work with your fabrics. Yours will look a nice, nicer than uh, the one here. This has been prodded a bit, but um, it dries completely clear. It's perfect to stick your fabrics down to your hexes uh, instead of in especially instead of um tacking it with with a th needle and thread basting it you just can do it with glue a lot quicker and a lot easier they are especially developed for fabrics and for sewers 
just 7.99 just wanted to let you know that the back is stock i think they're literally on the way up from the warehouse now because we did order them literally this morning oh my word right there's over 50 of you who've got these in your baskets I'm not gonna lie to you, they ordered over 300, but there are loads of you who have already got these in your basket. Just be aware that these come into stock, they disappear, and then it can take a long, long time to get them back in. So if you do want them, oh my word, definitely check out as soon as you can. Um, get your hexes, don't forget, £3.49 for 200 of your laser cut hexes, 7 99 for six of your refills. Obviously, you will need the Soline glue pen. Um, it works in conjunction with that. That is on the website. Just wanted to let you know, those of you that are waiting for the refills, they are now back in stock, finally. We've been waiting for ages to get these in stock. Oh, thank you for everybody who's already getting Hannah's panel, she's saying. She's very, very proud. I mean, this is brilliant, isn't it? Because there's so many, like you said, have you seen those scratch off, um, scratch off places you've been maps? This is gonna be a really lovely chance to embroider on top of it. You could color in. You don't actually need to do anything with it if you just wanna use it as a piece of fabric. This would be lovely as a big wall hanging or a large cushion or as Hannah was suggesting, an iPad cover, an iPad case. And the fact that you've got all of those labels, you've also got lots of applique stamps, you've got postcards. There's so much you're gonna be able to do with this panel. And it's all just £12.99, 140 by 100 and, uh, sorry, 77. There's already loads of you got this in your basket. We're gonna be talking more about it later on in the 11 o'clock show and um, having a bit of a play. But I love the fact that, I don't know whether you can see this, even the background, this has been really beautifully designed and really well thought out. Even the background has got all of your different sort of maps and atlases as a sort of a shadow secondary tone so it gives it sort of texture and dimension can you see it isn't just one solid cream fabric you've actually got lots of really lovely details for your atlases and your maps and globes even this i mean it would look lovely as a laptop cover wouldn't it really nice look that one's in the background of that one you've got a postcard that says berlin you've got one that says dublin map of North America there, the world, I love it, it's brilliant, £12.99, it's, it's one of those, it's quite difficult to see on air, but when you get it home, there's a lot of hidden detail, thank you very much, Hannah, that's brilliant, Hannah McCabe's adventure map, I'm excited to see what you do with yours, Han, she's got hers as well, okay, what are you thinking of doing with it, a laptop cover, a massive cushion front for the garden. She says, I really need a laptop cover, but I really like the idea of doing it as a massive cushion front as well. I do both, 12 99 brilliant prize. I, I do like the idea of adding to it. So if you keep embroidering onto it of places that you've been as well. Maybe you're all, all, all have different colors for different family members. Everybody can put where they've been, love that. Um, okay. Please can we do these now? before Hayley gets here. Um, so Hayley's gonna be coming in and producing later on whilst Hannah's on air in the 11 o'clock show. We really shouldn't be doing these. I don't know whether these are scheduled for a certain show, I don't know, but Hannah has stolen these for her birthday show. Um, if you know, you know. These pins are like gold dust. Seriously, they come in and they sell out. And the first time I saw them, I was, I'm not going to lie to you, I was a bit like, hang on, what is all the fuss about? These are pins, I, I, I don't really get it. Why do they sell so quickly? And then, oh my word, I spoke to John Scott about them. John Scott absolutely adores these pins and I completely get it now. Do you know why? There's people who come in, our guest designers who come in and ask especially for these pins, the ones with the blue handle. Susie Duncan, I know, shout out to you, you always use these pins. Um, they come in a really, really lovely solid case as well, just to be able to keep them nice and tidy and neat, especially if you're on the move, they're amazing. They are actually called magic pins. Now they don't do magic tricks, but honestly, I can't confirm or deny that they are magic, um, but Susie would probably argue that they are. You have got a really lovely 
fine quilting pin but look at this handle now it's heat resistant as well um, which is brilliant if you're pressing of course those of you that have ever used plastic headed um, pins and had problems with them melting onto your fabrics I know it can be a disaster so the fact that you've got this really lovely heat resistant handle but it makes it just so much easier to hold on to you've got this grippy handle which makes fine needles so easy to handle uh, and they're really lovely long and I know this sounds ridiculous because they are pins but they're very very sharp so I remember talking to who was it was it Janice and she was telling me I've had these pins for 30 years she says I really think I need to invest in some new pins because they're just not very sharp anymore if you do you know think right actually I am at that point that I probably need to invest in some new pins they're not that blunt they're not that sharp anymore they're getting quite blunt they do need to go into your fabric can you see that's a really good close-up actually of the tip how pointy they are they are really really sharp they're going to go into obviously all of your layers of fabric um, your dressmaking journey this is going to be brilliant if you're pinning things like curves or curved bag bases, that heat resistant means that you can keep them in whilst you're pressing, which a curve, you don't want to take them out beforehand, do you? So, I mean, they are brilliant. Uh, they've literally just come back into stock today. We should not be bringing them on air. I'm not gonna lie, we really shouldn't, but we've done it. If you want them, half the stock's gone. 10 pounds 99, 50 quilting pins in your lovely little storage case which makes it very useful for for transporting them as i said susie duncan whenever she comes in she always has her little pot with her um, just 10 pounds 99 let me know if you use these at home let us know oh thank you so much hannah saying for all of your birthday messages i've, I've let the um I've, I've missed my ipad hang on let me just go and grab it because we've got lots of messages on the the facebook for you as well hannah margaret said good morning vix happy birthday celebrations hannah hope you have a fantastic birthday um what did you do for your birthday then hannah she went to eat Vietnam, which is a really lovely restaurant in Birmingham, if you ever want to go. All the ladies, yeah, who are going on their holidays to Birmingham, I know that Hannah is on a mission to make Birmingham like the new tourist destination of the UK. I know you love Birmingham. She says, I really love Birmingham. So yeah, Eat Vietnam was very good. You'd recommend it? Thoroughly recommend it. So good. She had a barbecue on Saturday, went out to DJ. Who was the DJ? Jane Orman. Jay Orman. Jay? Norman. Jay Norman. <laughs> Told you the microphone's not very good. Um, Jay Orman. Norman. <laughs> Jay Orman. He's soul and funk. I think he's got an MBE. Oh my word, sorry Jay. Me calling him Jane Jane Norman. Jane Norman, remember that shop? Remember the carrier bags more importantly. I used to always have one of those carrier bags. Pins are sold out. Well done everybody. Don't forget if you've opened your order now, get yourself the adventure panel. Absolutely grab yourself any early birds if there are any of those left. Talking about don't forget. Oh. I'm not allowed, to, it's not scheduled for today's show. It's Hannah's birthday. There's loads of people who have checked out. So now you've checked out your order, John Scott's booked, it's got a signed photo included. It's back in stock, it's 12 99 It's the first time I've actually done it. Um, I think last night the search function wasn't working on the website, but anybody who missed it, just wanted to let you know, just so it's easy to find, it's underneath us on the webs. John Scott's Threads of Life book, I know loads of you on the fans page have received yours and started reading it. Um, it's a great book, lots of sewing tips, of course, lots of anecdotes for John and tips and memories, stories, mantras and more, it says on the front there. Um, so yes, if you do want to make the most of that, it's underneath us on the web. So I'm going to say it was way back in the sewing quarter day. So before Sewing Street was even a show, before it was a channel, um, we had these amazing thimble containers. Now we've got a bundle of three. We've got a rose gold, a white and a, a, a gold as well. And just how cool are these? They look like thimbles, they are amazing. Hannah loves these because I don't know whether you've heard me say before, she's got a bit of a thing about the borrowers. Um, because 
you went to school where the where it was written and where it was set. So yeah, whenever Hannah sees things that are oversized or really, really tiny, she loves them because they're, they're the borrowers. Um, so they look like thimbles. I'll show you them upside down like that. But they are useful because look, they are a large craft container. So whether you're keeping these on your shelf in the sewing room, we need to get some of these for Delphine's new sewing room, don't we? Plant pots, these are going to be ideal for plant pots to keep all your scissors in, to keep all your marking tools. Uh, they are plastic as well. So, you know, if you've got a cat or if you've got, you know, little children around that end up knocking things over. Oh, do you know what I watched last night? Have you watched This Is My House? Where they all are in a house, they say, this is my house and you have to decide. Have you not watched it, Hannah? You love it. It's so up your street. But the one guy yesterday knocked over all of this one's plant pots all over the floor and they smashed all over the floor. So yeah, these aren't glass. They're not gonna smash, they are plastic, which is great. So if you do want to put your plant pots in there, uh, your plants in there, you can. Now with the bundle, you're actually making a saving of three pounds. They look really smart, don't they? They look lovely together, actually. You can make a um, nice little display with those or you can get them separately. Should we do the rose gold first? Because I know how popular the rose gold one is. Um, the white one's already sold out. If you do want the rose gold thimble, it's only 6 99 And if I remember rightly, if you have a look elsewhere, I think I found these in a really famous garden centre um, for 9 99 I'm sure they were 9 99 Today, £6.99 on air. Your thimble desk organiser in rose gold. I wonder whether, I don't know whether they're technically classed as food safe, but I would have, in this hot weather, a really lovely mojito. Cold, ice cold slushy mojito. Or just fill it with ice cream. That's a good ice cream tub, isn't it? Because it's large. I mean, it is massive. I'd definitely have a, a nice sundae in there. Hannah's like, no, don't tell everybody that. I can't confirm they're food safe. It's just my idea. I, that's what I'm going to do, but I can't. Get, I can't promise you that you should do that at home either. Um, just £6.99. <laughs> for plants, though, and for organising uh, your sewing room tools, they're ideal. And I like that it's a bit of a nod to our craft without looking like it's really sewy. Do you know what I mean? Like, even if you, you, you're looking at it as a plant pot, it isn't until you turn it over and you look at it and you go, yeah, it's a thimble. It's actually a thimble. Okay, Hannah's saying, I'm going to throw a to the wind and, and give another idea. Put some tissue paper inside of it. Miniature bottles of gin, pair of socks. Wrap it all up. Little gift thing for a, a friend that sews. Great idea. Great idea. Yeah, you could then potentially get it all under £10, those little miniature bottles of Prosecco, couldn't you? I think it's Secret Santa's. Secret Santa's or nice little gifts for people. This is perfect. And it's only six ninety nine, And so they'll use again. Oh, Sue says, happy birthday, Hannah. Marlene, can you hear the air conditioning maybe in the background? It's not, it's not rumbling. It's not rumbling. I don't think you would be able to hear that, actually, Marlene. Oh, sorry if you can hear rumbling. Um, it might be Hannah's tummy, she's saying. Did you turn your mic off? <laughs> we also have the gold. Gold is lovely, isn't it? Now, gold actually is very, very on trend. Maybe you've got like navy blue in your navy blue and gold are always look lovely together, don't they? If you're re reorganizing yourself a little bit in your workroom, or even if you don't have a designated um, craft room, these will look great in any rooms of the house, but still bring in those little nods to your craft into different rooms. I love that. Maybe if you, like Hannah, love the borrowers, you could get one of these too. Just six ninety nine. Do you still buy things for your dad that are all like oversized? It's it's Hannah and her dad that love um, the borrowers. So what sort of things have you got in the past? Giant pencil, miniature frying pan. Okay, so you go both ways with it. Anything oversized or anything super tiny. Oh, that's cool. She says, I have found a giant plant pot, but it looks like an ice cream cone. Like that, ice cream cone. 
Oh, like one of those, a cup one. I see, oh. She doesn't buy it though. She doesn't did see it, but I didn't buy it. <laughs> Six pounds ninety nine for your desk organizer. Now we also have one other bundle, which is really fun. I've not seen that iridescent one before. If you love your tulip pink, I think you're going to love this uh, this set because this is like your unicorn one, <gasps> your rainbow one. Oh, in fact, sorry, that's just this one on its own. Six pounds ninety nine. That's very tropical, isn't it? That's flamingos, really fun and tropical. Have a look on um, the Long River website. We found it on there, 1199. It's exactly the same one. It's the hemline. Um, normally I say, I can't do a direct comparison because it's a different brand. This is the same brand. It's 1149, sorry, 1149. I didn't mean to just add 50 pence onto their price. I just couldn't see it, it's very small. <laughs> I was just $6.99. Amazing value for money. Those of you that have already opened your order. I think they come in little boxes as well, Kat, don't they? Did this, these, these arrive in a little box? Just £6.99. So if you do want to um, maybe gift with them. Mm, good idea, I do like the idea of doing them with a little gift. A secret Santa. Oh, hang on, we've got some sweets. We could demonstrate opening the sweets and putting, the, filling them up. So we've got packs of sweets that have arrived on our desk. Now, I am one of these people that I presume that if somebody leaves a pack of sweets like this on our desk, that they are for Hannah's birthday, obviously. This is the Lifestyle Studio who have obviously just left this pack of sweets, especially for Hannah's birthday show. It's obviously a gift for us, isn't it? But, right, at home, what should we do? Should we leave it or should we open it? Because we don't know if this is a sample for their show. It looks like it's Lifestyle's second birthday show at the moment. They've got all of the, the lovely balloons up in there. So I don't know whether they've got this for that, but they were on our desk. So I think they're ours. What time do we leave it till, until we decide? <laughs> They're not going to be until five o'clock tonight, so we don't have a chance. No, maybe we should message um, Poppy or Ruth or somebody. I'll message them. <laughs> yeah, they'll just say, no, stop eating all our food, because this is what we did with the brownies as well, wasn't it? Uh, right, we've done, the, we've done both of those, haven't we? We've done both. Does this come as a bundle or not? So the only way of getting the rainbow one is individually today. It's £6.99. Over half the stock of the rainbow thimble organiser has gone. Oh, you've got your adventure panel back in the graphics on the side there. Those of you that missed the start of the show, Hannah has launched her very first panel. She says it's not going to be a regular thing. She doesn't know when she's going to be asked to design another, but I've got a feeling you're going to have a lot of requests for another one. I think you are, because this is beautiful. Look, so if you're just tuning in, it is... Oh, chair behind me. Your adventure map. We don't understand why it's $12.99 though, because panels of this size are always $19.99. Hannah said, I wasn't actually in charge of the price. Um, she just wanted to do her own panel and she sort of left the, uh, the price up to, up to the office staff. You could use the map as a piece of fabric. You've got all your applique bits. This could be um, a panel in itself, really, couldn't it? You've got all your postcards there at the bottom. You've got quilt labels as well. I mean, there's a lot on there for just, remind me, £12.99, yeah, £12.99, crazy low, ridiculous in fact. Um, open it. I'm guessing you mean the sweets. Yes, Natalie, that's what I think. It's Hannah's birthday. If, if they say anything, then we can just say, oh, it was Hannah's birthday, we presumed it was a gift from a viewer, so we've opened it, or we thought, yeah. Natalie said we could, is what I'm going to say. Natalie said, open it. Maybe Natalie works for Lifestyle, you never know, and she's telling us to open it. Uh, okay. Don't forget, 15 minutes away from another early bird special. We're doing two early birds today. We've got one on the website, which is a mystery designer fat quarter pack, 11.99 on the website. And then we've got another early bird special coming up at nine o'clock. Right, where should we go next, Hannah? Oh, um, okay, for the record, this is $14.99, yeah? On the back it says $14.99. It is summer. 
It is the perfect time to get this book. 40 designs. It's Hannah's day today. It's her special day. She's discounting it. Um, not just, you know, a pound off or two pound off. Five pounds off. You're getting this today under 10 pounds. And look, oh my gosh, there's some great ideas. <gasps> you could make a cacti um, pin cushion. Oh, where it is, or oh, pizza, yes. Hang on, where was the, I just saw the pin cushion. I know, we keep spotting that man. I just keep using it as an excuse to go back to that lovely model. Um, hang on, let's find it. I just spotted a pin cushion that would go in your new plant pot, your thimble pot. Oh, there's some great projects in here. Oh, there it is. Your cactus pin cushion. You could make one of those, couldn't you? A, a, a really big one. Just up at scale your templates and make a big one to go into your thimble. Reading pillow with your panel, or you could do um, little posy cones, tray mats. That could be nice with your panel as well. Those tray mats are good for puzzles, actually, aren't they, as well? Tea cozies. Oh, there's some really lovely projects in here. Should be $14.99. I think it's only ever been at $14.99. Today, for Hannah's birthday, we've dropped it under £10. What's this one? First class caddy. Imagine doing that. Travel one with your panel. Buy a couple of them, maybe. That would look really cool. £9.99. Lunch boxes, picnic placemats. Oh, there's loads of ideas. And you're getting all of your templates at the back. Anything else that you need to know. Towel carrier for the beach. Beach bag. Oh, so I'm um, off to Michael Bublé tonight. Is anybody else going? Is anyone going to his tour? Um, he's playing at Warwick Castle tonight, so I'm going. But they've told me that I only can take in an A3 size bag or a four size bag now. Is that like a thing? I was thinking I was going to be able to take like a picnic and a, a, a blanket and things. They're only... Yeah, I thought, you know, an evening at Warwick Castle with Michael Bublé was going to be a thing where I could sit out and have a... I thought it was just me and him having a picnic together at the castle. But no, it's going to be, I think, a stand-up concert, which is not the vibes I thought it was going to be. It says, your ticket says standing, so you're not allowed to bring any seats. I was like, oh... I'm definitely that sort of person now that I like a seat at a concert. Oh, I've turned into my mum. I once took her to Fleetwood Mac and she sat down and I was like, Mum, stand up. Please stand up. And she's like, oh no, we've got a seat. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Just £9.99. We have really discounted that. 40 lovely projects, including five brand new projects as well. So those of you that love a half yard series, there's, there's new projects in there as well. Um, all for £9.99. Thank you, Hannah. Another little cheeky, cheeky discount for you. Under £10 today. Should be £14.99. There you go, RRP, £14.99. We've taken it under £10 today. Oh, there you go. You can see there. Thank you very much, Hannah. We love a little cheeky, cheeky discount, don't we? Um... Can we also please, please do, um, I, I really want to show this, the because uh, it's been hiding, and I also want to show this at some point. What was it that you were going to do next? Little bits and bobs, yeah? We've got loads of time, haven't we? Because Fiona uh, is coming on between half nine and ten. Shall we do the vacuum? Yes. I love this. So Hannah's picked this because she doesn't like hoovering the stairs. So this is now going to be a lot easier for you to hoover your stairs. I'm also thinking um, the car. I think this is brilliant to go in, uh, you know, hoover the car for your sewing room, maybe if it's in the garden like Delphine's new one is. This would be really, really lovely. The first time we've got it on split pay now hannah said i did ask and i wasn't allowed to take any money off so instead of that for the first time ever i've got it on split pay now this is the new gold 
edition. It's gorgeous. So it's a beautiful sort of like gunmetal gray and then gold detail, which I love. So it's really, really easy to use. It's rechargeable. So if you are taking this out, um, one of my friends has got this on the back of one of her cupboards in the uh, kitchen and she has this for all the crumbs in the kitchen. Because it's got the wet or dry option, um, it's good for spillages as well. So if you are using it for a kitchen or um, a utility room, then this is perfect soft toy making you might have lots of fluff if you work with lots of fleeces or um, furry fabrics that tend to shed a lot they're always handy to have one uh, close by to hand and then it's really easy you just literally press that button on the top there and you can empty it out really easily if you do want to take the nozzle off i think it comes with a couple of different attachments you can just oh it's, i've got these funny nails on with do you know what i'm having these soaked off this week because i'm really not getting on with having long nails but that easily pops out she says it does when you haven't got funny nails on um, that pops out and you can adjust it to cats just getting the other adjusters uh that's the charger and then you can also put this one on, this nozzle on, which is going to be great for your stairs, Hannah. That would be a good one for the stairs. That would be a good one to get into all the nooks and crannies in, um, in the car as well. I don't have a... a my, he, my Hoover at home or vacuum is very, very heavy. So if you've only got like a small space, my grandma, she's just moved now to a, a smaller flat from a house and she's got the biggest vacuum cleaner and there's just not enough space for it in the flat. And I said, you don't need that anymore. She's only got one area that's carpeted and this is really handy just to do smaller areas, isn't it? Uh, if you do find that your 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 vacuum cleaner is, is too heavy to go up and down the stairs, and this is brilliant. Also, it comes with a wall mount uh, option as well. So if you do want to put this mounted onto the wall under the stairs, or mounted onto the wall in the kitchen maybe, or in your craft room, it's just seventeen forty nine on split pay, and it is rechargeable, so you can use it with the cord or without. And I think the battery life on it is oh let's see so 20 minutes operating time which is perfect amount of time to just whiz over your craft room or the car or the stairs isn't it and it's really lightweight it actually weighs less than a kilogram so perfect if you um do struggle with some of the heavier hoovers um but it is a rechargeable battery it says buy me and plant a tree growing a green a future together that's great isn't it from Beldray, which of course we all know Beldray products and and how brilliant they are i like that you can see when it needs to be emptied as well i just empty it after each use especially if you're doing like uh you know different spillages wet and dry if you just give it um uh, you don't have to keep replacing any vacuum bags or anything like that just $34.99. Hannah really wanted to show that, especially for her birthday. She got it for the first time on split pay, £17.49. I should have done a spillage, shouldn't I? I should have made a spillage. Um, where's my Prosecco? No. I'm, <laughs> Hannah's like, no, don't spill your drink all over the desk. I know that we can clear it up, but it's not necessary. You know how a Hoover works or a vac... I keep saying Hoover, and that actually was a brand, wasn't it? I always do that, vacuum cleaner. Do a lot of people do that? It's not just me. Okay. Right. I do want to do the throws. Have you still got your no secco? Do you like it? What do you think? In all honest true. It tastes more apple-y, I think, then. <laughs> I don't know if it has less calories, I don't know is the honest truth. She says, I feel healthier for drinking no secco. Okay, um, we have got this thread pack. I'm so pleased Hannah picked this out, especially for a birthday show, because the value for money on this is brilliant. You are looking at just one pound a spool. Also, it is on two-way split pay. I don't think we have ever had it on two-way split pay. Split pay starts at 99.99. Split pay starts at 100 pounds. So to be able to have two-way split pay, that is brilliant, isn't it? If you want, you don't have to. Um, 
they're already it's such brilliant value anyway so to be able to have it split pay makes it even better now it comes in this really great sturdy a very secure organizing box which is actually stackable as well it's got the little indentations ready for you to stack them up if you want to buy multiple but what i love about these is one you've got huge spores let's see you've got uh, 500 meters on each spool and the variety of color is amazing now these are 40 weight great for your machine embroidery uh, they're also good for any um, uh, tacking stitches as well they're perfect and what I love about this color variation is I'm just gonna pick yellow look at how many different shades and they are 99p a spool I mean, that's so good. Today, you can get it for $24.99. Um, oh, there you go, there's another orange. All of those sort of yellows and orange and golden tones. Look for you to pick out for autumn, for summer projects. They're gorgeous. Now, I'm going to put these back. They're all on little spool holders as well, which is great. So they all fit in without rattling around, without getting dusty. They're going to be stored nice and safely, and you can see what you've got very clearly. Um, Let's pop that one in there. Let's go for blues or pinks. Pick a colour, Hannah. I went for oranges first because you're, uh, it's your fave colour. But look, right, look at how many different blues you've got. There's so many of you putting these straight into your baskets. Please do check out as soon as you can. Today, two-way split pay available. Um, right, there are so many blues in here. Oh, does this one class as blue? It's like a peacocky, greeny blue. And that one's like a darker peacocky blue. How amazing! How many different shades of blue you've got there? It just in that one pack to be able to identify, you know, to pick out your favourite colours. So good. Not a direct price comparison, but just thinking about this box or what you would pay for, you know, other boxes or storage boxes alone actually think about how expensive they are you've got a really solid storage boxes now this is not a direct comparison because this is for 80 now it's just a clear plastic box it isn't it's actually the same brand it's hemline so it'll probably be very very similar quality um, it's very slightly bigger obviously but it's 13.99 for the clear plastic box alone just going back to ours We've not even thought about that when I'm talking about one pound a spool. That is without even considering the price of your organiser. Um, you're getting amazing value for money here. Just for your thread box alone, how much could you pay? Think about it. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? Let's say, right, that one's bigger. So let's say $9.99 for the, the, the one that fits 50. If you were saying a tenner for your storage box, because they've got all of the little spool holders in there as well, so it's ideal to keep them all nice and organised, then your price per spool is ridiculous. Sue so said, happy birthday, Hannah. Have a fabulous day. Have you uh, tucked into your fruit platter yet? Have you had a shepherd's pie yet? That's normally Hannah's first choice of food. We do have a direct comparison, actually. We found the exact one, this product, elsewhere. We found it $64.99. There were only four of them in stock there as well. $64.99. Fingers crossed we've got enough to go around. There's loads of you have got these in your basket. Don't forget, this you can get on split pay as well. I don't think that website offers split pay. As far as I'm aware, I don't think they offer split pay. Uh, remember, split pay is so easy. When you're checking out your order, um, there'll be an option, a tick box option, to split your price, split the cost over two months. So you'll pay the first month today. There'll be no credit checks or anything like that. You just literally pay the first payment today, and then then you will it will be sent out to you after you pay that first payment of twenty four ninety nine. You'll then pay a second payment of twenty four ninety nine uh, this time next month, and it's paid off. You don't pay any interest for the fact that you split it over two months and says no credit checks it doesn't affect your returns policy you'll get it straight away if you don't want it on split pay if you just want to pay the full amount oh absolutely just proceed with your order as you normally would but if you do want to click that split pay option you can of course split your payments and it will still come to you as quick as it would if you were to pay the full price which is great it's not like if you buy a sofa and you've got to wait until you've paid all 54 
Yeah, you pay it for, um... Oh yeah, you, have you not done like a, a finance thing on a sofa before? Or on a, I'm trying to think, a holiday that you've had to, so, do you know what the worst thing was? My worst experience with that was, I booked a holiday um, last year, I've, pa I've paid it every month, I've paid it off, and they've emailed me to cancel it. They've, well, they haven't cancelled it, they've offered me an alternative flight and an alternative hotel in a completely different place. <laughs> I'm like, but I've spent a year paying off this, so I promise that won't happen. I promise we won't, you know, this will be sent out to you straight away. You're not going to be paying two months and then we say, oh, we can offer you something similar like this thimble <laughs> storage pot. Um, it's only a pound a spool, bearing in mind you're getting 500 metres on each spool. Amazing. Uh, there are people multi-buying that now. And if you do multi-buy, can you see they all have the little slots on the top here. So they will all sit on top of each other nicely. There's little feet on the bottom. So you've got the little, um, you can't really see it, but there's there's little indentations and uh, that will slot in nicely. So you can stack these up perfectly. $49.99. Love that. That was Hannah's pick, but I was, I really approved of that. I'm very happy that you bought that on. Um, here you go. There's a FIFO review. Fantastic threads. Really good selection of colours. There is a huge selection of colours. There's 50 colours all um, for $49.99. Thank you, Margaret, for sending in that review. Um, yeah, that is brilliant value for money. Keep going through for those. Now, Fiona is here in the building. Do you know what time she's going to be on? 9.30, she's gonna be on at 9.30. Um, what we're gonna do is gonna go for a quick break. In a minute, we're coming back with another early bird special. So whatever you do, do not move a muscle. We've also got some amazing fabrics to bring to you. So stay where you are. We're continuing Hannah's birthday celebrations. We've got half an hour of loads of goodies until Fiona's here. Check out on your adventure panel during the break. It's there in the graphics. We'll see you after this. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. 
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, welcome back. Happy birthday, Hannah. It is Hannah's birthday show today. Loads going on. Those of you that have just tuned in, one, where have you been? Don't panic though, have a look on the website. There's lots of deals that we've just had in the last hour underneath us on the web. Uh, there's already lots of sellouts. We've got about 25 minutes until Fiona's here because we've got jam-packed show. Oh, whatever you've just done to your microphone, it now works. That's so strange, you're now back, Hannah. I know that John's had a, a, a couple of issues with the microphone in the gallery the last few days, and whatever you've done, it's worked now. Um, right, so we started the show with an early bird special, and it's one of your favorites. Whenever we cut mystery fat quarter bundles, they always fly out. We had hundreds of the designer ones, so there's still a few of those available if you want any. This one is exciting because this is your mystery fat quarter bundle, and it, it could be any fabric. Um, it isn't classed as the design of fat quarters. This is your, well, they could be mixed weights. They could be different types. They are going to be all fat quarters though. Look at that. I love it. 
This reminds Hannah uh, of what she used to buy outside of the fabric shop in the summer holidays with her mom. Um, and it's a good, really, it's a really good chance to step outside your comfort zone and maybe try something different. Because look, I've got some linen in there. If you used to make, if, if, well, Hannah says she used to make dolls clothes. These are perfect for toy making, aren't they? These are all going to be cut and selected at random. There's a gingham. That's a true gingham. Um, we've also got some cream in there. Second early bird of the day. This is at random. So this is an example of what you can get. Now, should be $9.99 today. Early bird special price. Five fat quarters for $7.99. And... I mean, you know the quality of the fabric that we always bring. I can't guarantee what you'll get, but they'll all be, you know, different fabrics, different weights, different designs, different patterns, different collections. I've never even seen this one before. That makes this fat quarter £1.59. And look at how cool this is. I mean, there's going to be so many different. That's a big fat quarter. That's a big fat quarter. That must have been extra wide. Because some of these, sorry, would have been from dressmaking fabrics or extra wide fabrics, um, you might get larger, you know, different sizes. They're all going to be fat quarters. So, how, oh my gosh, that's so weird that you said that. So, one of my friends, she set up a business making hair scrunchies for dance schools and like gymnastic groups. Or if you want hair scrunchies, I think their minimum order is 25, but she'll do a collection of hair scrunchies. You could do hair scrunchies, Hannah said, out of these. They're so cool. Summer holiday projects, grandchildren coming, maybe. I mean, this gingham. Because again, look, it's cut from extra wide gingham or dressmaking fabrics. You've got loads there. $7.99, this is brilliant value for money, isn't it? £1.59 a fat quarter. Now there's loads going into baskets. Be aware that, yeah, a doll dress, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Even like, actually, out of fat quarter, you could probably make, I want to make Maisie some of those little pants that go over the top of a nappy in the garden. Because she's just literally running around in a nappy at the moment because it's so hot, isn't it? So I just want to make some little cute ruffly pants. But that's, I mean, you've got enough in a fat quarter to be able to do lots of different projects, little makes. There's books out there that are designated just to solely fat quarters. Um, remember, they're going to be at random different designs different patterns so that last one that i just showed you oh this one this one's a linen so you won't definitely get this obviously but if you are you are not going to get a fat quarter of linen for one pound 59 you're just not i mean you can make little purses with this cushion fronts linen cushion fronts little kids little um I, i'm thinking again like babies i've just bought my friend who's just had a baby boy a linen tiny little um it, it's she, i mean she, he is absolutely tiny and he has she, she says i haven't really got any newborn things and i found this linen really lightweight baby grow and i mean there'd be enough there to be able to do one of those uh, i can't guarantee you're going to get any linen but you might and you're not going to get linen for 159 i just asked to to be for one to be sent up as if I was buying it as a customer. I mean, this is so useful as well. This is like a really heavy, beautiful cotton. Look at that. That's a lot. Again, big fat quarters. That's a great maker bag lining, isn't it? Or, or tote bag lining or cushion back. Or if you're going to do a cushion front and a plique onto it, adding pockets to things as well. Really ideal. Mystery fat quarters. It is about to sell out. Just £7.99 and you're guaranteed to get five. Okay. The designer one that we did as our first early bird, just to remind you. Oh, I knew I'd spotted some William Morris. So this is obviously, uh, there were more of the designer ones, just so you know. Um, but they'll all be 100% cotton. They will all be quilting weight. They will all be designer fabric. We set up for loads of these bags just so we could see the sort of variety that you might get. Um, that one's William Morris, that one's a Moda, that one's a Liberty. See what I mean? I'm not sure who that one is. This is what's great is you might find new designers that you love or new collections that you love. Some of them will say on the uh, the salvage, it depends on where they're cut. That one doesn't say. It might be a Riley Blake one. Um, that was lovely. And then this one as well is another designer. I'm not quite sure who's designed this one. But that's gorgeous as well, isn't it? The pinks and oranges, your bright floral. Eleven ninety nine. You may have noticed 
in the background now these really lovely plant pots that uh, we've got in the background the hanging ones and the applique bags are lovely of course absolutely go for it with your uh, mystery fat quarters you might step out of your comfort zone a bit and find something you really like and let's face it at 11.99 for less than three pounds a fat quarter when are you going to get the likes of liberty william morris moda uh, whatever you get you could use this for your what yeah for your plant pot absolutely when you get your instructions you could use this for your plant pot no problem just 11.99 uh, stay tuned because we are going to be doing that in about 15 minutes time with uh with fiona hesford she's eagerly awaiting in the wings i've not seen it for ages just 11.99 sorry just wanted to let you know that they're still available okay we've got about 15 minutes till fiona's here uh, 15 minutes of deals are you ready because then we've got fiona hesford with us for an hour and a half until 11 o'clock 11 o'clock hannah's gonna be on air with me and she says i've got even more treats for you more treats very exciting let's start with william morris bundles um the blues hannah these are gorgeous you've put strawberry thief in there as well <laughs> Strawberry Thief. Now, Strawberry Thief is without a shadow of a doubt one of the most iconic prints with uh, for William Morris. It's one that we all recognise and all love. And I love it in this scale of print and this colourway from Free Spirit is beautiful. So this is half a metre. You're then also getting half a metre of seaweed. Now, a lady messaged in saying, I'm so pleased that you've brought out this Free Spirit collection because she said, I've never seen quilting weight um, on the show before of this print. I don't think they had it in the, the mode collection or any other collection that we've done single figures and we've teamed it with my favorite solid as well is this um misty blue that's it misty blue my fave i love it from the web um misty blue doesn't it doesn't do it justice on the website the picture you wouldn't realize that they go together but they do go really really well together um balfour's watching she said happy birthday hannah Thanks, Becky. No, you don't say happy birthday back, Hannah. Hannah always does this. What was the other thing that you said back to somebody? Didn't you say um, night night to the bus driver the other day? No, you always say funny things. Instead of saying thank you, she said night night. Was it in the evening? Was it at night? I went into a lift once and when somebody came in, instead of saying, oh, thank you, or yeah, come in, whatever, I said, good luck. I don't know why I said good luck. And then I also said to a waiter in front of, well, he's an ex-boyfriend now, but when I was with him on a date, uh, the waiter come and I was meant to say, lovely, thank you. And I said, love you to the waiter. I love you. And then I looked at this boyfriend and he was like, oh my word, she's very intense. <laughs> it didn't work. Pardon? The lady said, would you like the receipt? And Steph said, it's the best meal I've had in a long time. In response of, yeah, he does want the receipt. <laughs> oh, Becky said, uh, lol, it's not my birthday, Hannah, but um, you're welcome. Thank you. Eat loads of cake. Yeah, there you go. We're going to eat loads of sweets. We haven't got cake. I was going to bring a Colin the caterpillar cake. We've got fruit platters, we've got loads of sweets, and we've got no Sacco buffer. Now this one, I love this combo, because look, Hannah's really picked out, like, I, if I'm being really honest, I would really struggle to know what colour to put with this one, but picking out that raspberry, it works, doesn't it? Love it. Maybe just piping around the edge of a cushion just to bring out that pop of colour. So you've got half a metre of, what's this one called? Is this Blackthorn? I think it is. Then you've got half a metre of raspberry and also this beautiful William Morris print as well. So you get a metre and a half of William Morris there. 19 pounds and 17 pence. You do always, I always feel like awkward when people say things like that, like, oh, happy birthday to you. And you're like, oh yeah, and, and you. <laughs> you don't know what to say. Oh, thank you, and you, happy birthday back for one day. <laughs> See you soon too. 
Yeah, we are both probably the queens of, yeah, awkward responses. That's at 11 o'clock, me and Hannah on <laughs> together. £19.70, love that one. That's one of the larger ones. Now, this is a little bit different, actually. I don't think anybody's ever done this. Let's do Strawberry Thief first. Hannah has put together half a metre of Strawberry Thief. And look, it's in this chocolate colourway, which is gorgeous. So you get half a metre. I think this is really, really limited now, by the way. So this is quite an exclusive bundle. But she's also put it with two matching or coordinating embroidery skeins so these are going to be really beautiful i'm thinking if you're doing some wall art you want to embroider some french knots onto the strawberries you want to do some lazy daisies in that lovely cream there's so much that you're going to be able to do okay who wants it under 10 pounds <gasps> really Okay, Hayley's not here yet. We're making the most of it. £8.99. £8.99, that's way too low. Uh, I thought if we could get this under 10, that, that makes it exciting, doesn't it? But these are the two actual embroidery skeins um, that you will get. There you go. So you get your uh, Strawberry Thief and then you get your two DMC skeins. They are DMC. They are top, top quality embroidery floss for just £8.99. And these colours, they go absolutely beautifully. Oh, my word. Third of the stock, gone. They are the colours that you'll get. It, normally we say, oh, look, colours are at random. But actually, no, these are the actual colours that you'll get. Maybe you're doing some hoop art. £8.99 for your two skeins. Stretching them over a canvas, maybe. They're bit beautiful. Little details. Loads of people loving this banner. We've never done anything quite like this before, and it does work hand in hand, I think. You know, obviously very arty. Hannah's very arty, you see, so she wanted to do something a bit different for you. Oh, I love the other one as well. Seaweed, again, just so you know, coming up next, I'd get both of these bundles, especially if you do that discount. You don't have to follow suit, you know, Hannah. She says, I'm going to do it on both. I'm going to do it quickly on both. It's, it's okay. I'm going to do it. I'll take the hit on this. It's your birthday. You can't get told off on your birthday show, can you? Probably <laughs> not. Hopefully not. Um, if you are shopping with us this morning and you've bought anything off the website already, then it's only one PMP all day long. Because we've not got long till Fiona's on. She's on in 10 minutes' time. Let's keep that um, around and I'll mention it afterwards. So this time you're getting that seaweed, which is in the most beautiful colourway. And then, I really like this colour. Look at these two together. How perfect do these go? <gasps> good choice, good choice. Just so you know, your DMC colours that are chosen are... They not, do they have numbers on? 745 and 761 are the two colours, just in case you want to maybe, you know, add more of them. £8.99, half a metre of your seaweed. Oh, I'm not surprised. Quarter of the stock straight into baskets. Sue said, we had a running joke in the office back in the day. We'd say, missing you already when someone left the room. <laughs> Forgot who I was talking to and said it to the owner of the company. It was a big, multinational company. Oh, my word, Sue. Imagine. You just have this running joke with your office people and then all of a sudden you say it to the big boss. <gasps> yeah, when we went to the other sewing place... She was told to stop putting formal, uh, to, to stop putting kisses at the end of emails to the formal managing director. She doesn't just sign off things like a text with a kiss. Oh gosh, that is funny, yeah. Things that you think are, you know, quite funny in a, a workplace and then, just not professional, Hannah, is it, to do kisses? <laughs> 8.99. Oh, I'm so pleased. Loads of you love these bundles. What else are you thinking? What about little hanging um, pots or little hanging um, scent pouches as well? They'd be lovely. You could do like a really special padded hanger, couldn't you? You know, for a bride or something and, and, and embroider somebody's name on it. £8.99. 
Okay, there's loads of you there. We have got stock still available, but we've just not got enough time and I really want to fit these in. Can we do our meter bundles? Oh, this is super, 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 super limited. Meter bundle, 13.98. We can't make any more of these once it's gone. Oh, I just want that. Oh my word. Can't you tell this is Tilda? This is Tilda's latest collection. It is gorgeous. Uh, Hannah has got the warehouse to cut meter pieces for you. So if you're multi-buying on this, it will come cut into one meter pieces. So if you're just buying one unit, it's a meter. Um, if you're multi-buying, it comes in separate meter pieces. But it just really shows off. Hannah says, I did it because I really, really wanted to see. I really, really want to see what it looks like as a meter. And it looks amazing. Oh, oh I love it. That is so good. Now we've only got, how many left? Oh, seven. Seven bundles available, that's it. £13.98 and that is for a whole metre. I love the colour. Gosh, they are beautiful. I've never seen this, uh, this, this is the first time I've seen this collection actually. Flower vase in maroon. Um, had I said it did come in other, in other colours and it, there wasn't enough to bundle it. So if you do want it, there's only three of these left remaining. Christine, you're right. Um, Je Jeannie was right. She said, uh, good morning, Vicky. I've just rushed home as Jeannie told me that I was missing all the bargains. She said, I did finish my shift though. Oh, was it a lovely warm one? Were you in your shorts today? She says, I forgot it was Hannah's birthday shoe. Well, happy birthday, Hannah. Hannah's gonna be back on air at 11 o'clock. She did um, come on with me at eight this morning. She's launched her own panel and everything, Christine. She says, I had a hot flush, couldn't talk. Yeah, you, um, it's, it's, it's nerve wracking, isn't it? In the new studio. We love you being on air though. Okay, should we do the Liberty one as well? This is Hannah's classy Christmas. Getting ready for classy Christmas. Look at this. Oh, a whole meter again. Remember, if you're multi buying, it comes in meter pieces. If you just buy one unit, you'll get a whole meter. Liberty, this is em Emily Bell, which is one of the most iconic Liberty prints. Um, but you get all of this. Imagine doing classy Christmas stockings, beautiful placemats, maybe, cushions, Christmas cushions. It's really nice, you know, to see things in a metre piece, isn't it? Even a smaller scale print. It's nice to be able to see the, uh, the, the amount of fabric when you see two units together. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? There's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, this is a real go-to, isn't it, in your stash. If you've got this here, uh, keep it with just even a solid, and it's going to look amazing for Christmas sacks or gift bags, little drawstring bags. I'm saying Christmas, I mean... It doesn't scream it's Christmas like Noddy Holder, does it? But uh, it's got a really lovely, deep, rich claret red, hasn't it? 14 pounds and 98 pence. Oh, lots of lovely messages coming in. Gorgeous Morris bundles, got two. Thank you, Hannah. Happy birthday from Merseyside. Is that Kate? Oh, thank you, Kate. Hannah saying thank you. Oh, we'll definitely try and do some more of those bundles because they were really, really popular. The thing is, it can be a bit daunting when you see loads of skeins from DMC and you're not quite sure which ones tonally work. So because obviously we're, we're lucky enough that we've got the warehouse facility and Hannah can sit and actually play around with them here to work out which are the best color combinations. Um, yeah, you can do that. It's brilliant. Six of the Liberty bundles left, only six. Um, it's only because we're really, really limited on time are we rushing you, but please do make sure you're checking out even after the graphics are out. Um, oh gosh, we've got so much to do. Anything we don't get a chance to do here, we will make sure we bring to you at 11 o'clock. Now, we have to show this because this is brand new. Bruce, can I do this on the overhead, please? Because this is the Tiny Beast, but coordinating. So it's got Tiny Beast fabrics in here, but it's also got coordinating stripes and spots. I think the picture on the web only shows the Tiny Beast fabrics, but actually there's so much more in here. Um, let me just shimmy this off the the card it's all taped down but I've got to show you because this has never been on air before it is brand new did a good job of shimmying it off didn't I cat <laughs> I think I've just <laughs> gone ah! 
got it there. Right. There are more of the Tiny Beast collection. I know that we don't have more. Have a look on the website. It's all on pre-order. But this is the first pre-cut of Tiny Beasts in Tula Pink. But look. Not only are you getting all of your Tula beautiful prints, you're getting Tula dots. Tula spot. You're also getting official Tula stripes. These beautiful colours. And look, oh, you're still getting some of these amazing dear prints i love them the matching colors though look it works perfectly with all of your tula this is an amazing charm pack i don't think i've seen tula do a collection where she's done both so for example we've got tula solids in the show today but i don't know whether i've seen 10 inch squares that have the prints the dots and the stripes and this is the first time i've seen this tula stripe i love that you've got that really slim stripe running through her colours, I mean, you can see, they're, they're matching perfect. They're so well selected. They go perfectly with all of the collections. Oh, let me spin this round. Look at that. Oh, it's a big bear and a bee and a beehive. Oh, there's so much detail in her designs. I mean, from a distance, it doesn't look like a bear, does it? Clever, really clever. Look, the foxes jumping. We didn't have the foxes by the half metre, I'm being told, so we weren't able to get it. And you get two, look, so you get two of each. Um, the raccoons. Look, it's got dustbin. If you were to say to me, I'm going to design a fabric that's got raccoons and dustbins, I'd say, you're having a laugh. It just doesn't, that's not going to work. It looks so elegant. It works. Look, it's an apple core. She's so clever. A cola can, uh, they're all spaced out perfectly to cut. So we uh, fussy cut. She thinks about the placement of, of all of the designs as well. The colours are going to work together. Even if you were to just stitch all of these 10 inch squares together, big patchwork quilt, it's going to look incredible. Oh, it's the first time these have gone to air. The squirrels. So if you were some, uh, sort of umming and ahhing about which prints to get, 10 inch squares I know are some of the most versatile prints. They really, really are. I've got um, a, a lunch bag that's made out of tulip pink fabrics. I get compliments wherever I take it. Look at this. Hedgehogs with flowers as their little spikes. That is just so cute. Like dandelions. Oh, and I love the spots. Tula spots, Tula coordinating stripes, the deer, of course, spectacular. <gasps> just love it. They're the foxes again. We didn't have the foxes by the half meter. Only way of getting them is in the first Tiny Bees pre-cuts that we've seen. Your spots and your stripes, plus all of those prints. That's a lovely 10 inch charm pack, isn't it? Coordinating spots and stripes for $44.99. Amazing. Every one of the prints that we have got available is on pre-order. We'll try and bring them at 11 o'clock if we get chance, but they are on the website if you want them. Can I remind you also, as I said, for Christine, who missed it, and anybody else who wasn't here at 8am, Hannah has designed her first ever panel. We all need to support her. We all need to support her because she's designed her first ever panel. Look at it! It's amazing. Do you know what? We definitely need to do a whole collection because Hannah is so talented. I mean, she's doing an MA in art at the moment. Um, she's got such, oh, so much on this panel for $12.99. It should be $19.99. It should be, especially for the size of the panel that you're getting. I mean, you could use this for lots of different um, uses, which we'll talk more about at 11 o'clock. So do make sure you stay tuned, but I just wanted to flash it up for anybody who missed it, as it is really, really popular. We love it. We're gonna go to a weird halfway through break because we're gonna get Fiona Hesford on. She's gonna be with me for the next hour and a half. Hannah's then joining me at 11. If you do want to go through on pre-order and shop ahead, we've got the applique cushions. We've also got the kitchen accessories. We've got the plant holders. There's loads to bring you with Fiona, so don't go anywhere. We're back right after this. Also, 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 have a look on the website, back in stock, John Scott's book, if you do want to check out. It's on today's items. We've played it through. I know the website keeps crashing, so we've had a couple of emails of people struggling to find it. If you want it, it's on today's show web uh, show deal. So have a look, and we'll see you with Fiona right after this.
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. 
our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Hello, hello, welcome back. Sorry about the slightly longer break. Don't panic, we'll make sure we get through everything, but oh, there was a lot of um, rejigging everything because we had a lot of products on the, uh, the desk from the last show, but we've got a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant hour and a half with Fiona now. Um, we're gonna start by introducing the kitchen makes um, and then we've got a plique drawstring bag we've got the patchwork pa fabric pots which i love as well so there's loads going on starting with the kitchen makes now these are so so cool i love them as always with fiona her patterns are amazing um this is the latest funky kitchen collection so you have got to make an apron patterns to make an apron a tea cozy oven mitt pot holder and jam topper i love it the ultimate funky kitchen and obviously um yeah choose your fabrics choose what beautiful fabrics we've got a great selection to show you on the show today um but yeah i love them in the uh, african wax fabrics as well they look great don't they 15 pounds and 95 pence to say that you're getting all of those patterns in there that is brilliant value there's the pot holder um we're gonna see little bits that of course any of the tricky techniques that fiona wants to go through then we'll show you during the demo but of course any questions that you have for fiona she's here today so get them in um what we'll do is we'll open the pattern with fiona and have a good look through that but i'll show you the different fabric options now can we do the sunflowers first 
because this is going to look amazing. These don't actually have to be for this kitchen set, but how amazing and bright would these look in the kitchen? £14.99, and you're getting two metres, so you're getting a whole two-metre bundle, all for £14.99. I am thinking for a conservatory, for a garden set, for your kitchen mates, it is ideal, and only £14.99, it is poplin weight, so it's slightly lighter weight, for dressmaking as well. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Um, 14 pounds and 99 pence for a whole two meters of that sunflower print. It's the first time we've had that in, I think. It is beautiful. We've got it in especially in for this collection. Kit going through already, quarter of the stock gone. Well done. Something completely different. I love this with the little bees. If I say completely different, I was gonna reach for the leopard print, but I love this one as well. This is Rose and Hubble, so it's it's really gorgeous quality cotton. Slightly lighter weight again, it's a poplin. Now, look, if I open this all out, I just want to show you two meters. It's a lot of fabric. You're going to be able to make that whole collection of kitchen makes. So you're going to be able to do your apron. You're going to be able to do your pot holder, your oven mitt. You're going to be able to do your little jam jar. Oh, I love it. Cover. Or anything you want. $14.99. Close up. It's got nice little strawberries and vines and little bees on. On that lovely dark navy for fourteen ninety nine. That is oodles of fabric, isn't it? Loads and loads and loads of fabric. I am thinking dressmaking. I am thinking dressmaking as well. It's the first time we've had these fabrics in, so just thought I'd let you know. But get yourself the pattern. Um, it's underneath us on the website, and we're going to be talking through it with Fiona. Just want to whiz through these fabrics before we speak to her. Um, the animal print. I've got leopard in gold. So this is like your traditional leopard print. It almost looks like it's furry. It's not. It's a poplin again. It's a cotton poplin. But look, can you see? Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, just multi bar on this because I'm now thinking bags. I'm thinking the bucket hat later. I'm thinking um, again dressmaking. But your kitchen makes. How cool would this be? Hannah says it's like Rockabilly Kitchen, isn't it? Really cool. $14.99, two meters of your animal print tan cotton. We have got a couple of other really cool, um, uh, yeah, bag making stash as well. We've got a couple of other um, really cool leopard prints. Or your pot holders as well. Leopard pot holders would look cool. I've got the teal leopard print. These are all 112 wide. Uh, poplin weight cottons so teal and black and white coming up this is your teal it's really lovely in that color isn't it <gasps> oh i love this i am again thinking dressmaking big cushions home decor just fill your boots whilst we've got this fabric in we never get to see fabrics like this two meter bundles for 14.99 that is brilliant value for money Right, if you can't make your mind up, let me show you the other leopard print because there's a lot of people who are putting them in the basket, haven't yet checked out, so I'm presuming you want to see them all. This is the other leopard print. It's your monochrome, your black and white. Now, are you going leopard or are you going Dalmatian? Oh, hang on, are Dalmatians more solid spots then? Yeah, I think they are. Hannah's still going Dalmatian. 14.99, Kat's shaking her head in disagreement. She's like, no, it's not a Dalmatian print, Hannah. 14.99, it's her birthday, she has to be right. Okay, so, there are your fabric options. Oh, we've got a spotty as well. And I think actually, this is your classic country kitchen. So, still funky. Still got that funky vibe, but this time your beautiful poplin. Um, $14.99. It's another two whole meter bundle, which is brilliant value for money. Poplin weight, $14.99. We still always have these, you know, just in by the half meter. We just don't see them, do we now? Okay. 
We're going to come back to the pot holders and the drawstring bag. They're all on pre-order if you want to. But Fiona, it's so lovely to be back with you. Hello. How are you? How are you? Yes, Good. I'm fine. How are you? Really well. Yeah, now, great. we're not just celebrating Hannah's birthday. It's your dad's birthday we're today. Not. My dad's 89th birthday today. So happy birthday, Dad. And happy birthday, Hannah. So it's a big day today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cheers. We're on the cheers. no seco. We're, we're drunk already on the no seco. We had a little party yesterday, which is why I couldn't oh. get here so earlier today. So, yeah, but we had a nice time. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Uh, so you're bringing to us loads of goodies today. I know. I've been overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> the I mean, prep just went on and on and on. I, I can imagine. So yeah. uh, starting with your funky kitchen, yeah. talk us through the pattern with this one, Okay. Fiona. So this all came about because of my love of African fabrics. And I got, you know, but you, of course you can make it in absolutely everything. And we've got some lovely fabrics here. Perfect present. I have to say the amount of people that buy these patterns and make up ones for Christmas, I I mean, dare I say that C word? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they, I mean, and all practically all the pa all the projects that we've got here today are really good for Christmas, aren't they? Yeah, really good they for are. presents. So um, it, it's a very it is quite a simple pattern. But what I wanted it to be was like a sort of vehicle for your creativity. So, for example, you can either do it in a in a really wild. Mm -hmm. um, fabric or you know if you're going a little you know a bit more understated in the nice ditzy prints that we've got you, you uh, you've got the option on the pattern to put a plain pocket on to if you want to and of course you can uh, use that as a little canvas for sort of putting some applique on it yeah. or doing a bit of patchwork or you can see that I've just sort of put an F for funky on my pocket here, which, you know, just a bit of fun, really. That's it, exactly. And, um, I think these are almost like staple patterns that you're going to come back to and come back to and come back to, aren't right. they? And there are really, really great quality paper yes. as well. So they're ones that yes, you will really reuse. Good quality. And you can just use your pattern weights to weigh it down. I don't really pin it at all, actually. OK. And if you haven't got pattern weights, you could always just use some tins, you know. So go through again what it is that we're going to make with this pattern. So I'm just going to um, show you you all the things that you can make so you've got um, the apron obviously and, and did you say there are different sizes in I've the apron? I've sized the pattern up so it was before it was one size and then I thought well actually what about if you wanted to make one for you know your hubby or something might mm -hmm. be a little bit of a chunky man yeah. so I've sized it up to a large and then sliced it down to a, a small as well so you know, you've got a range there. Oh, brilliant. And um, I mean, all the others are obviously one size, but it even comes with some funky uh, labels, funky kitchen labels. Oh, cool. So you can cut them out and you can see what I've done. I've stick stuck them on a little jam pot. And then of course you just put your jam topper, which you get in the pattern and get one of these sort of hair bands yeah. that you can get anywhere and just put it on the top. That's brilliant. You Have see, you made your own marmalade there, Fiona? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know but lots of people do that for origin. It's okay to cheat. Yeah. It's okay if you don't. But I, when I designed this pattern, I had an allotment and I had all this rhubarb and I was making vast amounts of rhubarb chutney. Yeah. If you didn't like rhubarb, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you know, there was uh, nothing I could do for you there. But um, uh, it all came from that, really. So um, I was making a lot of little pots of things and it just all kind of blossomed and uh, and then we had a little craft show my friend Jane and I and I took over the kitchen and it was Fiona's funky chick kitchen oh and fantastic. it was all sort of and you know we had pop star we had James brownies James oh, Brown yeah. brownies and Ziggy Stardust cakes and things like fantastic. that fantastic and uh, Bay City Roller sausage rolls oh <laughs> love that really crazy so, so we had fun, fun with it, it. Yeah. yeah so so not only can you make those little uh, jam jar toppers and your yeah, apron you've so, also got so you can also uh, make uh, a pot a pot holder is that what we call it pot holder and an oven mitt so here we go um, and they're all being they've all been quilted so you will need to put some sort of interlining or wadding inside okay we I think we've got some thermalam oh yeah which is ideal because it's heat is resistant is it isn't heat it resistant, yeah I wouldn't call it heat it's not heat proof so I think they yeah. still recommend on the website on Visaline's website to use a couple of layers of the Do they? yeah in yeah. your in your oven mitts but right. that's the one to use yes, as opposed I to I recommend this polyester. for the tea cozy okay but for the mitt I sort of say to use Insulbrite, but if you use a couple of layers, I'm sure yeah. it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, just just um, just be, be aware of that, really. Um, uh, the, it's lined, or they're all lined. So I mean, but actually, what you could do is line it with the outer fabric because you've got so much. You've got two bundles. meters of fabric. You've got enough to do the whole set. That's right. You can you can sort of use the set. You know, I mean, obviously these are the same both sides, but um, yeah, the other mitt you could just use the outer fabric as the lining. So you know, that'd be really nice. Brilliant. So where shall I put those? And then the tea cozies. I mean, and again, you know, I've quilted the tea cosy, but, you know, if you didn't want to quilt it particularly, I mean, it's good to have a walking foot if you, if you um, mm -hmm. do the quilting bit. But you could leave the quilting off and put a bit of applique on there. In fact, I've done a gardening applique with yeah. uh, sort of, you know, with little, uh, you know, if you've got a friend who's a gardener, you can sort of do some little watering cans a little pot yeah. plant you know just put make it like a picture personalize them all so, that's yeah, it so it's just um so it's just sort of like a vehicle for your creativity really it's a great blank canvas for you to then add to that's isn't it right. and i think especially because it is funky kitchen it lets you sort of think like don't get me wrong you could do this in your real traditional fabrics it yes. could be all about the fabric it could be cave it could be tula it could be leopard print yep. we've got lots of great bundles today um but also you could do it in your traditional but i think just Calling it Funky Kitchen is making me think of all of the different cool fabrics I want to use for it. That's right. So I'm getting my apron on. Got now. your apron on. Yeah, which I do every single night, even if I cook a, a heat up tin of beans, you know, the apron goes apron on. Apron on. And also, if you're crafting, I think it's good to have an apron on, actually, yeah. isn't it? Because yeah. otherwise, you end up threads all over you or That's glue right. on you. And also, because you've got this nice giant pocket, you can store all your things in there. Yeah, absolutely. You? Glasses, good idea. Phone, and it can all go in there. So it's really useful. So here's the little pattern here, and you've got the lay plan there. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, it doesn't take a lot of fabric, so, and it's very sort of easy, quick make. And once you've made one apron, you'll sort of be like making lots. Yeah. So, and then you've got all the uh, rest oh, of the bits really and bobs at the end. So there we go. So that's the pattern. And, um, yeah, and as I said, you've got this, you've got six labels that you can cut out, but if you want to, you could just uh, cut it out pop it on the photocopy if you wanted more and just photocopy it off. I mean, I don't condone copying my pattern, but I think in that, in that sort of instant, yeah. I think it's fine, you yes. know, if you wanted to, you know, extras. But anyway, so here's the, the spotty apron. I've taken the liberty of doing a bit of a contrast band just to sort of show you, because obviously you could put the spotty, you know, just like I've got, so it's all one fabric. But I thought it would be quite nice if you, you know, to sort of see it with a really sort yeah. of contrasting back, you know, Good idea. because you might have something in your stash, a big sort of one for using up the stash. And again, you know, you could put something, a nice shape, big heart or something mm -hmm. on the front. Or you put F for funky and not F for Fiona. <laughs> oh, funky Fiona, isn't it? I love that you've decided that that's F for funky instead of Fiona. <laughs> So um, I've made up the ties beforehand, but um, another idea you could use is uh, instead of um, sewing in the uh, neckband here, you could put some dungaree clips on or, oh, cool. you, or a D-ring and so that you yeah. can adjust it. In which case, you know, just cut out the ties, yeah. another tie for the neck, you know, it'll give you a little bit extra. So you've got a slightly shorter tie for the neck band. Mm -hmm. And I really love this uh, sort of top stitch detail. And rather than going out, this is a little kind of tip here, rather than going out and buying a top stitch thread, I've actually used my triple, triple stretch stitch mm -hmm. here. And it really defines the stitching. So it's the one that the, that's got three little lines in a row. Uh, on mine, it's number three, but it, on yours, it probably will be something oh. else. So on a triple triple stretch stitch setting, mm -hmm. you can, uh, I mean, obviously it goes a little bit slower, but it, it just means you can really define your stitching. So if you wanted to, like I wanted to pick up that red stitching that I've got in the main fabric on the bands, it just really sort of shows up so much better. I know you love your top stitching anyway, don't I you, Fiona? I do love my top stitching. You know me so well. I do know you very well. Oh, there's a lady who sent a lovely message in for you, Fiona. Um, who was it, Hannah? We'll get it back across the bottom. It was Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. She's put, morning, Vicky and Fiona. I love Fiona's patterns. So easy to follow. I've made six of her Betty dresses. Six. Six. 
Is that more that, than you, she's mate? A record breaker. There you go. Has anyone made more than six Betty dresses? Thanks, <laughs> Mandy. Amazing. That's amazing. Oh, That's brilliant with doing this pattern. You'll, you'll want to make them again. Yeah, thank you. And thanks to everybody that came to see me at the NEC. We're really well established there. And it's so lovely to see Sewing Street people oh, come on the fantastic. stand. And I have to say that if there's any Sewing Street viewers who come and say hello, they get a special little present. Oh, from really? Me. Yeah. Where are you? Are you at Festival of Quilts? Uh, no. No, but where I will are you be next? At Ali Pelli and Pally. I will be at uh, Farnborough, yeah. um, the Crate and Craft at Farnborough and I'll be at the Christmas one down at uh, Crate and Craft at, at NEC again. Oh amazing. Yeah, so Brilliant. few. <laughs> yeah, busy, <laughs> busy. a lot going on. So anyway, you've got your pocket here, which um, I've, I've made just before the show because we haven't got a lot of time. We've got to quite a lot of projects to do and you see I've just stitched a hem at the top folded over folded over again stitched a very simple hem and then you know if you've got an overlocker it's always nice to sort of seal your edges um, finish your edges nicely if not just put a little zigzag on and then um, press over about well one centimeter all the way around and then just place it on your now I have got a placement position on my pattern but of course I've forgotten to actually put it transfer it onto my apron so always well prepared here <laughs> Matt so just anyway tele sewing a bit different so I'm just going to wing it and pin it on like so but it's a funky apron isn't it anyway yeah so if it's slightly at an angle it's uh, a design a choice apron, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> so anyway so I'm pinning it on like so and now I've got a different colour thread on here because I'm, I've got to do quite a few projects with one wheel of thread. So I've got a neutral thread. So I'm just going to do one row of stitching all the way round. And, um, but actually it might look quite nice. So mm -hmm. now if you wanted to, you could tack, hand tack that on. I think I do recommend that in the pattern to hand tack it. Uh, pockets are always things that sort of move when you sew them um, but you know if you have your pins at an angle like this you can always run over them just take a deep breath when you do <laughs> be very careful <laughs> so I'm just going to run around the pocket now and you know if you don't have anything on the middle you could always sew a stick line of stitching down the middle as well it makes two pockets that's all always quite nice or one little pocket mm. at the side for your Put your wooden spoon in oh you'll end up all. making loads of these one for you your uh your gardening you'll have one for your craft room one for your cooking yeah. one for your hubby like you said now you've got a large size in there as well you could do one for hubby for his work room or wherever he's doing in the garage so um you might want to lengthen your stitch <laughs> if you're going um <laughs> over, over sort of a few pro few layers mm -hmm. so um and then you want to Sorry, I'm just sort of getting to know this machine, really, so um, bear with me. And now you want to, when you're top stitching, you want to lengthen your stitch, but you also want to go about an eighth of an inch or three millimetres away from the edge. If you've got a few little bits hanging out at the side, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not going to do it now, but you could get one of these little tools that, that just folds these are quite good. I think oh, on yeah, the yeah. I like and you those. can just sort of poke it in when you go over that bit just so that it doesn't stick out and then sew it down. Yeah, they're good actually because your fingers don't get near the, the needle. It's just good. And I use them for folding as well. I don't know if anyone else does that, do they? Mm, yeah, I think you, you, there's so many different. I, I just saw it. I remember back in um, sewing course days when it was, uh, I think, didn't John used to call it Derek? the dobber or just a, a, po dobber. a pokey tool some sort of pointy tool and I thought how useful can it be and then honestly there are so many different uses for those tools they're very useful aren't they yeah are you using this triple stitch again or not well just for speed today I'm not okay but I think if I really wanted to carry on that defined look um, I would have put my triple stitch on and then um, and done that but actually it looks really nice because actually I've lengthened it to, to three so mm -hmm. three millimeter length so um, 
I think that looks just as good. Do you know this book, uh, I don't want to call it just a pattern because there's so much in here. It's really bulky. There's a lot that you're going to get. £15.95. These are going to be great, really, little go-to projects in your workroom. It's like having a book of, you know, kitchen accessory mates because you've got your pattern, and it's all really detailed, obviously, when you're purchasing any of the owner's patterns, you know that you get really lovely thick pattern paper and step-by-step -step full instructions, and that's on diagrams, but then you also have lots of text, you've got pictures uh, and photographs as well. So they're really clear. I think the key thing is when you're purchasing from Fiona is that you know Fiona sews. You're making these things. You are yeah. going to know well, that's what you want they from instructions. Exist because I've started making them for myself, really. And then I, I used to have a little beach hut makery and I used to make them and sell them down yes. at the, the hut. The beach hut, which I don't have anymore. Shame, but oh, I, yeah, I always remember seeing pictures of your beach yes. hut. And then, plus, look at all of this. So you have got so many patterns on here that you're going to be able to reuse and reuse, and they're all so clear. I'm actually going to open this up because I want you to see how great this is. You can hear the thickness of the paper, can't you? It's really lovely, thick paper. You can see the medium or large, small, medium and large um, sizes there as well. Huge pattern paper to be able to do your apron, your pot holder. You can see really clearly exactly what it all is. Yeah, it's nice having the um, quilting lines as well, isn't it? Because you can use that as a guide. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, you know, you didn't really need to do that, but actually it's nice having that because it just gives you a little bit to go on. Yeah, you've it? even put the quilting guide and, of course, your funky kitchen labels at the bottom. You've also got the funky kitchen labels. Brilliant. Thank you. Right, back over to you. Sorry, Fiona. So Just what I'm doing everybody. now is I am um, folding over a hem at the curved side edges here. So just um, the ones that go by the side of the arm. It's not really an armhole, is it? On an apron. How much are you folding it over by? Does it tell so you in the instructions? So a centimetre and then a centimetre again. Now, you don't want to do a massive, uh, you know, be careful not to do, um, just keep to the seam allowance because um, you've got a little, you know, that because that's on a curve, it's got a bit of stretch. Mm -hmm. And if you do a bigger, bigger hem, it will have less stretch. So you okay. want to keep to the seam allowance. Are you still doing your blog, Fiona? Yes, Brilliant. I love my blog, yeah. <laughs> See, honestly, um, Fiona has so many amazing tips, inspiration, hacks and all sorts yes, on, on the yes, blog. Yes, it keeps getting added to and, you know, um, updated all the time. So, yeah, I mean, um, if anyone wants to sort of subscribe to it, you know, every time I do a new sort of um, listing or whatever. This is what it looks like. Have a look. Yes. Hannah's found it on the website for you. <laughs> if you literally just search the funky kitchen, um, you'll find Fiona. There's Fiona. Is this your kitchen for Fiona? Yes, yes. I've got a collection of plates, collection of badges. Are they Donna Wilson plates? It's all in my kitchen. Hmm? They're Donna Wilson plates. They're Donna aren't they? Wilson. Oh, are you a fan of Donna Wilson as well? Hannah is. Hannah's rotted Donna Wilson oh, plates. Yes. Can't claim it as me knowing. Um, yeah, and then look, <laughs> you've got all of the photographs as well. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just really lovely to be able to have a bit of a read of the blog. Breaks it down a bit more as well. There's lots of different um, tips and tricks there. Fantastic. Now, just remember, you could also uh, get your twin needle if out if you wanted to do a double line of stitching. That mm -hmm. always looks great to get that jeans quality. These look great in denim as well. So oh, if you're doing nice. one for a man, yeah. I mean, I would say that that would be a perfect kind of uh, fabric to yeah. use. And we've got lots of denims, haven't we? Yeah, right? nice denim would be lovely. Like, yes. as I said, for a um, Yes, I mean, this cotton is so one. easy to use, though, this poplin. It really is. And it just makes it a little bit lightweight. So if you do a lot of travelling and you, it's easy to pack away, it's not too bulky. You know, it's um, you know, it's 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 um, it's not like a thick canvas. Is no. it? Although I think this one is slightly thicker, isn't it? No, oh, no I think that's a poplin. Yeah, it looks, it looks like, like a canvas, like a canvas really, yeah. isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. the print's a bit grainy. So um, I think the thing about this pattern, and I was so pleased when I saw these fabrics because. Often people do go for thicker canvas, um, but because this is a very easy insertion of the ties, mm -hmm. where you just literally tuck them under the hem, if you've got fabric a bit too a bit bulky, it's it's not that easy to sew across there. You know, you probably have to get your walking foot. But with fabric like this, it's absolute cinch. 
Oh, so. these fabrics, some of these fabrics are gorgeous as well. And I'm thinking ahead of the bucket hat pattern already for some of these. I love the bucket hat. Also, remember, it's a longer hour, so we are doing also these amazing hanging pots. Look at this. I really want one of these. These are so cool. And that's the one that's been done from the kit, from the panel. Oh, nice. And then these ones are, are done from just like, because it's originally it was a stash busting project. Oh, nice. So any fabrics that you've got at home, I mean, yeah. you've even added denim into this. We've got kits. And you can have it hanging or not hanging. They're very, very in to have these house plants hanging, aren't they? Well, house plant. I mean, house plants. The industry has just absolutely yeah. gone potty, yeah. has it? <laughs> Excuse the pun, but I mean. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely having the nice alive things in the house. Uh, do you know what? My ferns are all doing very, very well. Every Thursday I water my ferns. It's like a thing now. My um, Thursday fern club. But to be able to have your really lovely pots, whether you want to hang them or just have them as pots like on the side, they're lovely, aren't they? And then we've also got the applique drawn string bag that's behind Fiona coming up as well in a moment. Right, go on, carry right, on, Fiona. So Sorry. I've done some telly sewing on these side hems, so they're a little bit wobbly, but there you go. When you're standing up, you're not going to do the best no. sewing, are you? But give that a nice press so that, you know, if you, you, when you sew the curve, you always get a slight bit of puckering, but a little bit of pressing like that always just rectifies it. Now, we're going to put the um, top neck bands in now so again what we do is fold over you might want to trim down your ends first fold over one centimeter and then fold over again i think you're folding over two centimeters or a centimeter and a half I'm not it says sure. it in the pattern yes, it does um, and then you've made your ties or neck tie beforehand now in the pattern, it says to, uh, I think it says to, have you got the pattern here? So I think it's about turning it inside out with a loop turner okay. or just a poking tool. Uh, let me just have a look. Um, mm, yes, so it does. So, but if you find your fabric is a little bit thick and you're finding it hard to turn it inside out, just fold over one side one centimetre, the other side one centimetre, and then fold the whole thing over in half and top stitch all the way around. A lot easier, and you're not there struggling turning it inside out for ages. Are we anyway, okay to do about another five minutes on this one before lovely. we move on. Lovely. So right? I'll get the next tie in, and, you, and it's pretty much the same for the side. So I've literally folded over a hem at the top edge, and then with my tie nicely top stitched, I put, I just tuck it under like that at one side so you might want to get some clips out but i'm just going to use pins and then just make sure that the same side is facing up nope got the wrong one i've got the tie let's get the other one that's better so tuck it in now tuck it in so that it sits actually in the corner because you want it to follow the line of the corner of the um, top edge and then with the other side, the same side facing up, you just tuck it into the other side. So it's really, really easy. Now, I mean, of course, the other thing you can do is add a couple of buttons, couldn't you? Yeah, just to absolutely. sort of like make a feature, which would be nice. You don't need to do that, do you? Oh, yeah, what do you think to the new sweet, fancy iron? I love it. Good, sweet, isn't, it? isn't it? Oh, I can't get used to the idea no, of leaving it on its, on its base, though. I really can't. So I'm going to stitch now close to the hem edge. So that's the inner edge, and I'm on my long, uh, and I've lost my thread, so that's great. Could become unthreaded for some reason, don't know why. So bear with. Don't worry. I'll just get it. Just so you know, all of those fabrics, the two meter bundles, the uh, sunflower one has now sold out. Um, there are the leopard prints, there's the bees, and there's also the poplin one that uh, Fiona is working with, the spot. That is available as well if you do want the, the nice polka dot. Um, they're two whole metre bundles that you can get, which is plenty to do the whole collection. Um, the leopard, go on, which one? Classic leopard. Get ready for um, the bucket hat as well with this one. Very on trend, so, so cool. 14 99 
Love it. Yes, what I'd do is den in one side, leopard the other, and have it reversible. You could lose, use this as a, the lining of your plant pots. If, if you're thinking, you know, maybe it's a bit out there for you, use denim on the outside. This is the lining, maybe. Or lining of all of your, your kitchen accessories. Really nice. And just a cream. I just, they're really, really nice bundles. Really nice. We are going to move on to the other bundles in just a minute. Uh, we're just finishing off the apron. This it has to be said, this apron is a really great beginner's project. Yeah. So you're starting off sewing. There's nothing better than to do something where you don't have to fit it. You don't yeah. have to worry about fitting. And, you know, it's really sort of simple techniques like hemming and uh, top stitching. They're all great sort of starter Oh, I, when I they? first started, honestly, I felt like I was doing a production line for a major department store, the <laughs> amount of aprons I was churning out. I just got really addicted to it. And like I said, I started thinking of um, for craft room, for gardening, for, you know, for men who spend time in the garage. And Hannah's like, well, I don't know, I don't even know what, what it is that Kieran does in the garage. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that person. <laughs> for, you know, if anybody who's doing Butler in the Buff, they could have one. Um, barbecuing in the Buff, obviously, yeah. <laughs> Um, or, yeah, my mum, I did make my mum an apron. Oh, and did you? Yeah, I made my mum an apron oh. as well. She still wears it and it's, she's had it for like five oh, years. Oh, amazing. Yes. And does your mum like her apron, did she? No, she 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 sent it back because she put oh. it in the wash and um, it, it unraveled, came and done or something. So she actually <laughs> sent it, returned it. <laughs> Tell me to work on Rejects. my sewing. Nice one, that one. <laughs> I so know, the, thanks if you're watching. I so let um, you forget uh, it. Yeah, sorry, I just steamed ahead without really showing you what I was doing. But basically, I've gone, I've, I pressed my neckband upwards mm -hmm. and then I went back and top stitched it again, this time closer to the top edge. So when you, so when you turn it over, you've got two lines of stitching. Mine are a little bit wobbly because I said telly sewing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but you know, the more you do, the better you are, the better you become. And now with the side, uh, with the side ties, just very quickly, you do exactly the same. Turn a double hem and then get your uh, side tie, pop it under exactly the same way, stitch it down, press it outwards and then stitch it down again. So you've oh. got two like, and then hem the bottom edge. Really simple. And that's really quick. And then the uh, accessories, they're all, you quilt the fabric before you construct them, you cut them out, sew them together, put the lining in. And then they have a little bit of binding around the edge, particularly the, um, the pot holder and the uh, oven mitts. But they're very straightforward. There's enough fabric in the bundles for you to do the and whole lot, but you could them. do the that's contrasting right. if you aren't with any and of your... And some toppers. For, oh, with the yeah. scraps. So oh yeah, everybody's going to be making the their jams for Christmas. Do you know you mentioned Fiona about the um, what do we call this? Thermalan. Thermalan. We have got Thermalan available. So for your pot holders, brilliant. Yeah. For your oven mitts, can you remember what Visaline recommend for oven mitts? Two layers. Two layers of it. Yeah. I mean, look at how much you get. There's loads. No, it's not fireproof or, you know, heat yeah, proof, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. heat resistant. Yeah. But it is a really dense wadding. Yeah. So this isn't the insole bright that you were saying no, about. This hasn't got the metal running through. It's bright. got like a metal running through, hasn't it? Has, it has, yes. This if you one want is just it to be um, oven proof. That's the one to use. But that one's great for sort of like you know getting just getting sort of simple things out of the oven like you know yeah. pizzas and stuff like that. But um, a, a spray spray glue it on or tack hand tack yeah. it on as well just to hold it in place and get your walking foot on. So that's what I recommend. Perfect. That's like a real compressed fleece. But there, it is a Visaline product if you want to have a look on the website. Right. Um, okay. Can we introduce the next kits, please, Fiona? Having a little drink. Let's do, yeah, while you're having a little drink, should we do the pot holders? Because they are already absolutely flying out on pre order. So I've got one that's got the one here, the one that we were showing. Now, definitely get yourself these bundles because there are so many people at the moment that are, I mean, me myself, I am loving my, um, oh, I took your base as well. Sorry, birthday girl. I'll, I'll, for 11 o'clock, I'll replenish you. <laughs> Hannah just went to have a sip of a Nosecco and she was like, oh, my Nosecco's run out and it's got no base on the glass either. Because I, 
Yeah, next one for Bruce. Uh, right, so you get your pattern. There are two different versions, so you can do option one, and then option two has also got uh, a trimming which you can use as well. And look at the panel. I love these fabrics. Now, the best thing about the panel is that you don't need to be diving into your stash looking for coordinating fabrics, because look, it, wait, it all works together. These are really cool patterns, aren't they? They really are. We work together on those. I love it. And uh, it's Louise, who, Louise Wilson, who, d who designed it. She's great. Oh, yeah, Louise. Um, and she said, oh, just tell me if you think, you know, then that th you don't like them. And I just went, I absolutely love them. <gasps> so she really just got it spot on. Which oh, is they're brilliant. Definitely get your bundle because you get your instructions and the whole panel for $15.99. Uh, they're really good size as well, aren't mm. they? And they're unique to us, aren't they? They're yeah. Absolutely exclusive to us. Exclusive. Yeah. Exclusive to us, exclusive and that's darling. including your your uh, lovely uh, patterned lining fabric. Have you used like a PU then to? Yes, but you don't have to. That, um, I've got a little bit of PU here to show you. It's just literally like a um, a vinyl. Uh, it's like a see-through, transparent, uh, plastic, sewable. But it's, you you can get that every anywhere. But you don't have to use it no. because um, if you are watering plants, you always take them out of the pot and anyway. And you should always drain them, them drain. off. That's right. Yeah. So and uh, sometimes just to protect the base, I might put um, a, like a, this one. It's got like a, a lid, um, a sort of container lid. Oh on yeah, the base, that's on a really good idea. Idea. so you just put one yeah, of those or in yogurt pot or something like that so you know you can use anything or you just a plastic bag you know uh -huh. just to protect it yeah. so you don't have to use that PU I mean obviously if you do use the PU just be aware that the iron will not uh, no, it, you like know, won't it. like They're it not friends. but what you can do is steam it and it will make it incredibly pliable and so you're when you're turning it inside out uh, that's the bit you, you steam it and then it will it will go all soft and gooey and you turn it inside out and as it cools it hardens up again so it's really good for that this is a really cool panel isn't it love it so not only do you get the panel you also get your pattern and just to clarify you get your templates in here as well Fiona so you've got templates for a seven inch and a five inch pot oh fab. so that's the five inch pot and that's the seven inch pot but of course, you know, you can enlarge or, you know, uh, you can make them smaller, pop, you know, the pieces when they're cut out, you know, they fit onto an A4. And so you can enlarge them if you want, if you want even bigger. So, Brilliant. You know. And I love the shape of them. They're really lovely, aren't yeah. they? But you see, really cool. um, where's the other one gone here? Let me just grab this one. This one's actually got the plant in. So this one's actually from my house. <laughs> um, but you can see that, you, that um, I've used a contrast band at the top. So that's the version B yes. where you've got, and, and of course, you know, the scallop edge just really, you know, adds that extra little something. And it's an optional trim. You know, I put a little bit of rickrack there, but you could yeah. put some bobbles. You know, it's just a nice way of hiding any mismatch scenes. See, this I is what think. I love, is that if you're getting your panel and you're making these originally out of, you know, your fabrics that you're getting here, because you've then got the pattern with templates, normally, if we do uh, an exclusive panel, we've kind of done the shapes for you, and yeah. then you can't really do it again. Whereas yeah. with this, you've also got the pattern to yeah. be able to make as many as That's you want right. again. And what a great Christmas present. What's your angel policy, Fiona? Mm? Have you got an angel policy of making to sell? So can I take these to craft fairs and oh, sell Oh, no, them? I'm absolutely fine with that. But Is that people right? do ask me if that's all right. Yeah. And I usually say yes. It's just when people photocopy the pattern and hand it around, that's right. when it's really a problem. And it's nice but for you to credit Fiona as well yeah, when you're selling. Yeah, absolutely. If anyone project. says, oh, I'd like to make one of those, then just send them my way. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or our way. But oh, um, yeah. this this pink one is absolutely so pretty, and I have to say oh, yeah, that every one. panel you can get two pots out of, so you can get either two large seven-inch pots or a seven-inch and a five-inch pot out Fantastic. of. Fantastic! So that's quite good value, isn't it? Really good. And then of course you can, you can make um, you know you can sort of make others as well out of your own scraps, you know, because it really was originally a stash busting project, but. What a great idea to make a panel. Oh, and I love there. these fabric. These are so you again, aren't they? Look They're at so this. They're so pretty, aren't they? So, yeah. so pretty. Sorry, the picture on the website is wrong. Um, it's being changed as we speak. It is the patchwork fabric parts. 
It is the fabric pots that you're getting, £15.99. You've got your lining fabric at the bottom, you've got your uh, five coordinating gorgeous prints for the outside, um, and you've got enough there to be able to do two pots, plus you're getting your patterns with your templates for both the five and the seven inch pots for £15.99. pence. That is brilliant. What were you going to say, sorry? £15.99? No, yeah. Oh, what, for the pattern? Yeah. Uh, no, both. What? No. Yes. You're joking. Yes. That's ridiculous. Uh, I, think I don't right. know whether, hang on, we are just checking, Hannah, that is definitely for the pattern and your panel. See, we've spoken wow. about this already today, okay. our panels, even, you yes, know, Crazy Hannah funny. birthday price, are twelve ninety nine. we normally yeah. say nineteen ninety nine for our exclusive panels, but let's go wild and say twelve ninety nine. The pattern isn't three pounds. <laughs> I mean, get the bundles whilst they're in yeah. stock because they will fly out. Yeah. That's and really it's good. So value. it's such a pleasure to me. Go on it then, really show us how we do it. So as I said, you've got two versions. You've got the version A and the version B, and you can see here the version A has got just the same, um, not the same shape, yeah, all along, but just different. But you can make it in one fabric, you know, there's no rules, are there? And then also this one here has got the two sections that you join together. So you just pop it together like that, pop a pin in. Actually, I don't even bother with a pin, to be honest. And then um, you're going to do a quarter inch seam allowance on this one so don't go mad with the you know you want to make sure that you keep you know any any quilters out there will be very used to a sewing quarter inch seams won't they yeah um and i don't know how to do this so anyway there you go um and then so sew it across like so and um it hasn't got a cutter, this one, has it? Uh, no, so that one doesn't no. have a thread okay. cutter. Back, and yeah. then lift it up like so, and then give it. This is where your little tool comes in, actually. Oh, to open your seams. Yeah, so you can get it in like that and then just press it. So you open them all the Really, out. really helps. And then give that a press. So then you've got what you have is you've got the same as the other one. So it's. If you kept to the right seam allowance, it should be exactly the same size as this one. I'm going to put you some steam on. Oh, right, yeah. Um, so I'm, and then you, you can see you join them together just like with the, so I'm just going to do this one. So I'm going to go back to this. I just wanted to show you how you would do it with the different segments. And I've done it with different fabrics oh, on the top nice. uh, to the bottom, which is nice. And then once you've created it, you can get some rick crack like that, um, place it across. The Stick purple it. goes really pretty with it that. Does. Have we got that colour, Hannah? Oh, I don't know whether we've got the light. Have we got the light one? Mm, we've got I've the got dark lilac, purple. Little tip with Rick Rack is uh, don't pin it, but just get some. Um, masking tape and stick it on like that and then sew it down the middle across your tape and then rip it off afterwards mm -hmm. so much easier than pinning because when you pin oh, it yeah, it yeah. just sort of like bends it so oh, avon says got the pot um she said i got the pot uh, got the kit happy very very happy day says avon sue says i love fiona's patterns they're so intuitive and easy to follow uh, she says i get really bored when they're very wordy patterns but actually this one is really easy to follow fiona's are always really easy she says mom my fifth Maisie top for my family amazing oh i love the Maisie hoodie it's brilliant <laughs> how is Maisie, by the way she's Growing rapidly. How old She's is hilarious. She? Fifteen months oh, now. Oh, lovely age. I loved my kids when they were that age. Yeah, it's a brilliant age. Yeah. Right. So again, I'm doing. Um, I'm joining them together. So is it? Oh, I don't quite know. Anyway, I'm just going to take my stitch length down. Sorry, I'm sort of getting to know this machine. So it's, it is easy, but it's obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, there you go. I'm just trying to find the back button. There it is. Okay. And um, so there's, and you can see that I've put numbers on the back, and I have actually put interfacing on the shape before I sew it together. Now, in the pattern, I say to put the pieces together and then interface it. I've done it just to make my life easy on the show, but I have to say this fabric 
it, it, it kind of needs a little bit extra, not quite as thick as quilting cotton. Which, so, which one would you use, a medium weight just a, interfacing? Uh, a medium weight interfacing, yeah. yeah, or a lightweight, you know, but okay. you're going to put lots of interfacing, um, build it up just so to get the, the rigidity. Yeah. So, um, but at this stage, it's quite nice to, because it makes it a lot easier to handle mm -hmm. as well. So I like to put the interfacing just on this fabric, but on other fabric, I didn't do that. So, but you know, the more you make of these, the more you'll get to know what you prefer to do. You know, you might want to. Just so you know, sorry, our picture is currently being changed on the website because I think it's got the picture of the applique bag. It is for the pot holder, the current graphics are for the ones that Fiona is using. And at the, own move, at the moment, that is the only panel that is now still in stock. The, uh, the one that we made this one out of is now sold out. We're trying to see if we can get any more, so bear with us. But if you want that lovely pink one, that's your main graphic. There's loads if you've got those in your basket. So there you are, I've joined them all together at the long edges and then it's just a case of pressing open the seam allowance on the back. So again, you know, this little tool, all your fingertips and give it a little press. Opening up the seam just makes it that much mm -hmm. better. I, I wouldn't skip this bit because I think it's nice to be able to see a nice flat seam on the other side. There we go. I love this one that you've used as well with your scrappy fabrics, all the different almost like vintage fabrics. They are vintage fabrics. <gasps> yeah. Are they? Some of them are from the 60s and 70s. Wow. They're basically from my stash, you know, that's yeah. it's a stash busting project, yeah, isn't it? it? So you know, the, the pieces, and none of them are really that big. So I thought it's the perfect sort yeah. of project, really, for using up your bits. Right, so um, what do we do next? We get our, here we go. So let me just release the pattern pieces. And there's your little patchwork. Oh, yes, and that's something else, right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to iron this to my, now I've got some H630 here, but a heavyweight interfacing would be good as well. Sometimes I use two layers mm -hmm. of heavyweight interfacing. Okay. It just depends on how sturdy you want it. And what have you used in these? It doesn't feel like H640 or H630 or is, it, is, that, is that's that a heavyweight? A, that, I think that's the H630. Yes, oh, is that's it? the H630. Okay. Yes, but it's got the P because it's got the PU in it, makes it a little bit more sturdy. Yeah. So you might want to add a bit of in, um, heavyweight in, uh, interfacing and um, the H640, just you know, just to give it a little bit more structure. So I'm ironing this on. Am I doing it on the right side? that adhering there we go and then we're going to top stitch it now you could you know if you wanted to you could put a bit of decorative stitching that's oh always yeah nice. I mean I'm not going to do all of them because I haven't really got time so I'll just do um, one and uh, you see on some of them I've done uh, stitching either side of the we seam bring it. we can bring it across to show there we go. So I've stitched either side of the seam all the way round. Um, and then the other one, I've actually done a little zigzag going all the way down. So, you know, that's, it's quite nice either way, way really. Um, now, uh, if you go to your... Oh, hang on. Two. There we are. If you go to um, your number two setting, which is mine, your, your needle mm -hmm. will swing over, and then that will sort of stitch on either on the side of the seam line, oh. and then you turn around and it will sew exactly the same on the other side. So as long as you line up your foot to the same spot, like the your even. seam line, then you'll be fine. And you can just go into the turn around and this is where you want to really consider your your um your thread colour oh okay would it need a walking foot at this point it's managing all right without well, it, isn't it's it? managing all right yes and uh, if you've got the the heavyweight interfacing you'll be absolutely fine because it's quite stiff isn't it 
I mean, I was thinking about other things you could use. I was thinking maybe buckram. Mm. But to be honest, buckram, you need something that's going to be a little bit more manageable, not too stiff, because okay. you've got to turn it inside out. Now, uh, where are my scissors? Here we go. So yeah, Buckram's really sturdy. Decaville is sort of in between, actually. Decaville would probably work. We've got Decaville. I know you've got to turn it through, but what do you think to this, Fiona? Yeah. Do you I think, think that would work? Yeah, it's all bag foam, maybe. It's £17.99. It's a massive roll. You get a whole metre. We're going to talk about this in the next hour. You'll see why at 11 o'clock. But it is um, available today. So if you do want that to just give your uh, plant pot some rigidity, £17.99. We have got H630. If you prefer uh, to use the fusible fleece, which is what Fiona's using now, it's £6.99 for a metre piece. We haven't physically got it here, but we can bring the graphics in for you. So it's just £6.99. Now I'm trimming it down now up to the edge and so you want to get all your interfacing on and then trim it down you don't want to keep adding another one and mm -hmm. then you know otherwise you'd be sort of cutting it twice or three times you know you want to put all of, all of it on and then trim it down you're saying if we can get any more panels by the way because they have both sold out now I must say it's a lovely way of working doing the fabric. I've, I've always wanted to, to develop fabric designs oh. and it's not me that's doing it, it's someone yeah. else, but it's not, they're doing the kind yeah. of tech bit and you know it's lovely to sort of be able to put your, to work, to work together with somebody. Right, so I'm going round like that. Now, when you're top stitching all these pieces, of course, when you're, we're going to join it together in a minute, and of course, the, the back seam won't be top stitched. But you could do a little fake top stitch if you wanted, a line of stitching here, and then that would look like it's been top stitched. So, there we go. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right, let's shove that down there and then give that a really good press. I saw that Bex has got one of these irons now. Bex and Delphine are very jealous. Mm. Yeah, I want one. So that's your lining fabric now? That's my lining. And Have we're you interfaced this as well? Yes, I've put some, um, just a, a one or two layers of interfacing, heavyweight interfacing on that. So you can interface pretty much everything just to give it as much structure as possible. And then if we pin that on, we're going to use this piece as a template. So we're going to trim around it. So make sure that you've got, let's see, I'm just move it up like that. Make sure that you've got enough. And then we're oh, going you've got to plenty, haven't you? Yeah. In so you your can't panel. cut your lining until you've got this shape stitched. So pin it really well. Oh, a needle there. And then you might want to pin it here. Just one more there. Right. I mean, I could pin that a lot more, but I'm just um, saving time now. And then we're just going to just follow the line round. So this needs to be, yeah, like a template, exactly the same size. That's right. Okay. Any news on any more, Hannah? Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to be able to get any this hour. What we'll do is we'll try and we'll speak to Fiona. We'll see if we can get any more for the next hour. We'll try at 12 o'clock. There's loads going on today. It's worth having a look, actually, underneath us on the website because the book it hat is back and the dungarees that Fiona's wearing under her apron we've got, which have you bought on the show before, the dungarees? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've yeah. not seen them before. It's the oh, first time I've you? seen them. Yeah. Oh, right. So yeah. excited. I love dungarees. I think you've got a picture of me on the beach from the dungarees, haven't you? Oh, I bet Being it's been busy on your beach this week. Oh, it's been lovely. Has it? Oh, yes, but oh, so trouble is work goes out the window. And we, Mark and I go, we're just going to go down for half an hour. And then like three hours later, we're still there. Oh, you've <laughs> just, got to make the most of this weather yeah, though. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's, it's better to work in the evening when it's a bit cooler as well. 
that's my excuse. And yeah. <laughs> Have the schools broken up now? Is no, it school not holidays? Quite. Well, some of them have, but um, not all of them. No, not in the main schools. And then it'll be madness down there. Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are staycation this year, aren't they? Yeah. There's a lot of problems yeah. with flights and things. That's so I think it. A lot, a lot of people, people still choosing, and especially with this weather here. Yeah. So let's just stay put. My son said that um, Worthing is the new Hackney. Is it? Yes. Well, yeah. Hackney on Sea is now. Is, he said. I mean, I don't. I can't work it out, frankly. But <laughs> it's like the place to live, apparently. Oh yeah, the there coast is the place to be, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's when it's hot, anyway. Right. So now we've got two pieces. We've got our lining and we've got our outer, and we're going to just join them together separately. So, oops. Let's just take that out. So. Right sides together, put the pin in, right sides together, pop a pin in, and then I'm going to sew down here just from the top edge down to, well the bottom edge to up to the top, and again with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now I've got um, my wadding here, so I have to be careful. Um, so you might want to just lengthen your stitch just to kind of um, ease the flow a bit and get that little back stitch going on at the beginning and just hold it together. Oop. Right. <laughs> no. That one. <sighs> to me, to you, all the buttons are a bit different, aren't they? Getting used to a different sewing machine. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same on this one. So it's actually the same seam allowance because you want to match the two up. So again, quarter of an inch seam allowance. little reverse at the end. That's it. We've it's got two more cuts, kits to come, don't forget from Fiona, the applique cushion, uh, the applique bag, sorry, uh, drawstring bag that, I don't know whether it, you can see the picture of this one, I think it is the right picture on the website, don't forget that's still to come in the next 15 minutes. Two different kits for these, which we'll show you in just a second. In fact, do you want to bring graphics live for one of them? Um, Oh, is it okay, Fiona, if I just quickly whiz through these bundles? Yeah, so you've got just... your pattern, of course. You've then, wait till you see the size of this panel. Oh, this is amazing. They actually go with your part holders as well, don't they? <laughs> they are coordinating with your pot holders. So if you did get the big, uh, if you got the panel, lucky enough to get the panel of the pot holders, look. You've also got your coordinating panel for your drawstring bag. I love this panel. It's huge. You've got all your lining fabric there, um, your outer fabric, your patchwork base fabric. Um, of course, loads and loads and loads. It's a huge panel. And it is just $15.99 again. $15.99. That's for the panel and your bag pattern. And you've got all of the really lovely uh, applique details as well. Do you want me to get it down? Is that going to be easier, bro? Yeah, so that's the one I made, and that's the one from the panel there. Oh, perfect. Thank you. So, this is your lining, your outer fabric, all of your lovely patchwork bottom, your applique flower as well. Everything that you need, don't forget, you get your pattern so you could then make it in your own fabrics. So then when you get it home, you can make it in lots of different fabrics. But um, the panel uh, is... Well, I know this is the other panel that we used, but you've got the same fabrics that we had for the plant pot that's by Fiona. So all of those really lovely dual deeper colours could look amazing. So that's the, uh, we're calling it the darker one, Hannah, which one, did, what does it say the difference? We've called it the darker one. They've called it bold and beautiful, oh, yeah, bold it. and beautiful. And then we've also got the pastel colours quarter of the stocks on straight into baskets. We're going to come to this in just a moment after we've just finished up the uh, plant pot. How long have we got to go on the plant um, pot? 15 minutes, just over 15 minutes for the, of the show left. Right. I didn't mention the tabs, did I? Oh, you go on. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Let me just quickly show you the other kit. So the other kit comes with your pattern 
and then we can just let you run free, Fiona. Um, and then the coordinating, so same as the fabrics that we've just seen in the, the panel for the, the plant part. It's massive, isn't it, this panel? Like, absolutely huge. It's a lot of fabric. So it's almost like too much to get out on the desk. Um, £15.99. All coordinating with your plant pot as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And that makes this. So you've got your patchwork corners, you've got your lovely lining, your drawstring and your applique on the front as well, all £15.99. Remember your instructions mean that you're going to be able to make it as many times as you want. It's a lovely drawstring bag, isn't it? What would you keep in that? I was just thinking this is a really nice one to take that you can put or keep it on the end of a, a bed with your pyjamas in or oh, yeah. a nice little gift for somebody who's on the go sewing kit maybe. Yeah. Do you want yeah. to know what I keep in mind? Go on. My stash of nail varnishes. Ah, oh, yeah. that is good because you could hang that on the back of a, a bathroom door even and keep yeah. your toiletries in, couldn't you? Yeah. Or, well, yeah, and makeup. also, yeah, you could. What you could do is get little pieces of fabric and uh, wrap soaps up and just wrap a little bit of ribbon, pop them inside. It's a really lovely little present for somebody. Wouldn't yeah, it? absolutely. Uh, so they're both of the kits, but we will go through these, of course, before eleven o'clock. So stay with us. Where are you at with the plant pot now, then? Right, I joined them together. Um, actually, I've forgotten to put the tabs on. <laughs> but it's not, not a problem, I can put them on now. Um, but anyway, I've joined them together and I've turned the lining piece right side out and the, the outer piece is uh, wrong side out. Now, here are the tabs. They're all just folded over, stitched down one side. So you're literally uh, folding in one centimetre each side and then folding in half and then top stitching. And um, now the pattern that I've got uh, on the template is for one piece, one long piece, which you then uh, uh, cut two pieces, you mm -hmm. two of them, and then you fold it in half and that makes two pieces. But what I did to make more out of the panel, I folded the, I cut half, so I folded the pattern template in half and I cut four from different pieces of fabric because I thought, wouldn't it be nice if they were all different? Yeah. yeah. And also it re re leaves more space for like, if you want to do another one. So that once you've got your tab, you then just put, this is where you want your clips. Really useful to have this. And then you just clip these in to the edge. I'm just going to do one. I mean, you don't have to have these, but it's obviously you do if you want to make it into a hanging basket. But this one, I've just made one tab so that if you want to store it, you can oh. just hang it up yeah. or you can pop stuff in it, you know, if you yeah. want to. But um, so I'm just going to do the one tab. But if you were doing the four tabs for the hanging basket, you put the, the little loop tab on every other one so you've got one there then you'll have one there and then this one and then one so it's very very easy I want to make these in the same fabrics as my funky kitchen makes and you can have all your herbs in there couldn't Ooh, you oh yeah that's an, actually herbs would be lovely wouldn't it I didn't mm. think of that well done Vicky um, and then obviously this is much easier to do when it's flat so do this so don't do as I'm doing do as the pattern says and it would be good if I read the pattern, wouldn't it? But there you go. <laughs> um, and then you're tack stitching it within the seam allowance along the top edge. So you just do that all the way around and just tack stitch it. Okay. And there you see you've got your little loop. And then you put your lining inside. So once you've got your tabs, have them hanging down. And then match up your back seam. So you've got your back seam of your lining there. And you've got your back seam of the outer there match those up and just align all the scallop edges all the way around so again it's a good idea to have your clips and just ease it in might need to be a bit brutal with this and just <laughs> force it to do what you want you want you are in do. charge you're that boss aren't you yeah the boss so here we go and all the way now I probably won't have time to sew it so I could just talk you through yeah that's fine so you you're literally uh, going around the top edge only following you know you've 
clips it all the way around and then you're stitching around the top edge. You might be a, best, a good idea to turn it inside out and have the hard side, so the wadding might get a little bit pushed around by the foot, if you, especially if you haven't got a walking foot. So have it underneath, much easier. And another little tip is sometimes it's difficult to know where to stop for the scallop. So I just put a little spot to tell me where to stop for the corner. Okay. So that's where you drop your needle, lift your foot, swing it round, mm -hmm. your foot round, and then carry on in the other direction. So you literally sew all the way around that top edge, turn it inside out, zigzag, the, uh, give it a good press, and uh, these are good as well for doing anything 3D. You know, press it uh, oh, all the way around with that. You can just pop it in. It's much, it makes the job really easy. And then, uh, of course, it's the, the, ro the right sides are outside, and then you just zigzag tack around the bottom and then fit your base in. Yeah, it's easy as that. Fit your base in, and then I've got a piece of uh, cardboard, which I get from a cereal packet or whatever, and you cover over with the lining. Um, don't seem to have brought a lining piece with me, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, and stick it in and then you just pop that in at the end. Oh, so you've got a hard so, base in the bottom. Yes, I mean, you can, um, uh, you can stick it with uh, some PVA glue so it holds it in place. Um, and then if you're using the P uh, PVC fabric, just cover it over. Yeah. So if you, you could just use the, it for the base, couldn't you? Brilliant. And, um, but if you don't have the PVC, just put the lining, cover the base, the cardboard base, and then pop it in. We've loved those. That both kits have sold out. So well done if you got it. We did, we're going to speak to Fiona see if we can get any more um, for the twelve o'clock show during the break. But we'll, we'll come back to that hopefully later. Now the applique bag. These are so so pretty, aren't they? Two different panels coordinating with the plant pots. Um, up to you what you want to keep, and then we, we've had lots of different suggestions. Let us know what you're thinking of keeping. So this is the lighter colour, which is your delicate and ditzy. It's so so pretty. You've got your patchwork, you've got your really lovely lining as well, your whole panel and your pattern for £15.99. Now, Fiona, we've got about 10 minutes to do a bit of a pit stop. Is that this. all we've got? Yes, literally that, 10 to 11. That's crazy. I know, I know, crazy, it's gone, it's flown by. By the way, just a quick note about the cord. I use macrame cord for the plant pot, just tied on, and a little wooden hoop, but you, you know, you don't need nice. the wooden hoop, but it's quite nice to have it. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Oh, right. Oh, oh, this right, yeah. Do you want a minute to sort yourself out and I can show you the other the other panel as well. So there was the delicate and ditzy and then there was also the bold and beautiful which is this one and it comes with all of these fabrics look absolutely gorgeous that you've got your outer fabric you've got your lining fabric you've got your applique fabric are these all extras as well along the bottom those different these here the solids they're for the applique oh so we yes. use those for the applique i said oh you know no, have loads we're going to need over. some fabric for the for the for the flowers so she popped those on and and you've got such a good choice i yeah. didn't use half of them I was going but to you know. can pick and choose which colors you use so you can make that's a lot of different. fabric isn't it yeah. for the bag there's a lot yeah well you can make two bags out oh. of it Perfect. Yeah. There you go. You can make Definitely two bags. You can make two bags. Brilliant. Thank you. And it's what? How much? Fifty. Yeah, fifteen ninety nine. Wow. That's crazy. Crazy. Right. But look how beautiful that pattern is. I, do you know what? I love templates. I really. Yeah. Love, you know, I look at that and think, what's well, a work of art? You've even got the placement there, and you've got the applique templates here, the patchwork base, the bag lining base, drugs and tie. You've got it all. Um, so. Uh, patterns or photographed really lovely pictures bit of illustration as well so you've got all the gubbins you need um, here we go I've sort of done my applique so this is the bold and beautiful um, colorway that you know yeah. uh, we've got and I've done pretty much all the applique there now is you that with bondaweb have you done that with bondaweb I've done it with bondaweb yeah. yes but you could spray glue them on if you wanted to, or put a bit of interfacing. Um, and of course, you know, if you've got any lovely little buttons, you know, yeah. pop a little button in the middle. That's always lovely. Um, now, um, on this one, I've, you can get machine embroidery. You can mm -hmm. sort of um, do some free I've, motion. I've done an awful lot more around the outer edges with that one. Whereas this one, I've, you know, because I thought, well, not everybody's very au fait with um, stitching. I didn't use it 
machine embroidery particularly with this it was just straight stitching but uh, make your stitch length a little bit smaller mm -hmm. and now it has to be said with this panel I have uh, lined it with H640 mm -hmm. uh, or if, if not H630 probably is better yeah um, originally it was designed for a linen bag and mm -hmm. it was supposed to be malleable and soft but of course Put some interfacing in, whatever you choose, you okay. know. But it's just this fabric is a little bit thinner than, than yeah. the, the, the linen. So you're, you're tracing off your shapes and um, peel it off and then place it on. And it's always a good idea to put a cover cloth on because you've got a pale background there. If you've got a bit of a blodge uh, on your blodge mm -hmm. is that a word <laughs> it is there <laughs> sometimes the glue can get onto your eye and can't it so put i mean i haven't got put one here pressing but, cloth. but yes a pressing cloth just to and also they don't move around so much as well and then you just um pop it on the machine bond works on your screen by the way it's just a small pack it, you, and you won't need the big roll for this one so if you haven't got any already just get yourself a little pack for just 2.99 and then we just do a little bit of stitching. I don't know whether to bother doing the stitching, whether to just move on. But anyway, there we go. What stitch have you used? Just a straight stitch. Okay. But I did do a little bit of zigzag on the stem. But you know, it's 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 up to you. You know, you can sort of just leave a th long thread if you want to move your position, and then you can always trim them off or, or pull them through to the back afterwards. So I'm literally doing, on my tulips, as I call them, I'm just literally doing three lines. But as I said, because it, it, it's a lot easier, but I just wanted to show you that it doesn't have to be fiddly and tricky. And of course, the other thing you could do is you could, um, if you've made your panel up and you want to make a bigger bag, you can just sort of blow these up in the photocopy oh, again, yeah, couldn't you? So, oh, because you can use those templates again. They're going to look lovely on cushions, and bags, all sorts. Yeah, and uh, on the apron. Yeah, nice put one on, on your the apron. apron pocket, wouldn't it? So there we go. Because I've got my stitch length right down, I'm just literally trimming them off. So it's a right um, rubbish bin down going down. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, so, so that's the applique. And then here's the patchwork base. And as you can see that I've already patched together. Uh, you've got your little patchwork base template there. Now it says cut to you each of six different fa pattern fabrics. I actually cut seven just to give myself a little bit more thing because six just about does it but if your seam allowance isn't quite up you okay. know it, it sometimes you're a little bit short so you've got plenty of fabric to cut another extra one and then you just literally put the two together like that right sides together long edges let me just move these over and quarter inch seam allowance again all the way down. Let's speed it up, shall we? And I've got a very small stitch length, so no, let's just move that up. So that's one, and then there's one more to do. And you know, arrange your pieces. You know, you, you take a while to sort of like sort out what you like next to what. And I think this is what's good about the panel actually, is that you're not just, you know, randomly selecting from your stash. When you do come to use this pattern again with your stash, yeah, spend that time. But actually, it, they all coordinate so well together. The hard work's been done for you, hasn't it? If That's you're right. just picking one up and sewing it next to it, it's not gonna stand out like a sore thumb because they all are designed to coordinate, aren't they? That's right. You know, if you're really like me, I love applique. I love the process of it. I love creating, it's like creating pictures, isn't it? With painting, with fabrics. If you're sort of that, and, and you like a bit of patchwork, you know, this has got, it's, it's got it all, hasn't it, this bag? Yeah. You know, it's, an, it's a nice little project to get your teeth into. You know, and of course, if you don't, you know, you could always leave the applique off and just do a little simple patchwork bag, couldn't you, with some nice fabric. You don't have to do the applique if you don't want to. Right, there you are. There's the base. Now, before you put it together, you want to get your base template, look here, place it on, and you see you've just got a little bit more than you need. 
and you, normally you'd pin it on but I'm just going to free wing it and trim it to the size and so you're doing one of those for the front and one for the back mm -hmm. I've got ideas to do cushions as well with oh. this digital printing. It's, oh, I've it's got the so bug lovely, now. I want to do more. It I'm is going such to have a lovely to tell fabric. Jess, if Jess is watching, we're going to do lots, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get designing, Fiona. Yeah. So then we pop. So there's the applique. Locate the bottom. Now, little tip actually, quickly for the um, the top edge. When you're, in order to get the lines for the drawstring, what I did was I popped my fabric on there, folded it over, folded it over, give it a press, mm -hmm. undo it, and there you can see your lines really clearly. Oh, that's so really that's good tip. So that's just a really good little tip. Yeah. And it means that you're not marking your fabric, you know, you don't have to have any special pen or anything. So, you know, and it's there until you iron it out. So pin your um, base, um, what am I doing? Pinning my template on there. <laughs> I'm here, this is the one. <laughs> right, so pin your fabric base onto the bottom edge. And then again, quarter of an inch seam allowance. And just match up your raw edges. Do a little back stitch again. Did I just hear there was cake arrived in the gallery? Oh, I thought we can't have a birthday party without cake, can we? We have had a whole bottle of Prosecco this morning. Well, no Secco. I should save for another bottle, shouldn't I? No Secco. No Secco. Have you heard of it? So don't like call it Prosecco. It's literally no Secco. It's really nice. The last time we had no Secco is when you were pregnant. Yes, I know. That's what got me through those ten months, Fiona. <laughs> With no Secco. Yeah. It's, it's lovely. It's nice though, isn't it? I it actually like nice. it because I feel like I'm enjoying myself without getting a sore head the next day. Yeah. So I often swap out for no secco after a couple of drinks on a Saturday night. That's right. Now, can you see I've topped, I've pressed my seam. Now, if you press it downwards, what did I do on that? I didn't. And then you're top stitching on yeah. the um, on the patchwork side, but you could top stitch it on the main side if you want to, there's no rules there. So I'm leaving that bit out just to sort of save a bit of time. And then you get your lining, your um, backing fabric, your backing H640, or if you're doing, I mean, I haven't written the, the interfacing into the pattern, mm -hmm. but obviously it's something you do if you want to. Yeah, there to. you go, H630 on your screen. It's just £6.99 for a whole metre. You'll be able to make loads of bags with that. Yes. I mean, if you don't want the pad, I mean, it's nice having that padding, isn't it? Yeah. Because if you've got something, if you put some toiletries in it for or your nail varnishes, or nail varnishes, then you want that yeah. kind of little bit of protection, don't you? Uh, <laughs> Have you got, I bet you've got loads of nail varnishes. Well, you? you know, I don't. I, I have some that I've had for years and years and I had a really good sort out the other day because they just, they don't last. They all have that little oh, thing right. that says use within 12 months or something. Oh, really? And mm. I've just got loads that I've had for years and years and, you know, they, they just go off. They just, They're all gloopy. You can't get them open, can you? They're just sort of glue shut. I think you can put nail varnish remover, someone said, into them and that can give oh, them a... Oh, that's a good tip. Yes, yeah, I like that. That makes them not gloopy anymore. Yes, I, I find them everywhere. Though. I find my nail varnishes in the car. <laughs> really? Yes, yeah, so it's quite useful because you can sort of like, you know, cause I, we go on long journeys and that's something to do. If my husband sort of striving isn't too erratic, <laughs> he does tend to break rather. <laughs> we are rather running smoothly. out of time. Right, rapidly. so there is your front and there is your back. Yeah. We've got the and we just literally put the right sides together, stitch, 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 mm -hmm. and do your box bottom corners. Yeah. Do the same with the lining. Here we are, you can see you're adding your base on. Uh, stitch it together, put your, put your base on. Put one inside the other, and then uh, stitch it all the way around the top edge. Turn it inside out. And then what you want to do is to, is to make it so that the lining and the is inside and pin it and then you're stitching around the two folded lines mm -hmm. or the lines that you've marked 
uh, and you've left it says on the pattern you've left a little opening mm -hmm. when you join when you join the two together for your drawstring which you've made earlier and you thread it through with a safety pin yeah. at the other end another one the other side so you can pull like that and draw it together brilliant it's all in the instructions it's all in the instructions so don't forget to have project. a look at the, uh, the blog as well yeah brilliant thank you ever so much Fiona, sorry to rush you at the end there. I think we've managed to fit in everything. Can we please ask, is H630 thicker than H640? It's actually slightly, it's slightly lighter, thinner. isn't it? Yes. Slightly thinner. But it's better, thinner. I yeah, think. yeah. The suit. Yeah. I, if I'm honest, if you were to give me H630, I wouldn't be able to tell that it wasn't H40 from really? feeling it. I think it's a real minimal difference. So yes. you can still use it for your cushions, your wall hangings, still use it as you would H640, um, but it is actually slightly lighter. It's yes, nice it's better H630 for this project, I'd okay. say. Perfect. Yes. Thank you ever so much. We'll see You're you in welcome. an hour. We'll see you in an hour. Later, yes. By the way, the iron, mess. lots of people are asking about it. It is available. It's £162.99. It's on split pay. It is my new favourite. I don't want to use the word gadget because it's more than a gadget. It's more than an iron. I bought my clothes in this morning after my iron in this morning <laughs> because it's so good. The heat is amazing. I've got some uh, of Maisie's clothes as well that I've really struggled to press on my, my iron at home, whereas that is just brilliant. It's a pleasure to iron, isn't it, with that? It is. A pleasure to iron, and I cannot believe I'm saying that, <laughs> but I love it. Absolutely love it. Any questions, get them in. Um, right, can we just quickly recap the funky kitchen? Um, so there's the whole pattern. Oh, Kat's just grabbing it for me. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Um, or is it under here? Thank you, Bruce. Um, yeah, this one. Uh, fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence, and you're getting the whole pattern. It's such good value to so say you get the uh, the apron, the oven gloves, you get the uh, tea cosy, you get the pocket holder. And you also get your little labels. You can make yourself for your craft fairs. The jam lid as well. There's so much that you can make. It is around here somewhere. I've just got a lot coming on on the desk. It's been very, very busy. Right, we're going to go to a really quick break and we're trying to get on as much as we can now for Hannah's birthday hour. Hannah's going to be joining me after the break. Don't go anywhere. If you missed her exclusive panel, we're going to be talking through the Adventure Awaits panel Ooh. with Hannah. Don't go anywhere. We're back after this. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. 
And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Oh my word, it is manic in here. It's actually chaos. Hannah is here. She's just, as we've got five, four, three, she went, I haven't got a microphone on. No, don't, because I get, I, that's the thing I get really annoyed at someone for, and I've been told like six times. <laughs> Turn your mic on, Hannah. Turn your mic on, I'm like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I've not done it. I've oh. not done it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Hannah. Thanks. Those of you that have not met Hannah, Hannah is our producer here, um, and well, we, we talk about you all the time. Yeah, but like this morning, you just ages. like launched into yeah. like, here's Hannah. Hannah. And I was sitting there like, just Hannah. explain who I am, explain who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so it's amazing to have you on air because uh, I don't think you've been on air in this studio. No, I have, have literally you? no idea where I'm looking all the time. I'm like... There, good pointing, Kat, thank you. I remember last time, the only time I think we've been on together, there was a huge spider. Oh yeah, I came on. And so I got in a bit of a meltdown. I don't actually, I'm not even scared of spiders, but I don't it know what happened. It was a very big spider. Oh, gosh, it was huge. That building was full of spiders and hornets. Yes, it, oh, it was hornets. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. Last night, sorry. Well, we don't have time to talk about last night, I'm afraid, <laughs> because we've got so much <laughs> to do with this hour. that spider last night, anyway. <laughs> right. Shall we start with the panel? Yes, please. So many goodies. Hannah, you have really pulled oh. it out of the bag today, haven't you? So, oh, yeah. this is Wanted your first. Colours. I know you do. You've got your colouring pens out. This is your first yeah, I've got my hands ever. Hips. It's serious. I know. Very exciting. Talk us through why it was that you wanted to design your own panel for one, but then also how it was that you came up with the, the, the concept. Well. <laughs> like it's going to be, I'll try and shorten the story. Um, basically, I thought it would be a really opportunity, good opportunity to work with the graphic designers upstairs. Like, this isn't yeah. just me. Like, Lou is amazing. And basically, I had an idea and yeah. she made it a thing. Amazing. <laughs> um, also, because I love travel. Mm -hmm. And also, we always have, we have, we used to, 
way back when we had some panels with maps on come in and they just they sold out straight away yeah and i haven't seen any for ages with just a map on like there's extra wide backing and things like that but i just think there's so many uses whether you use it as one piece of fabric yeah or there's nothing stopping you using this as like a laptop cover and folding up you don't have to see the whole map at once no that's a good point actually. and i just think it's kind of quite a unisex Colour, like, yeah, colour palette, color palette, design. I love like that. all ages. Also, like some of my friends don't live in this country. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's as good as educational moves as well, away. actually. Yes, because yes. I'm learning. I'm like, right, Hannah, show me where we both went there in Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite educational, but I do love the idea. I mean, we've got family who live in Australia, and you could do, you know, like the the Carol family here and yeah. a skein Even if of you're thread to yeah. yeah, embroider across the map, or if you've got, I don't know, like your dad lives in Australia. Yeah. Um, you can have orange for dad. This is it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're, or you went, you always go on holiday to, I don't know, to Florida. Yeah. You always have that marked. All places you want to go. I go, love it. Yeah. I love it. It's your personal idea. It's yes. only twelve ninety nine, which we think is bonkers. Yeah, it's massive. Uh, just framing it as it is. I mean, that yeah. isn't where it stops, by the way. Not only do you get the map, you also have included, well, it says here, luggage tags. Yeah, I wanted them to like be like luggage labels. Love that. So on your projects, you've got your quilt labels uh -huh. um, or just little labels where you can add things on. Yeah. You can add like little notes or like, like your little sentiments and things like that. You can actually use them as luggage yeah, tags because nice. you've also got the coordinating fabric yeah. for the for the uh, the loops. Yeah, and also for your EPP, then you've got some that matches in. Brilliant. Do you travel light, Hannah? Um, I'm cheap, so I get cheap <laughs> flights. <laughs> so you so, can only take one bag yeah, that you so can grab your seat. I don't travel light out of choice. <laughs> I travel light out of necessity. So you wear a lot of layers to the airport. Yes. Yeah. Very hot and argumentative <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> then you also have look, all of the uh, applique bits and you get your postcards. Yes. So these were actually inspired by another panel that we've got, but making your own fabric postcards. Oh yeah, we're going to come to that Yeah, because these could be the blank side mm -hmm. that you either embroider a message on or write on with a permanent pen. Um, and then you can do free motion and build up a design on the other side. Oh, there's loads of messages for you, Hannah. Loads oh. of messages coming in. Happy birthday, Hannah. It's awesome to see you again. That's what you're I can read it on that screen. Oh, yeah, we're a bit closer here as opposed to that <laughs> Over one. there, I was like, what? Uh, another message coming in. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, Georgie says, uh, you could fussy cut places that you've yeah. been, that you have been meaning to make. Uh, oh, you could fussy cut places that you have been, have meaning that have meaning yes. yes and make cushions good idea yeah, that's the thing you don't have to use the whole world yeah if you've got family that like you went to a wedding in south africa or something uh -huh. that could be like the center of the the cushion now you're you're collecting yeah, you know, you the, the panel um also oh david as well love the panel it's just what i need is i'm going to do, do a world cruise in nice. january i'm going to take it with me and add embellishments that's cool that's oh we'd love to see your journey david and you could do it in the center and then fabrics you collect from your trips around the outside so keep going through for the panel Sorry, as you're doing excited. some coloring can yeah. i please grab the pens oh, just because you can do that bit whilst you're coloring Thanks. the pen are, are we told I think this is the last time you're going to be able to get them once these have sold out they have sold out so for the foreseeable future I mean this is it the last chance that you're going to have on these so you get a pack of 20 I'm just colouring in I'm not very good <laughs> you've got the, the thick nib there haven't you maybe you need the finer nib do you want to yeah. pinch one yeah. of these can I pinch one of them yes um, Thanks. You've also got all the colours, so I just I felt limited. Go on, have a pink one. Um, you've got all of the colours, and these are ones. Oh, there's now less than twenty. These are ones that you just iron it to make it permanent as well. Here she is, fine art degree. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any that, opportunity to show off skills? I love that skills. debt that I'm in from that degree. <laughs> <laughs> I can colour on telly. <laughs> This is your panel anyway, Hannah, so you colour away. Uh, so, yeah, I've got that Haley's probably like, no, you're colouring the product. <laughs> 
13.99 for the very last of the textile markers and they do have two different nib sizes so the one end you're yeah. using the fine tip here. can make it here. permanent can't I? Yeah iron it if you just oh. iron it then it's permanent so these are great to use for kids uniforms if you need to write labels in sports clothes they've got the thicker end on the one uh, the one end and then they've got the thinner nib on the other side and you can still wash it you can put uh, any of your personalised bits and bobs in the wash uh, wash up to 40 degrees. Right, it's quarter past. Oh, okay, so sorry, I got really carried away. Yeah. Let's keep going, let's keep going. So oh. what do you want to show next, Hey? Oh, okay, so I'm going to show the bike. Decaville, Decaville. Is it Decaville? Decaville. Decaville? 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 It comes in a massive piece. Again, I'm going to be really annoying and open it up. Okay, I'll hold the one side to me, to you. You get loads. It's We're... one metre by 90. Yeah, this is a lot. Why have you chosen this then? Okay, so it's for lots of things. If you're making like the pot holders with Fiona and you want more stable or storage tubs as well. Ah, so um, it's going to add that This stability. would be good for like storage tubs. Can you sew through it? Um, you can. It is also fusible. Oh, there's a glossy side so on the back. So it's fine to sew through. You might need a slightly bigger needle. Mm -hmm. There's always guidance on Visegreen's website because they don't come with anything on here. Yeah. But their website's really, really useful. Um, but it also comes with a glue side. Yeah. If you get Hannah's panel, get this for your yeah. postcards. So with this, you, if you do like free motion or like the, conf well, maybe not confetti quilting, but like, you know, when you like make images like textiles art and stuff mm -hmm. like that, or even with your Tula pink and you like a bit of it, you can cut out a bit of that fabric and then sew yeah. free motion onto it and you make like textiles postcards. Oh, good idea. Yeah. I think Stuart's used this for some of his bags in his bag for life yeah, book as well. Yeah, it's really, really We're both useful. doing it. Oh no, we've just made a scroll. <laughs> Shirley, oh Sheila, happy birthday, Hannah. Hope you have a lovely day. Lots of love from Aww. Sheila from Mercer's side and Thanks, Jane. Sheila. You're getting Thanks, lots of lovely everyone. messages in for your birthday. Happy birthday, Thanks. Hannah. Have a lovely day from Jane. Derek's Ooh. message as well. Oh. Happy birthday, Hannah. Hi, Vicky. You got a high. Hmm? You got a high. I got a high too. <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> and, and right, I'm going to marry very quickly. Is it Bex? Our Bex. Um, Cambridgeshire, where's Bex? Uh, happy birthday, Hannah. Love the panel. I'm going to make mine into a pin board for my sewing room and colour to all the places I've been. Great idea. This is what, exactly why she's designed yeah. it. Right, I'm going to do these bundles very quickly because I, I know Hayley will be like, what are you doing, Hannah? I love it. But they're limited. Yeah, because they're limited edition. They are limited edition because I don't think anyone will want to repeat them after I've done them. Hannah, this is such a good idea because you are putting Birmingham on the map. I am. So I've done a limited edition Birmingham bundle. <laughs> a limited edition, but wait, wait for it. Yeah, this is the Birmingham bundle. I'm not You're very ready? good with the overhead, sorry. Yeah. So you've got yellow for the custard factory. Yes. Gray for the ball ring. Yeah. And blue for the canals. This is the <laughs> Birmingham bundle. 11 pounds, 37. Ha uh, Hayley's asking why the ball ring's gray. Well, all um, the discs on the yeah the on Selfridges. It's also a lot of concrete, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, these were really they nice it's together. A actually, bundle anyway. they are actually really nice colours together, There's only aren't they? You. I understand there may not be mass appeal for my bundle. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love it, and it's a, a Birmingham limited edition yes, bundle. it would be Hannah. one of those ones that goes on the system, and everyone's like, oh, "Why does this exist?" Just because it's your birthday, yeah. You've got the manager in the hot seat. She says because you've put so much thought oh, into it, Hannah, I did. it's going to be discounted under ten pounds as That's well. That's perfect. There you go. Happy birthday for Hannah. Just nine pounds ninety nine for a Birmingham bundle. Hey, you'll be thrilled. Um, what does that make our price per half meter? Don't Come on, here. three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Just over three. About three thirty three. Yes. Yes. Thank I you. I also did a London one, so you're gonna have to crash. <laughs> oh, no pressure, Haley. But can you do it on the London bundle as well? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Even though her heart isn't in London, she's saying it's more with Birmingham. <laughs> she will also do it for everybody who wants the London right. bundle. Right. So I've got bus red. Yeah, London bus red. <laughs> Perfect. Kew Gardens Green. Oh, love it. And Thames Blue. Love it. I love it. <laughs> if only the Thames was that blue. <laughs> that is a lovely blue. See, is that I... Cadet Blue that you've chosen? Oh, it might be Cadet. I think it is Cadet. I can't remember. 9.99, we've dropped it. No, you didn't expect that. When we were in prep, you I said, know, I, I don't think we're going to be able to drop the price. No, but... but I just thought they were a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun with the names and the reason behind, but actually... They were nice bundles. They were well together, and they're actually really useful colours to have in your stash anyway, aren't they? Yeah. So discounted fabric, we love. Like, 
100% cottons that you'll be using anyway, so. Yeah, £3.33 of fabrics. Nice. I think that's chartreuse. That is a lovely Thank you. Green. Chartreuse. Chartreuse. Right. Comic boards? Keep going through. There's loads of you Sorry, there I've for both that. of the bundles. Um, okay. Now, you bought your own tub and everything I for know. This one. I don't know which way is best with my tub. I love how much you've... Uh, Hannah has picked out everything for today's show. It is well and truly her show. Oh, um, now, sorry, I've I never moved. seen these before. I've heard they've been flying out on pre-order. Right. I have no idea... What you use these for? What okay, are they so called? They're called comic boards. Okay. They've probably got a posher name than that. Com but they well, are. Well, they do, do say comic board, comic content, current board. So, they what were they designed for? For if you've got low, you collect comic books, or whatever, you slot them inside to keep them straight, and then you can line them all up. I see. But I love how, as crafters, we adopt things that yes. are made for other people. So, the pack, you get a massive pack. I don't think we've you got a closed one here. You get 100 boards. Massive, I've taken some of these out. Wait until you see the price, Hannah. Bearing in mind you've got 100 boards, 14 um, And no extra PMP, because they're not. You're right, it's way If too. I went to the post office with this, yeah, it's going to be scales. more, isn't it? Yeah. So how can we use them as crafters then? OK, so it, I think it must come from an American thing, is what I presume. But I've seen them a couple of years ago, actually. Um, and they're really rigid card. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all cut, so they're exactly the same. They're all A4 size. Then basically, I'll show you on these ones. Ah, you fold your fabric to idea. wrap around the card, and then when it's in your stash, you can line them all up. Oh, it looks like a fabric shop then, doesn't it? Yes. Also, it means that you can write along the top. Oh, the, yeah. The, the designer. Well, the designer, if you want to write our product code on there, if it's a solid, you need to buy again. If it was for a special occasion, like Vix's wedding, yeah. and then had some fabric that I'd made a dress from and people always asked you, you can yeah. keep track of things. That's a really good idea. Also quite a large amount goes around them. I've wrapped back quarters and really it's a nice way of seeing them so you make the most of your stash. Mm -hmm. But you can get up to probably I'd say about three meters on there wrapped wow. around. So it is space saving as well. And seeing what you've got yeah. How often they're quite loose because I did do them in the dark. No, in the that's other room. fine. If you, but also I do love the idea that you have then also got a space to be able to write and keep track of, of exactly what you've got. Because what you, you've got, if you don't know what you've got, you end up buying more. And and also you could put how much you've got of it. So you could put that quarter yeah. or three quarters. And of when a you're meter. going through your patterns, you'd be like, I need three quarters of a meter for this yeah. pattern. That's perfect. I need a red in that colour. You've got everything visually there, and I think a lot of us are like visual learners. Definitely. Especially and how many of us have got just stash? You know. Yeah. A wardrobe that's just stashed and you don't know what no, you've got in there. Also it looks nice. I like anything that looks a bit like a shop, like our like our rolls of bonder web and things yeah. like that. Yeah. It always look really professional lined up and you're gonna make the most of what you've got there. Oh there's people who are gonna get really excited and put them all in colour order and all sorts of Well that's get what I was trying organized. to get a bit tempted to do. <gasps> Multi buyers coming in for these. 14 99 it's something so simple but it's those simple yeah. ideas. Oh it's a really, really rigid card, isn't yeah. it? So I suppose this will give you a really lovely firm sort of crease as well. But you think well. they'll be made properly, well, they're made for comic book collectors, which aren't silly people, are they? They spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on comic books. It's yeah. going to be high quality. Yeah, yeah. And you get, how many did you say? A hundred of them. A hundred of them, exceptionally rigid. It says, board weight, it's 400 um, oh. GM, basically, if that makes sense to you. If you're a car person. If you're a car person, <laughs> you'll know what that means. It's also fully coated one side, partially coated on the reverse. Very attractive <laughs> white board, <laughs> I did think, I thought, what an attractive, attractive white board. board. <laughs> <laughs> they do the job. And you can write along the top. They're just a run of those simple, simple ideas that works. works. Really works. Fourteen ninety nine. I can't believe we had them before, really. No, I, I can't believe I, I hadn't seen these or heard of them. I know Bex loves these as well. Yeah, they're really useful. Okay, there's loads of you there. Right, gonna I'm going to do Anna Marie Horner talking about fabric. There's how many left, sorry, Hayley? How many did you say left? There's about 30 left. Once everyone's checked out, there's not very many, <laughs> so good luck. Right, Anna Maria Horner, why have you picked Anna Maria? First of all, this lady is amazing at drawing and colours and just like I don't know she just looks amazing you've met her haven't you yeah she's she just looks a, amazing. such a lovely lady and you know when you want someone to not be so lovely when yeah. you meet them because they're so talented yeah. and have like a million children like oh. the Von Trapp family or something does she yeah oh my word but, but yeah you've met her haven't you yeah yeah she's, she's really come in lovely. before when she's been in England for Festival of Quilts yeah I just think she's really talented and I like that she takes inspiration from her garden and outside yeah because I think 
I don't know, especially lockdown, I think I got more into gardening mm -hmm. and everyone was going on their walks and kind of appreciating. Nature, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, um, Hannah. Yeah. This is pretty much brand new. It's been on, I think, once before. It's seventy nine ninety nine, but I've heard that you want to do something on the price. Yeah. As Haley's here, I'm allowed extra special things, I've decided. Okay. What do you want to do? I want to crash the price. We're taking this down, not just a little bit either. Oh, my word. Okay. Bearing in mind, this is a 15, uh, no, 22 piece for quarter pack. Look how nice they are. Oh, yeah, you'll have to flick through these on the camera yeah, for everyone to taking. see. You start flicking through, we're dropping the price to a Hannah birthday special. Please don't take this for granted because we do not do this on designer no. fat quarter packs, not ones of this size. 64 99 15 pounds off. 15 pounds off. There you go, 64 99 Bearing in mind, this has only been on air once before, and you're right, the colours. I think she's got a very distinctive uh, style, actually. Yeah, and I like these. These are like kind of folk art embroidery yeah, type things. They are. And I know she like has collections of her grandmother's fabric and things like that, and she's really inspired. And But I like the motifs and things, so you could use them separately and just applique them onto other things. Absolutely, a like loads of you there. Oh, I've got to open this one out because look, that is so beautiful, isn't it? Also, there's so many different aspects on there to use for like your English paper piecing and things like yeah. that. Like whether you take that big motif or you could just take the centre of the bird, yeah. like its little head. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, there's so many of you there, so many of you there. Oh. Ian's favourite designer as well. Ian's now nipped down into the gallery, spotted Anna Marie Horn out oh. and said, yeah, my favourite designer as well. They are beautiful. Also, if you have her on Facebook, she has a lovely house. <laughs> <laughs> I basically think I've got a girl crush on her. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, well, I can see why. I mean, oh, look wow. at that. That is beautiful. Loads of They're you checking like out on these. A winter quilt, but it's like you're wrapped up in the summer garden. Gosh. Do you know what I mean? Like, and there's a lot you can do with these back quarters. Yeah, but because so, I'm talking about quilts and things like that, if you think that could be like a panel on a bag mm -hmm. or cushion front, yeah, How you're not limited by no. it being a fat quarter. Thinking of the things we've just seen in Fiona's hours. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, do you know what? If you were to have smaller pre-cuts, you'd lose some of that print, yeah, which like, I wouldn't want to do with Anna Maria Hall. No, I think with the cave, because sometimes these got big prints and things in uh -huh. the cave collective. And then when you cut them down, you start to see different different parts of the patterns. But hers are so like motifs. You want the as much as the motif exactly. as you can. Yeah, you do. And you get so much in here. This isn't just when we sell it it's like this, it's, just, it's not just one project, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you could separate into different colourways, you could pick out different prints. They're lovely, aren't but they? But even... Oh, it just looks so Honestly, lovely. Honestly, we could spend the rest of the Sorry, hour yeah, just looking at these, couldn't we? We've discounted it, just so you know. They should be $79.99. It's only ever been on once before. Uh, it was $79.99. The price will go back up at midnight like. tonight. This is a Hannah Happy Birthday special. Oh, uh, Collector of Merced, I think it was Kate, asked if she got the card. She says, I hope oh, you selected yes. it. Yeah, you did. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, it's thank very you, hot Kate. in this studio, isn't is it? it? Yes, it's very hot. You just get getting hot fashions, don't you? Oh, no, I don't like being on telly. <laughs> oh, um, can we do these bag straps? Yes, please. Mainly because we chatted about these this morning. We did. Go on, you go first. Oh, you get a bundle. Well, is it a bundle? Yeah. Yeah, bundle yeah, of two them. bag straps. I'm not a bag maker, but I know a lot of you are amazing bag makers because I have your photos sent in and we have the designers come in. I really think that like a really nice piece of hardware makes your make. Yeah. It's kind of that step up from like homemade, no, homemade to, to handmade. Yeah, that, that. Yeah. Like boutique -y. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's where you're paying an absolute premium for something you can make. Absolutely. And these are so on trend. Yeah. Um, I actually first saw these when Rach was producing, actually. And she I'm came in with her little uh, crossbody bag with a funky strap that she got from Oliver Bonus. I don't know um, what this modelling is. That's really right. good modelling. <laughs> Please, can we show Hannah in vision? Because this modelling needs to be a new profile I'm picture not on really Facebook. Good at modelling. Um, you can make them longer. But, yeah, you can make them really nice and long. I also thought guitarists, a guitar yes. strap, could you use them for that? Well, I don't know how long they go, let's see. I think they go really long, you I know. I also like that they're interchangeable. So you could make, I don't know if you call them a bag carcass, is that the right, like a, a the bag carcass? A bag carcass is probably not the most attractive thing. 
like the, the body of a bag and yeah. you can change it up with different yeah. ones of these. <gasps> oh, I love that. Yeah, make a bag out of Hannah's panel, definitely. Okay, we're doing a special Hannah Price. Bear oh, in your really? mind, just have a quick look on, um, if you can, uh, Hayley, on Oliver Bonus or anywhere that do these really fab crossbody straps. I'm sure I've seen them for over 20 pounds each. Oh, look. Each. This They're one's very like on trend. Sided. Very on trend. You're oh, getting fingers. for 20 pounds both of these. They are so on trend at the moment. Ever since I saw our producer, uh, Rachel, come in from Gemporia and she showed me her bag and the straps like this, very, very similar, because you can just literally clip them on yeah. to a bag that's already made. Yeah, so you've got lots of choices. Or maybe because we've got Wendy's weekend bag. Oh, yeah. A long strap on a weekend bag that you take on and off. Yes, oh, absolutely, an interchange. Because look, nice. you've got the stripes on the one side and this sort of Aztec, really cool print. And then you've also got your zebra. You'll have a bit of available print. I don't think it's a Dalmatian, is it? No, no. That's that zebra. That was controversy against <laughs> that earlier. <laughs> 1999. If you have a look online, there's so many fashion stores that are doing these really small, like crossbody yeah. bags at the moment with funky straps like this. Nice. It's 36 pounds, and that's, that's just the strap, that. if I'm not mistaken. It is just the strap. So, I mean, you can pay a lot for yeah. just your straps alone. Nice. Oh, does that say for the bag? I think it's the whole bag, Haley. actually. It's just about bag. But it's that design, isn't it, that's so yeah, popular and you buy these interchangeable you straps. Them. Nice. Love those. Um, Good choice. Can we move on? We've done it briefly in the last hour, but the brand new 10-inch charm pack. Yeah, this literally launched this morning. Um, Never been on air things. before. Go on. Um, oh, so we got the new 10-inch Tula, Little Beasts. I've, I've said all the words in the wrong order then. Tula Pink. Tiny Beast. Tiny Beast. Tula Pink 10 inch chart pack. Anyway, <laughs> so you get um, these prints, but also in there you get the Tula Stripe and the Tula Dot. See, we've not seen this collaboration of both your, your sort of mixer, I don't want to call them mixer because they are still Tula Pink designers, but also along with your. No, but it's patterns. just, it works because you've got the exact colours she's used yes. and the way she's thought about using it. I've not seen this skinny stripe before. No, I've got some of the thicker stripe fabric at home, yeah. but this skinny one and the little dot, like I've got the big dot. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called, big dog. Pom poms. Yeah. Um, but I haven't got these, and these are Tula's colours. So you know they're going to work. You know they're going to work across other ranges as well. If you've got some fabric left of hers from other ranges, but you've also got in there the tiny beast ones. And like, well, I mean, these two, for example, that from there, they look like almost like floral prints, don't yeah. they? Similarly to like the Anna Maria Horner. If I spin this round, look, that is actually a bear. Can you see? That is, it's so, I mean, Tula is just. And she the thinks about how artist. you're going to fussy cut it and make the most out of it. They're almost placed into diamonds. Yes. Oh, gosh, they are. You see secondary shapes of the time. So you've got your bear, look, with a bee and a honey um, beehive. They are amazing. Nice. This one, we never had by the half meter, did we? No. And these this are is the, the fox. Foxes. How cool. So like clever, that. all incorporated into the designs. Yeah, and if, if you work, a, work, live in Leicestershire, that's your. Your foxes, yeah. That's, it. that's on Creative Grids. Oh, that's why there's a fox on the packaging. I didn't know they were based in Leicestershire. Originally, yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, I also grass. really like the squirrels because it's all backyard animals. Yeah, I love that. I just um, think they're adorable. They are beautiful. We started how to play with those on here which is your cave design wall. Is the cave design wall available? Yes, yeah. it should be in there. Oh, OK, because this is a great way of actually playing around with yeah, colour, isn't it? we've not actually stuck them on, and obviously you'd start cutting them up and things like that, but mm -hmm. not allowed. Um, but you can start and you can look back and have perspective on them yeah. from a distance. So there's no go, it doesn't damage is your fabric. Is it like a flannel Yes, yeah, it's like a kind of fuzzy, giant fuzzy felt. And it's massive, isn't it? So the cave uh, facet uh, free spirit design wall is huge. We'll get the, the size of it in a moment. But um, it is it does make a difference instead of yeah. looking at it from here to actually stand back and look also, at the like, scales I mean, of print. Patterns, this is just squares, obviously. It's lovely to see because you've got so much colour. But when you start to think about secondary patterns, that's when these come, yeah. like, they're invaluable. Because if you just think about those blocks that where you're placing them create another effect, you're not going to see that. 
like however much you stand on the sofa and on your tiptoes you can't get that effect no no so this gets you an opportunity and it doesn't have to be up all the time like we've got a board here yeah we pinned it onto i know some people have them laying over and pinned on the top of their dresser yeah and and also when you start doing it, you can roll it like okay. you're not going to stay stuck stuck on but everything's in the right place while you're making tea yeah Do you absolutely. know what i mean like when, if you're on the dining room table how big is it hayley a meter and a half it's a meter and a half as well and it's good that you've got the grid on it as well so you can position things without any pins um without any it's your sort of standard width i think it's oh, your quilting width 112 off. wide but it's a meter and a half so it is worth thinking about actually those of you that are starting on your quilting journeys yeah it's brilliant to be able to have official CAFE design yeah. wall. And you know, his patterns, we know from his quilt patterns, they've got a lot of secondary patterns. Yeah. There's a lot going on in your face in the fabric. So you want to be able to stand back, Absolutely. put it up, walk out the room, come yeah. back and have a look at it. Absolutely. Um, it, it is good to see all those colours together, isn't it, as well? That's the tulip pink, yeah, brand that's new not even all, That's just Oh yeah, we haven't even dipped our toe in. into it. But yeah, <gasps> it's lovely. Okay. All right. How are we getting on? We've got about yeah. 20 minutes, Hannah. Oh, do you want to do the shared one? Yes! <laughs> yes, we do. So, I was at Delphine Brooks spin class. Afterwards, I said, right, I need like a bit of meditation after that. <laughs> and I was talking to her about how I'm getting really into chakras and meditation. And I said to her, P you need to design some sort of quilt. Yeah. This would be perfect for that. And it was really, really popular yeah, on the show, wasn't it? Yeah, she's done like a quilt design and then this was the panel that came with it. Mm -hmm. um, I've selected just to do the panel today. Yeah. Love Delphine, but I like the idea of doing like cushions. Yeah. In kind of like in the garden or in like a kind of a chill out space. Absolutely. Do we need to shimmy it over just oh. slightly? I'm not very good with the overhead, which is... That's fine. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we can see. Um, so now, these yeah. are all the different symbols of chakras, yes. basically, so aren't they? So you've got them all on there, and they're going to be difficult if you were kind of tracing them and things like that. So you've got them all there, and then Delphine used them in her quilt. Yeah, if you do want to choose, uh, you can just see them against the colours a bit better there. So Delphine used it in a quilt. The, the, the quilt kit, don't get me wrong, it was a lot more considered. So if yeah. you do want to get the panel for other things, then definitely get it. It's only yeah. 9 .99. Also, maybe if you're just making tote bags, these can yeah. just go on the tote bags for your yoga kit. Oh, absolutely. That's a really good idea. Well, you've yeah. got back into yoga now, haven't you? I have. I've been a whole three times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just just whilst but, you're yeah. doing that, I'm just going to grab my, uh, my iPad here. Because I also thought it would be really good for round cushions. Uh -huh. Like little round cushions with pom-poms around the outside. So, I have got here, just very quickly, the different meanings. So, they all have nice. different ones. So, this one is your purple, which is your crown chakra. Nice. Which is knowledge, consciousness, fulfillment, spirituality. Spirituality. Yeah, you know, confuse me how to say words. Third eye chakra. Uh, I'll just say the third eye chakra, that's your throat chakra, your heart chakra, your solar plexus, uh, and your root chakra are all nice. there. Now, is this separate? Separate, yeah. Please get the gemstones as well, because we are so lucky that we are all under Gemporia Craft Umbrella. Yeah, so we have to kind of combine. Well, I've learnt so much about this from our sister show, Jewellery Maker, and lovely Susie, um, if you ever get to watch her shows, she goes into such depth of talking about all the different chakras. And I think now that we're coming out of lockdown and coming out of what we've all been through, it is really, really important that we keep this mindfulness. Yeah, whether, whether this is something you believe in or not, yeah. I think it's important that you create a space for you yeah. and to do something mindful that may just be through your sewing or this might just be a nod to what you do That's create it. a space for you that is identifiably you yeah and you could just step out and do something Love to focus that. on it's brilliant now because we're part of our, of course Jim Boyer craft very kindly jewelry maker have let us do an exclusive just because we were doing the chakra show an amazing bundle of gemstones now you are getting in here all seven tumble stones which are all part of obviously chakras right. are colors but i think it makes it even more special to be able to have the different um natural stones yeah, the as well gemstones yeah. that represent those they're natural so you've got clear quartz you've got pink amethyst there you've got lapis lazuli you've oh, got green that. adventurine you've got tiger's eye 
these are all big stones as yeah. well carnelian and you've got red jasper so these are all of your seven colors for your chakras which is amazing isn't it um, now we're at 97.99 that is a huge lapis now if you go to any stores like your um, gemstone healing stores on the high street don't get me wrong, there are a lot of stones that you could get for five, six pounds a, a tumble. But these ones, Lapis, for example, Adventurine, some of these Jaspers, I mean, they are massive stones. The select ones. Yeah, these are really special. Yeah. So to get them all under 100 pounds, 400 carats is brilliant. And obviously you've got your crown chakra there. We're going lower, by the way. We're going a lot yeah. lower for you. Um, just because it is, of course, Hannah's birthday, just because we don't normally do anything like this here on Sewing no. Street. And it is just like you said, just a little bit of a nod to your mindfulness yeah. again. 14.99. They're big. They oh. are big. I mean, that alone, I genuinely don't think you'd be able to get any of these stones individually on the high street, less than a, a tenner each, even from my experience. Your crown yeah. chakra is your purple, your third eye chakra. So if you're meditating, I know lots of people put them on different parts of their body just to hold them, they're tumbles, so just to hold them. I think there's something, whether having something tactile anyway to yeah. hold. there's palm stones. It kind of, yeah, like, you know that kind of take your mind off what's going yeah. on and focusing on something else Looking at them. and thinking about the texture is a whole kind of mindful technique in itself it is absolutely. and it's quite nice to have that physical item they're really lovely as gift ideas but also um, just to have around the home if you think right I need a, um, a little bit more sort of love and acceptance compassion then have your green stone out and about around yes. that's your heart chakra stone <laughs> John's got a lot of rose quartz in his house to attract love <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> Obviously, this is all if you choose to believe, yeah. and this is all this is all um, sort of folklore. And read into it though, and please watch Susie's show because, as I said, I got into gemstones about twelve years ago, and I I never in a million years sort of even delved into the whole um, healing properties and different properties associated with gemstones until lockdown. And I did, and it was more, my mum and my sister are really into it, and I've learnt so much, and it's brilliant. Yeah. It is brilliant. Even like you said though, Hannah, if you're doing your sewing as your meditative um, thing, and you are off to a yoga class, yeah. you want to make a bag, or you want to do little cushions for in the garden, it's a great talking point, isn't yeah. it? And they're natural, they're natural nice. genuine gemstones. They're lovely to have around the home anyway, aren't they? In a little dish, to be able to have natural genuine stones it's brilliant i don't think you could get anything closer to to earth could you especially for 14.99 thank you for that one right han what's next okay talking about earth okay oh it's a little smiley <laughs> earth isn't it i it's love it this. <laughs> this is like the funnest the funnest is my best english <laughs> the most fun in a tennis charm pack that i think you've ever had ever <laughs> I just love this. It's Charm Rainbow pack. Garden. Now, initially when I saw this, I was thinking of things for Maisie. I was thinking of kids' bakes, but actually, oh, I just really enjoy it. It's like, lovely. And again, it's not all one project. That's the thing. This goes yeah. into your stash. It, you pick out certain, like, fabrics for certain makes. Absolutely. Um, I just really like this charm pack. So you've got your little oh, sunshine. Gorgeous. And again, EPP. You can select them. Maybe you want to put little sunshines on the corner of your quilt labels. That could be like your signature, couldn't it? Yeah, you've got enough there. Yeah. You're going to make quite a few quilts, aren't you? Um, your little stars, maybe bunting out of this. Maybe you're right at the beginning of your kind of quilting sewing journey. Well, it's also Hannah's birthday, Fiona Hesper's dad's birthday, and Joseph's 11th birthday. Oh, yeah, birthday. I was going to say happy birthday to Joseph. Happy Obviously birthday, he's not Joseph. Here. If you're watching, Hayley's son. son is 11 today. Oh, yeah, he's at school today, not watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also think if you do like make to sell little uh, patches on baby's bibs or Cute. like little patches on you know the little bandana things yeah I don't know what babies do they, they dribble <laughs> they dribble babies dribble do bibs. things but they seem cute <laughs> There's 40 different yeah, pieces here I loads mean, in here I really love the little one that's the one that we love um, I want the passport cover with this on. Oh, yes. Oh, obviously, as we're doing our adventure awaits. Yeah. Okay, we're going lower. Today, not 47 I like being here. Did you know that we were going to do this, Hannah? Not on all of these. Here we go. 44 dollars She can't say anything to me again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because it's your birthday. 
just because it's your I'll birthday. Do, I'll remember that. I'll make sure it's someone's birthday yes, always. It will be somebody's. Everybody message in every day yeah. and say it's your birthday. <laughs> so They're singing happy going birthday. Well it's Elton John's birthday. Can you hear? Could you hear that? In yeah, it's quite weird, isn't it? They're in harmony. Ian and uh, Hayley had lovely, lovely nice. uh, harmonies going on there. Nice. Really great range of colours. They are beautiful. Forty four ninety nine oh. discounted price today, and they are Moda as well, aren't they? Yeah, they're really, really high quality. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to put them on my design wall. Oh yeah, get them yeah. on the design wall. I do love the uh, the radish, his little face, the little peas in a pod. Gorgeous. Nice. You're having too much fun here, aren't you? Yeah. Designing. Just designing. I've lost the Facebook Live. I hope it ha I'm sure it's still there. So come in and say hello to us. If you've got any uh, questions for Hannah while she's here, then of course do let us know. Am I on the live? Where am I? Oh, what's I... next? What's next? What's oh, next? sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, oh, I found us, I think. Oh, oh. I don't know how many we've got of these in stock. Oh, oh. Um, uh, yeah. Crib size cotton wadding. This is wadding. A, wadding. <laughs> wadding. This is great actually. It's a really nice house because sometimes I've, I'm not going to lie, I've been a bit put off because you, I've only seen the massive rolls before and I thought, oh, I don't know if I need that much. Yeah, it's 80 20, so it's cotton polyester mat, uh, mix. That's what we offer. Okay. Um, there is ones you can get as pure cotton okay this mix is predominantly what our guest designers use yeah it's good because i suppose you could it still washes and dries really yeah. well doesn't it? it that mix works really well together it's what we're advised and that's what we end up buying in we talk yeah. to the designers that's why they're here yeah. to get the best products um you haven't added this have you or is this in the normal schedule it How should are you be in the normal it? schedule okay just looking for it just looking for it i can come what's back the code to oh this is the fun bit W, oh, I'm really bad at code. Here you go, I'll do it. W, U, Z, W, O, 5. Zero 5, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it doesn't say 80, 20. Oh, it is, it is it definitely is 80, 20. It is 80, 20, yeah. It may just say in graphics, cotton. cotton, but they are 80, 20. That's just one of the graphics things. £10.99. Can we show how big that is? Yeah, how many have we got? Can we open it up, Hayley? No. Not I enough. didn't think there was very many in Not stock. And. It's 45 by 60, so it's your width of your... In fact, it's exactly the same size as the design wall behind us. And oh. that's bigger than I think, because it goes right... I can't show you, but it goes right down here, the design wall. And I think that's bigger than what you expect. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I thought, when you see crib, I thought it'd be like the size of, here. of a crib that you would imagine, but and actually it's And it's substantial, also for bag making, if Perfect. you want to use wad wadding. Yeah. In a bag, that's I've brilliant. It's only ten pound ninety nine as well. So if you do oh. want to try out that Hobbs heirloom, it's really, really lovely quality. I don't think there's very many of these left. But um, the batting seam tape. Oh, so is this if you you've got a stash of waddings or? Yeah, I really like any product that helps you use up what you've got that's and it, make exactly. the use of it. Well, we all talk about fabric stash, don't we? But yeah. a lot of us have got wadding stash and the as well. And offcuts aren't just offcuts that then you know get got rid of. Okay you can use them. So basically, I'm not going to undo it because I don't think there's very much. It's like a like a kind of inter interfacing tape, yeah. like with glue. Right. Uh, I don't think there's a picture on here. A lot of people already know what it is. Uh, you basically use it with your iron to join pieces of batting. Here we go. We've got one open. Oh, thanks. There you go. Like a thin interfacing uh -huh. and one side's got glue on it. Right. You can definitely feel the difference. Yeah. You run your iron over it when you've got two pieces of your batting uh -huh. and it makes one good new piece of batting without lumps and bumps. Instead of having to overlap them. Yeah, overlap and then do a stitch. You can stitch. This will be fine because it's going to go predominantly in the time something you're going to quilt. Yeah, exactly. So when you've ironed this together, there is no bulk. Mm -hmm. You're just then making your quilt sandwich. Here we go. Oh, thank Using you. Using just scraps of wadding, you can absolutely put them together, iron them together like you see on the picture on your screen. Nice. Just £9.99. Fantastic. And there can be your odd, your odd bits of random shapes and all sorts. Do you know what I mean? Make the most of what you've got there. Do you know you said we're making the most of Hayley being in the gallery? Yeah. Should we do it again? She can't go lower on that. Yes, that she can. That sounds really well. Oh! <laughs> Seven ninety nine today. It will go back up to nine ninety nine at midnight that's tonight. Like when she does a bizarre early bird of something that sells really, really well, <laughs> she can't hear you. You know, Hannah. <laughs> it just confuses me. 
That is an early bird price, you're right. Yeah, it is, it isn't is. it? Seven pounds ninety nine. Nice. That is brilliant. Oh, I'm going to do another fave. Oh, there's lots of people messaging in. Leslie said, oh. happy birthday, Hannah. So relaxed, presenting. Come no. a long way since those uh, fleeting glimpses of you in the early days of oh, sewing I'm quarter. I'm very sweaty right now. <laughs> you don't need to tell everybody that. <laughs> Not relaxed at all. You're coming across really well. There's lots of really lovely messages coming in for you saying happy birthday. I bought the panel, hoping to make a jet setter bag for oh, yeah. Becky Alexander Frost. Yeah, lots of people getting your Oh, your yeah, should we show panel. my panel again? Just to remind you, it's I'm only very 12 proud. 99 very big. Big, isn't it? It's brilliant. It's massive. Yeah. We have got a message as well on screen. Nice. Hello, um, hello, Hayley. I'm making the most of the boss being in the gallery. Are you bringing the magnetic wristlet, uh, wristlets again? I think they're the pin things. I oh, never did I them. Love them. I only got them for her own. We'll show. try and get some more, Sue. We'll try and get some more. There's so. The panel. This is um, Hannah's brand new panel. You must be really proud seeing oh, it in the very flesh. Proud. Brilliant, isn't it? And I can't wait to see everybody's project. Nice. You must send pictures. I may take it home and finish colouring. Well, you've it. got to now that you've 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 made your well, mark. Yeah. When I say may, I mean I want to, and I'm just asking for permission. Yeah, just take it. Yes, take it. Twelve pounds right. ninety nine. It also has your luggage tags. It's got postcards. It's got yeah. extra applique bits on there. Um, absolutely brilliant value. Oh, Christine's got an idea. I think it was for those comic, uh, comic boards. Comic boards. I'm thinking of getting these to store fabrics in my um, drawers that I got from the Swedish big shop. Oh yeah, I don't know about depths and measurements and things, but if they fit, they're like A4 size. Yeah, perfect. So it should. Yeah. Uh, now you picked out a quilt kit, right, didn't you? It. Have I got it? You picked out a couple. I've got the Tula pink and I've also got a Moda. Which one do you want to do first? Should and I I'll do grab the it? Moda? Yeah. You do the Moda. Now, I've not seen this before, but I love the horses on the, I know. the fabric. I literally, even just the packaging is adorable. I don't I'm really bad at the overhead. I'm the person that I'd be shouting Turn it at towards in the gallery. You. That's it. Face it towards you like that, that's it. I really even <laughs> little details on here like this. We don't have a finished sample for this, unfortunately. But has it I been demonstrated before? It has been on before, but, but I don't not know if it's been demoed. I'm not very good at left and right backwards you are, and forwards. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to open up the box because I just Meander. really... Meander. I love really it. Like this collection. Go on, open it up. Oh, again, this is what I'm like in the gallery going, it's so easy to open a box. <laughs> it's really difficult to open a box. On the telly, especially. <laughs> now, okay. It is a huge quilt. It's 139.99. It's on split pay. 54 by 68 inches. And the colours. Oh, look, fox fabrics and all sorts. Um, are we allowed to open it? Can you ask Kaylee? You might say no because it's in its plastic. Um, we're going to show you what it, the, yeah. the finished quilt looks like. There you go. Oh, and look at the secondary images. It almost looks like you've got curves as well, doesn't it? Um, you've got to get it home. See the fabrics for yourself. Obviously, it's very difficult to 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 see just how horse. spectacular that is going to be when you're just looking at that little picture. Um, I'm really, honestly, we're really lucky to get a quilt of that size under 150 pounds. It's all cut for you. It's all there. You've got the right amount of fabric. I say all cut for you. You've got the right yeah, amount got of fabric right to make it possible. Um, I like because it. we are so late on time, it is nearly five to twelve already. We're going lower. Ooh. Should we get it under 100 for you? 40 pound discount. 40 nice. pounds split off pay. on split pay as well 33 33 nice. you're just having to flick through the instructions yeah there. i'm just Go thinking on. because they've they've given you sorry it's very oh fast. coloring coloring thing as well which you could then photocopy and you're going to use this pattern again like look at it here you can see how like oh lovely like the universe like, yeah. it could be even in your solids like i really like that color palette yeah when you've done it in this do it in your do it in and other, roses nice and you can do it different sizes as well. It shows you where to stop if you want to do it in a crib size or a smaller size. Also, you, go on, sorry. sorry. You go. It even got a bit in here making the most about out of your cuts of fabric. So it's kind of thought thoughtful's the wrong like the wrong word, but they're considering what you're going to need yeah. to know. Yeah. To, so you're going to have bits left over and things like that. Forty pounds off, especially for Hannah's birthday. Happy birthday! That's Thank you for all these birthday prices. Peace and joy for your year ahead, says Jill. Oh, that's nice. 
I'll then put this to one side. I'm not very tidy. Take advantage. Could Take you, advantage. You it is a beautiful, beautiful quilt. It's going to fit in loads of homes as well. There's so many of you who've got this in your basket. Oh. Just so you know, um, this is only available while stocks last, and this is only available for today at that price point. It's 99.99. Should be 140 pounds. That's a really good price. Oh, right. There's loads of you there. Sorry, I've I'm got a feeling kind of... we are way too low on price. I'm so it's sorry so that beautiful. we can't show you a finished sample. Please, if you make it, will you send us a picture? Because we want to see this in uh, when it's done. It was one of Hannah's favourite picks for her show. Um, another one of her favourites. Keep going through for that, by yeah. the way. There's so many of you who've got it in your basket. And don't forget to use the split pay option, which is just 33.33. Okay. There's literally, oh my word, if everybody checks out that sold out, I mean, it, it is amazing. That's exciting. Fingers crossed we'll have plenty to go it, around, but there are a lot of you who have got it in your basket. So check out. It's so can. nice when you pick something because you love it and then everyone else loves yeah. it too. Especially then when Amy takes £40 off. Well, yeah, I'm thinking it's because of my It is because of you and your choice. <laughs> it is. But it does help, doesn't it? Every little helps. It's just got great That's taste. That's like 35% off willy-nilly. Willy nilly. Just like that. <laughs> you just said it as well. <laughs> okay. Right. Pining for you, Quilt Kit. We're moving on, but keep going we through. We don't have a finished sample of this. It's your fave, though, isn't it? But I just love pineapple. This is the most extra and quilt it's ever. And I can't believe we've got any left. Um, I think we do actually have the sample of this. We're we don't see... have a sample. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Because Rebecca really took it home. She got to take it home. Oh. But not the sample to have a look at all the fabric. Right. And then, <laughs> not sorry to be like, we don't. Oh, no, you just grasped her in as well <laughs> to the boss. She's in trouble. <laughs> no, Rebecca Reed took a kit home. So we should have an open kit somewhere, but oh, who knows okay. where that's gone. Now, which collection is this? Is it the Daydreamer? Yes. It's the one, the one that, that she, she launched in 2020. Yeah all about lockdown and I really like as well they've taken into consideration the background colours oh, so lovely. you're getting Tula's solids in there there's <gasps> like the light pastel palette oh, in nice. there and then the kind of richer colours as well oh and, and fussy cutty opportunities yeah. as well and look at all the there is so so much fabric in here it is jam packed with fabric and there's also the um, flamingo fabric isn't there the yeah that cut. sold out the first day we had it it did oh it was meter. amazing Love it. And you've got the um, the Panthers, the uh, Jaguars, isn't it? Mick, Mick Jaguar. Jaguar. Mick Panther would be very different, but <laughs> I wouldn't it? And we'll call you later. They're all names that you just remember and you will love. This is the Pining For You quilt. Do you know what day this was aired? Oh, it hasn't been demoed either. No, so what? It's not been demoed, so we never had a sample. So Victory came in and, she and talked she'd about the up. fabrics. She didn't say she'd make it up. Right. She had a look through the fabrics, and she really liked the kit. And we chatted about it, and chat we did pineapple facts. Did you um, drop it in price at all? Yes. We're going to do it. Oh, OK. We're going to do it again. Do you want it, again, with a £10 discount? Uh, 189.99. Three-way split pay will still be on your screen. Three-way split pay. I mean, 63.33 now. Split pay is brilliant. Hopefully, that Amazing. makes it more achievable. I do like that you've got the solids on the background colours as well. Yeah, it's not just one because you could easily put this design on a white background. But here, you're getting all of those tula pink solid colours. It is beautiful. It really is. It's massive as well. Do you know the finished size of it? It is 72 inches by 77 and a half inches. Perfect. It's Thank just you. one metre and 30, no, 83 metres by one metre and 97 metres. Thank you. Centimetres. <laughs> Rather the best at reading those. <laughs> that is what I've just found out. One metre and 97 metres. Yes. <laughs> my reading ability. We know what you mean. We know what you mean. 189. Discounted today. It should be 200 pounds. If there's anything that you want to do, do it. Can I do this random randomly? I've got a yarn lane book. Yes, please. So and then we've got to get Fiona how much back I love on. Yarn lane, and then I will. It's a bundle as well, isn't it? Yes. Did uh, Hayley add in a cheeky little crochet hook yeah. for you? Yeah, Hayley's bundle is a crochet Thank hook. Thank you, Hayley. So this is technically a yarn <laughs> lane product that I'm now doing on 
sewing machine. Do you crochet? No, but I really want to. Because you love this book. But I love because this book beautiful. and I think it's like a jumping above what I could do. So nice. this would be like my inspiration coffee table book. So and these are all like different shaped tiles. Yeah, I just think it's amazing. I love tiles anyway. Like I went to Lisbon and everyone got bored of me taking photos of tiles everywhere oh, in literal, Portugal. Oh, like tiles. Yeah, yeah. and it, I just think they are beautiful. Oh, the tiled houses in Portugal yeah, are amazing, are just they? amazing. Mm -hmm. and. I really, this is if I could crochet, this would be the dream. Okay. So I think I'm aiming slightly too high to start with. But for anybody who does crochet, yeah. get this book. It's, I, it's a beautiful coffee table yeah, book, like I'm you gonna say. Start. There's a hundred different, and I love a format of book where they break down, like they show you a hundred blocks oh, wow. or a hundred something else, like, and you can start creating your own. And then there's also projects to make them into yeah. bags and cushions and quilts, yeah. blankets. Look. Oh, so nice. Like, the look. Time, look at the tiles. <laughs> And like they've got them with the images. These are all things I imagine are useful. Yeah, breaking it down. Oh, and lots Look. of pattern instructions as well, exactly how to do it. Um, and Ac Anna, I can never say her name, Anna Nikopros, mm. the lady that comes in. Oh, okay, Anna, yeah, yeah. She's designed some of them to go in oh. this book and she's just a lovely lady, isn't she? I don't know whether we can find, the, the, find it on your schedule, Hannah. It was, it was in eight or nine o'clock. Eight or nine. You bundled it with a crochet hook. It was in eight. Yeah, we can't find it. Do you want me to come and do it quickly? Do you want to come take on, over? Come on, come on. I'll have a quick look through. So you've got point to point, crisscross, and then Hannah's going to come back and quickly say goodbye. Um, you've got the blue huge you've got all of the cluster have a look back through though all of the website because there is so much that um, we might not have got a chance to do so for example best presses on pre-order um, don't forget to get your bundles your comic uh, sheets don't forget to get all of your orophils as well they were on there we've had so many deals right from eight o'clock this morning so come on in uh, even if you're you know going back through the website sorry i don't know i'll bring the graphics in okay don't no, don't worry, don't saying. worry. I'll sort it out in the break. Okay, fab. I'll so, do my other job now. Thank you so, so much for all of these treats. Because it's been amazing, hasn't it? When are you back on air? Oh, Next birthday. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no, it's been amazing, hasn't it? Yeah. Thank no, you so thanks. much for all these treats. Thanks for having me. Uh, we've got to get Fiona back on, haven't we? Yeah, I'm going to go now. Yep, yeah, Hannah's back in the hot seat for Fiona's oh. show. Happy birthday! Oh. Okay, go. don't go Bye. anywhere. Uh, Fiona is going to be joining us on the other side. The bucket hat, the dungarees already selling on pre-order. Grab all the bargains that you've just seen in this hour and we're back right after this. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, 
click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We all ready for the sunshine? Oh my word, everybody needs a hat in this weather, don't they? Whatever age we are, you know, whatever sort of style clothes you wear, every single one of us needs to wear a hat in this hot weather. And if you go through like, what are the trendiest hats to wear at the moment? Oh my word, it's without a shadow of a doubt, the bucket hat. They are everywhere. 
The pattern is available on its own. It's the Brighton hat, which is your bucket hat. And I say bucket hat, but look, you can wear it like this. You can wear it that the, um, the peak is turned up, or you can have it that it's down like a bucket hat. So it's up to you. I saw so many. I watched Glastonbury on the, uh, the telly. Obviously, he's trying to spot Rebecca Reed in her crocheted granny square trousers. And I saw so many bucket hats, it's untrue. If you want your bucket hat pattern, you can do three different sizes, small, medium, and large. Um, the finished hat diameters are on the back of the pattern. You can use this not just for summer though. I remember in the winter we did winter options as well. We did winter options so it's going to be all year round that you're going to be able to wear these. Just £10.99. It comes with all your templates once again and it's one you are going to be able to use and use and use and use and use. You could do contrasting brims you could do a um, like a, a patchwork version if you want there is so much that you can do with these at 10 pound 99 use some of your favorite fabrics use your denim of course as well it's always popular um upcycle old clothes jeans and things like that it's a brilliant idea but um i know that fiona has also put different blog posts on about the uh, the bucket hat adding different flowers and buttons and things like that. Look how different it looks for your winter hat as well. Just £10.99. These have been flying into baskets since they went since we went live at eight o'clock this morning. Um, I think they've sold out every single time I've seen them on air. And I think we've had to restock the restock them over and over and over again. Uh, I told you, buckets hats are very, very on trend. Hannah is known to be a bit of a trend setter. Here's Hannah and Steph. Here's Hannah and her boyfriend Steph. And there's Hannah in a bucket hat in Lisbon in Portugal looking uber cool. Who'd have thought it? Hannah, you look really cool. <laughs> she says, bucket hats are in. If that doesn't put you off, even with big curly hair, bucket hats work. I love them. Absolutely love them. Quarter of the stock has gone straight away and a lot of the third, well, a third more is in baskets. So just be aware that is really popular i would love somebody to make matching dungarees and bucket hat together i think it would look super super cool um speaking of brighton that is your brighton hat it was in brighton that i went into the most amazing dungaree shop i've ever seen it's the one that you yeah what's it called yeah. yes yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing, Lucy and Yak. They inspired my dungarees, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I just thought I've got to do a pattern that's just it catches the spirit of their. They go um, inspired by. You can see it, 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 they are just really comfortable mm. dungarees, aren't mm. they? I've had dungarees before that are almost like fitted jeans with and these are just so cool i bet you could wear these in different you could make these in different fabrics as well you're wearing them in denim i'm wearing in denim uh these ones are linen, linen. over here yeah. but you could equally make them in I, I mean i think you could make them in something quite thin like poplin or something yeah you know like a you, you think of um what you're wearing yeah. a jumpsuit yeah you could, there's no reason why you couldn't make it in a lightweight cotton absolutely lightweight cotton or linen or denim mm. or linen Look, here you go. Very designer. Mm. You pay a lot of money for designers like these. You know, well, I know you love toast, don't you? I do. Not just the breakfast, but <laughs> you love toast, the shop. Uh, and I mean, Another there are lots of lovely place. shops. Oh, yeah. That yeah. sell things very similar, but that is gorgeous. But isn't you know, it? You, you've got a 150 pound yeah. dungarees there that you've made for a fraction of the price. They're timeless. So. They're absolutely timeless. Mm. And then thinking in winter, make a pair in cord. Mm. Corduroy would look yeah, amazing. Yeah, needle cord or something. Yeah, would be great. Once you've got the pattern, you're going to use it again. Now the sizes go right from size eight to 22. Mm. I would recommend actually either tracing out the pattern mm. or, or doing something that you keep the pattern intact because you might want to make different mm. sizes because people are going to mm. ask you about them, aren't they? I think People so. are going to want a pair. They're loose fitting these ones, so you might want to kind of make one that's sized down yeah. where you fit in a placket at the side, you know, it's, or yeah. a zip or something. You know, yeah. you might want to kind of like, because they are designed just to put, sort of put on and off mm -hmm. without having any buttons except for these without any sort of side fastening. So right. they're designed to be really simple. And they come up, where, they come up quite sort of high here, don't they, at the yeah, sides? The so that you, you, the you're not having to show, it sits at your sort of waist as opposed to yes. lower here. Yes, that's Do you know right. what I mean? Because yeah. those cool ones I saw, they come right down here. Yeah. And I almost have to watch what yeah. I'm wearing. If I've got oh, a top yeah. on that's a bit short, you end up yeah, seeing you this bit. Yeah, you want this underneath, don't you? <laughs> 
Um, can I show you Fiona's blog? So on the uh-huh. SoGoal website, you can get onto the blog. Um, here, these are the Doris Dungarees. Um, inspiration, obviously Fiona the model. Mm-hmm. Um, then there's all your sizing charts as well, if you want to have a quick peek at those. They are on the back of the pattern. When you get it home, as well as obviously this being on the website, uh, on the blog and on YouTube, mm-hmm. um, you've then also got lots of full breakdowns of how to do extra uh, little techniques as well. Obviously you get a booklet in your pattern as well, don't you? Yeah, it's an illustrated booklet inside the pattern, but on the blog it's all photo step by step. So you've got the option to look at both then. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and you've got a few of the illustrations there showing in the um, on the blog. There That's you the are, the beach. beach chart on the beach. Love it. Where I was the other day. Brilliant. Just seventeen ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, we love those dungarees. They're flying into uh, baskets. Loads of you get them. Get the bucket hat to go with. Now some fabric bundles, very very quickly. Um, three meter bundles. Is this enough to do the largest size then? Yeah, I think so. Uh, largest size. Well, it depends if it's got a pattern direction. I don't think any of the fabrics have got a pattern no, direction, have they? No, not necessarily. This so is for the largest size, 2.2, and then, of course, you want uh, half a metre for your hat. Mm-hmm. Um, so, But you probably could make a couple of hats as well, to oh, be honest, see, because we've, you we've, can fit things around things, can't you? Well, we've done you know, it like, separately, mm. but um, even if you're getting this one bundle, you could make your dungarees and the hat. Mm. These are all lightweight cotton canvases so that would work really really nicely as well they're gorgeous they'd be really nice in your dungarees that's three meters for 39.99 i'd also think about um this fabric actually it reminds me straight away of lovely uh, like roman blinds or home decor really beautiful mm. fabrics um okay we also we've have we've never done it in a pattern before have and you not? no we've not done the dungarees in a pattern it's always been a plain linen or denims so we just suddenly had this brainwave, like, wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, it would be really nice. How about yeah. big florals? Yeah. And you could pick out any of these colours as well for like a top mm. underneath it, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, I love and this. And some nice nail varnish as well <gasps> to match that lovely pink. Just a plain white t-shirt underneath that. Yeah. Wouldn't that look gorgeous? Mm. That's something that people would stop you in the street and say, where do you get those dungarees? Because mm. that is, they, they, they are so, they would be so unique, wouldn't they? Mm. Very arty, love that fabric. Mm, it's lovely, isn't it? That's beautiful. I love the colours in that. I'm excited for somebody to do it in this fabric because I think they would look it's absolutely just that amazing. It's that pop of acid yellow in there, I mean, with that pink. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, yeah, like you say, bright yellow nail varnish or mm, bright yellow, yellow handbag really or something. That's well this year, isn't it? Absolutely. Mm. Uh, or a bright yellow pair of earrings that you wear with them, they would look amazing. <laughs> There's loads of colours to pick out. Uh, remember, your dungaree pattern on the side, that is enough for your larger size, and you'd get a bucket hat out of it as well. Um, okay, we also have the teal, which is the one that Fiona is going to be working mm-hmm. with. Now, this is your plaid. This is the one that reminds me a lot of your um, dungarees. Uh, okay, the banner for this is about to sell out. It's three meters, enough to be able to do the largest size in your dungarees for twenty two ninety nine. Like you said, how much is it going to cost you if you go to any of these lovely fancy shops where you get a quality pair mm. of classic, you know, your dungarees? These could be made to your, you know, your size, made for you, high quality, at twenty two ninety nine. Just grab yourself your pattern as well. You can get That's a nice brilliant. bit of top stitching going on with that teal as well. What colour contrasting top White, stitch would I you? Think White. Would be lovely. Or red. Mm. Uh, there's no fixtures and fittings with it. There's no. I want to. There's no zips no, or fastenings. No, there's, there's the buttonholes button here. But yeah. to be honest, you don't really even need to throw the uh, buttonholes because if you're sewing, sewing them on, you can. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think <laughs> the well, you could put in. dungaree braces and yeah. bib and braces uh, buckles on, couldn't you? Yeah. Uh, but it's just got some some very simple little buttons. Oh, oh I right, do love buttons. though. Do yeah. some really funky buttons. Mm. Um, right, I've got navy and white rose. Oh yeah, I wonder whether you could get some of those hardware um, dungaree. Yeah, you would need to match them. them to the strap, which I think is 30 mil. So, um, but if you want, if you can only find 40 mil, you can just cut your strap a bit wider, can't you? I do like that they're buttons, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're so accessible. Mm. If you're going to make it again really easily, knowing that you just can use buttons. Uh, 39 99 and that's a really nice one as well. If you wanted, you know, your bold print, but maybe the, the watercolours were maybe a little bit too bright for you. This is your navy colour. Oh, yeah. It'd be nice with wooden buttons, that one, isn't it? That'd be really nice with mm. a wooden button. Oops. 
Sorry, I just threw it out of shot. Ah! Now I've thrown it off the desk. Sorry. <laughs> what job, Vic? It's because I'm trying to be quick. Thirty nine ninety nine, and then we've stuff. also got one final one. Yeah, there you go. Look, you can see there. That looks nice with those. You can get wooden buttons in all sorts of colours because this one here would look lovely with that pattern there. See, that's just... oh yeah, with your tails. You know I mean? Yeah, so it's still well, wood, but it's stash, like a slightly we? different tone. We've all have different buttons stashed, mm -hmm. don't we? There you go. There's your wooden buttons. And then this one. This one's really nice. What's it called? Olive branches. That's nice. See, I'm just envision, env trying to envision all of these now, and they're all going to work really, really mm. well. Like you said, yeah. you've worked with the team to Lovely. be able to say, wow, well, what stops mm. us from doing it in, in, in pattern fabric? They are all cotton canvas fabrics, three metre bundles, 39.99, enough to be able to make the largest size, which is a size 22. Have a look on the back of the pattern. There are a few of these that we have available by the half metre. Um, they will be underneath us on the web. We'll run them through a bit later. I'm aware that we've got a lot of demo that we want to get in before mm. one o'clock. So let's start with the dungarees then, Okay. Fiona. I would just say that it's a really lovely weight as well, this uh, canvas. It's not heavy at all. It's quite, it's quite a medium weight, which is unusual for canvas, isn't it? So um, the first thing I've done here is I've joined the back pieces together. And the back looks very similar to the front, so I put a big B on the bottom. Good idea. <laughs> and you can see that I've done tailor's uh, tacks here as well, which I've transferred the markings for the pocket position okay. from the pattern. And all it is is where you do some little loops. Um, and then here we are, I've got one on here. So you've got a pocket on the front. So you do some, uh, some little loops like that, uh, leave the ends free and then pull it apart and then snip them in between if you can find your scissors. <laughs> so there we go, really prepared here, aren't I? Um, um, we'll get you a pair yeah. of scissors, Fiona. I've got some scissors. Oh Maybe I haven't. Oh, here they are, it's all right. Uh, yes, yeah, so you pull them apart after you've done the little loops and, um, and there it transfers the markings to, so do this before you remove the pattern piece and then you've got it all for later. Um, now I'm not going to put the pocket patch pockets on the front because I'm going to show you how to do it on the bib. Mm -hmm. There's one pack pocket on the bib here so I'll just do that one and then you can see how it's done. Then uh, if you go to the front piece, here we go, we're just now I've literally I've cut them out and as they are I just pin them together so match the right sides to right sides but this doesn't really have a right or wrong side obviously with the prints it does and then you match the two together where am I going to put that and then we're sewing down the center front seam and we've got a one centimeter seam allowance I think so um, now, they're quite loose fitting these, so if you wanted to kind of take them in a little bit, make mm -hmm. them a little bit less uh, loose, you could uh, sew a bigger seam allowance um, on, the, on the seams, at the side seams. So, I like that you've got that ability because you're making them for yourself, do you know what I mean? So, some, uh, they're designed, that, you know, that, they're, that they are a bit oversized, but actually they're bespoke, so if you want to bring them in, bring them in. Yeah. Remember, you've got to get them on and off, so of you've got to get them over your hips. So just measure your hips and just make sure that you've got a little bit extra, so probably about bit five, bees. five, six centimetres. You want about one and a half centimetres each side of the centre front seams, uh, side, side seams for ease. So um, just take a look at that. But you've got the fi finished measurements on the pattern so you can see how what the finished size is. What do you class this leg shape as? Is it a straight leg or is it sort of tapered in slightly? It is slightly tapered. Yeah. Now I've seen a lot of dungarees, particularly in linen, where they've been straight legged, slightly right. cropped, and they've kind of like, they're much more fluid. Now it's really, really easy to do that with this pattern because one side of the leg is straight and the other side is tapered. And all you really need to do is just sort of bring that Match the straight, inside yeah. leg seam uh, line out, you yeah. know, just like maybe two or three centimeters and just draw a straight line. You and know. you could make them shorter then and do them as like a yeah, cropped, almost like, like a, a cropped cropped one. Yeah. Yes, it'd be lovely. Or even, even sort of like shorts. shorts. Yeah, it would be lovely. So we've sewn the centre front seam there of the front and now um, you would finish the raw edge. I'm not going to bother with doing that because I'm going to move on. 
and then press your seam out and top stitch down that center front seam. Have I got an iron? Is it switched on? I can switch you it on, is. it's quick. <laughs> um, now, uh, top stitch down the center front seam. And so when you're top stitching, obviously lengthen your stitch length. Sorry. And Are you, have you got your scorch going? That's it. I think you're on. There we go. You want to get oh, some flooding everywhere now. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> Let's move on to the bib. So uh, here's the bib. Now, so can you make a bib out of the contrast fabric? Yeah, why not? That'd be lovely. Julie's asked the question. Hi, ladies. Fiona, would it be possible to make the bib part in a contrasted fabric? It would look like you've got a sort of top and, a, and trousers, wouldn't it? There's yeah. No, there's no, no reason why you couldn't do that. Nice. Um, so the front, so the back I have joined already. So you're literally just sewing the centre back seam. Now, just be careful because when see this piece here sometimes I've made the mistake of sewing this one together rather than this so just put an arrow saying this way up and then you all pin it straight away after cutting um, and then you'll be foolproof open it up press it and then top stitch and then with the front we've transferred the markings for the pocket so here's our pocket this one that we've made earlier and all that is is where you're stitching down the sides seams you've you've folded the hem over and stitch down the side to turn it inside out and then press it and stitch across so it's a, just a very basic pocket and there's lots and lots of pockets on this now of course you don't need to do all the pockets if you want to leave these ones off and just have back pockets mm -hmm. you know there's absolutely no problem with that and you finished yours off with uh, the edges of your fabric off with an overlocker do you need to have an overlocker to do it no, I mean, obviously, it depends on the sort of fabric you're using. Yeah. Uh, but if you've got a fairly uh, structured cotton like this, I mean, zigzag is absolutely fine. Or you, uh, some machines do have some sort of overlocking okay. stitches, don't yeah. they? So um, absolutely no problem. And so I'm pinning on the pocket here. Now, normally I would say tack, tack the pocket on because, like I said before, pockets ha do have a tendency to wander but I'm just going to pin and sew today so and if you like I said before if you've got pins that are going outwards then you can just sew sew across them and we're just going to sew down one side across the bottom and up the other side and reinforce with the little back stitch at the t at the beginning and end so and when you're top stitching you really want to just go a few millimeters or an eighth of an inch away from are you the using a contrasting thread here no i'm going to use the same color as the background yeah. just because and i think if you're starting off um it's a good idea to just use the same color mm -hmm. um thread because you know once you've found your feet top stitching can show up um every every little wobble can't they so if i was you i would sort of cut your teeth with a, a good match, colour match thread. Sorry. Sorry, Kat, that was my bad. So drop your needle at the corner, swivel round. Now take your time with this front pocket because that's the one that's going to be on show. You don't want someone looking at you, talking to you, and their, their eyes wandering to your wobbly seam. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they're sewers as well. <laughs> I do think, though, sometimes, do you know what? The whole job, I know you want it to look as professional as possible, but you are still making your own clothes, so don't panic if you are a little bit wobbly because you've made it yourself that's the whole joy of not it not being a factory produced exactly. product you know what I mean? yes well i think i always think perfection is a journey rather than a destination don't you i mean everything you do you oh, like that. that i'm going to use better. that yeah that's a good saying it's a good saying isn't it i don't i think i i, I didn't i did borrow it from somebody yeah i was going to say did you is that from a from your book of, of wise yeah, words. Should be, shouldn't it? <laughs> now, I, I, what was it that someone said? It was Ollie, who's producer over on Jewelry Maker, and he always talks about how 
It, uh, it's, it's his favourite gemstone, actually. He says it, it takes him on a journey that no vehicle can. And that's Ooh. what it reminds me of. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now, um, so obviously, it's, I mean, one thing I am particularly about, particular about is passing my threads through to the back. Okay. And, and, um, and then cutting them, them off there, yeah. And tie, well, or just cutting them. Uh, today I'm just going to snip them, but it does sometimes just leave a tiny little thread hanging. Right, so I've done that, and uh, I've done my back here, So, and then I have two facing pieces as well, which I'm going to come to in a minute. Uh, I'm going to show you the ties, uh, not the ties, the uh, straps. Mm -hmm. So here's one. Now this fabric, this canvas fabric, is it's a little bit tricky to turn inside out so if you want to just like i said before fold over the two sides and uh one centimeter and then fold it in half and then stitch it down that's absolutely fine but another little trick that i've used is um where i sew down the uh i sew down across and up and i leave a long thread mm -hmm. so that i can tie it onto a blunt end ended needle, pass it into the tube, and then I've got this thread that basically I can pull, and it's connected to the joined end. Okay. And then I can pull it through that way. Uh, we need to get you a prim turning tool, Fiona. Oh no, that was quite quick though. Yeah. Well, but I, I was had scared that your thread was going to break. I had got, well, yes, but you, you know, you, you do need good strong thread with that. But um, yeah, oh, that's but good. Yeah, it's a turning tool. Yeah. It's good. Loop turner as well. Yeah. But that's if you haven't got any of those yeah. things to hand. You know, it's just a little trick that I, uh, yeah, I like to. It's my party trick. <laughs> tell what kind of parties I go to. <laughs> <laughs> they sound wild. They are, they're wild. Let's talk about French scenes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so just eat, tease out your corners. You know, you want them nice and square. And I like to use a spent uh, machine needle for this because you've got a little bit of uh, a handle to it, haven't you? Oh, good idea. It would be lovely with a William Morris or Liberty Pocket on the bib. Fab fabric. Um, I've got this for my daughter. Oh, brilliant. That's a brilliant idea. Oh, what about, I'm thinking even just a little bit of Liberty inside the pockets, just as a little hint. <laughs> or the mean? facing. Yeah, the facings would be nice with Liberty. Lovely. Of course, Hannah's now saying that she wants an Anna Maria Horn uh, pocket. Those back quarters, by the way, are only available to midnight tonight at the price point that... Hayley took them down to. We'll, um, yeah, I'll show you that before the end of the hour. Right, so give it a good press. What I like to do is to press it flat like that and then put the fold, uh, the seam edge to the folded edge and then press and you'll get a much better finish. Oh no. See, I'm running a school of ironing here. <laughs> well, I'm actually enjoying ironing now with this new iron. Yeah, it's very nice with that. So there you are, you have two ties and basically they have uh, been sealed on one side. So, And then we'll top stitch it all the way round. But I'm not sure I've got time for that, so we'll move on. Okay. So now it comes to putting the bib to the front. What's that? Front, back. Um, here we go. Is my front. Right, and we can just, and you're pressing your seam on your front and back to one side after you've finished it. Sometimes it's a good idea to nick it at the um, curved section after you've finished it. Okay. Um, or I like to trim the seam down, or if you've got an overlock, or just um, overlock it so that it, you've got a very small bit left like a five millimeter, something like that, quarter, an inch, quarter of an inch. So now we're going to put the bib onto the front. It's gonna look nice in this color. This reminds me a lot of, you know, the ones that you see in that shop in Brighton. Mm. I didn't know they had a shop in Brighton actually. That's the only place I've seen it. What other shops do they have? 
I they're based they in were Brighton. Only online. Oh, okay. Yeah. Must Apparently, they manufacture a lot in Yorkshire. Hannah, you've got a pair, haven't you? And they're about hundred pounds, aren't they? Mm. Or even more, hundred and fifty or something. Yeah, Hannah said, yeah, I spent a lot on those degrees. But they are ones like these that they're timeless. They come. I'd say they come in and out of fashion. They don't really leave, do they? They're, they're always um, really popular. I love a pair of dungarees. They're just classic. Right, so we're now going to put the, I'm just going to read my pattern. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're now going to join the trousers together. Kay. You know, you could do this either way. You can either join the trousers together or you put the bibs on and then join them all at the oh, same right. time around the side seam. So it's really, you know, pretty much the same thing, but in a different order. So there's your trousers side seams. So pin them together. It's a good idea, like you say, to put, especially on the solid fabrics, you've put a front and back in chalk, That's you? right. And the other thing is, uh, these are sort of ankle skimmers. So if you feel like you want extra on the leg length. So how tall are you, Fiona? Um, I'm 5'7", um, and they just come to... Just above your you ankle. Know, yes, but I mean, you, some people might like to have a turn up at the bottom, mm. so... Well, know, that might be nice with the contrasting fabric then, wouldn't it? Yeah. So just be aware of that. So now I'm just sewing up the side seam. Once everybody checks out, there's less than 30 of the patterns left. Um, all of the sizes are in one pattern from sizes 8 to 22. Your pattern piece is included in there, plus you've got full instructions in a really lovely booklet with, uh, did you say there's diagrams in this one, Fiona, and then photographs on the blog? Yes, there's diagrams on the, in the pattern, and then there's um, a sort of mixture, actually, but it's mostly step-by-step -step photographs Brilliant. on the blog. Yeah, go and have a look on, on the SoGirl um, You know, it's, it's nice to sort of see what's involved before you, uh, you know, commit, really, isn't it? To see what's involved. I think a lot of people have been getting into dressmaking with sewing bee, haven't they? Yeah. Have you enjoyed the sewing bee this year? Um, I've, I, I'm not finished because I went on holiday. Oh, I bet so I've got a lot of catching then. up to do. All oh, right. I've got about three. Yeah. Three I'm always, I'm always putting spoilers out on Facebook, <laughs> and, and I don't realise I'm doing it. And I'm like, oh, I thought the whole world was watching. Watching you know. exactly the same time. No. Oh my gosh, I've watched. I still haven't watched the final of Britain's Got Talent yet either. And that was uh, ages ago, wasn't it? well behind have you had been on holiday or something yeah well oh. yeah and uh, i go to bed so early Fiona. Oh, do you? yeah so i have to yeah make time in the day to sit and watch my programs uh, don't always have time do you in the day to sort of sit down and watch no TV. exactly it feels a bit sort of decadent doesn't it <laughs> right so i sewed, sewed down one side seam of the trouser legs and make sure that you've got the right so you know when you've got this plain fabric it's um you know it's not easy to see which is the right side and wrong side so just keep checking that you've got the right you know sometimes i like to put a bit of um masking tape mm -hmm. on the right side just so that it's like oh, a nice. sort of duh, duh, you know this is the right side <laughs> just to kind of like a bit of a bit of a warning sign are you travelling back home down today after the show? Or are you staying? No, over? we're going up to Manchester. This was supposed to be just a little show drop off. You know, I was only thinking of doing an hour one oh. show, and it's become a bit more than that. Yeah, <laughs> a, a lot, lot more than, than that. that. A lot of projects. <laughs> but we're going up to Matilda, my daughter. It's her. Oops. Um, it's her ceremony. It's her uh, oh, graduation. graduation. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Her graduation ceremony. Are they doing sort of like a mixture of 2021, 2020? Yes, they've got like, three yeah, years. Three years of ceremonies. So I, I should imagine that it's going to be busy. A, a lot to sort of sit through. So <laughs> we'll, we'll really need our lunch afterwards, don't we? Uh, we're going out for a nice lunch afterwards with her boyfriend. So is that so tomorrow? Tomorrow, yes. Lovely. Yes. So so we thought, well, we're passing by Redditch, so we'll pop in and say hello. And um, oh, yeah. that's going to be brilliant. Yes, we're good. I'm off to uh, see Michael Bublé tonight. You're not. Yeah. Oh my goodness. How I can't. Wonderful. I keep preparing myself for him because um, lovely Elle, who's our presenter over on Jewelry Maker this morning, she went to see Michael Bublé and he picked her out of the crowd and kissed her. <gasps> 
I oh. know, I don't think that's gonna happen wow. somehow, but let's hope. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Kieran is gonna be there, but uh, he'll really? understand. Oh. I'm sure he'd probably kiss him too. Now I have to ask you, because I know what your past is, are you going to go to the ABBA Voyage or have oh, you been? Oh, I desperately want to go. Um, ABBA Voyage, have you heard of it? It's the um, hologram ABBA show. It's apparently amazing, mm. but my ABBA show that I used to sing with, they went and they weren't, they weren't over impressed. To, but everybody else who I've said has said it is amazing. Really? Have you been, Fiona? No, but my friend went, and I thought of you because I know you're. You, I'm definitely going to go. You are Abba, basically. I am Abba. You? You're the closest thing we've got to Abba <laughs> in this country. So, <laughs> <laughs> what a claim! Yeah. Now, the next thing you could do is uh, sew the inside leg seam, but I'm going to leave that out just so that I can get. Yeah, the top we've got about five on. minutes on this demo before we move on to the hat. Right. So um, now. What we have here is the back. We're going to put the straps into the back and we're going to cover it over with a facing. Mm -hmm. So here's our facing. Now you can see that I've pressed the facing lower edge, which is the longer edge. If I get that like that, you can see it's sort of like a triangle. Um, and then I've pressed it over, but I'm not stitching it down. Not quite yet. So now I'm going to put my straps into the top edge and I think on the pattern you have a little notch to tell you where it's supposed to sit but basically what you want it to be is just in so you see how you've got a little kink there so you want it to be just at, at, at the corner but um, just consult your pattern for where you have you're supposed to have a notch there and of course I haven't put one in right so and then you, you can tack stitch that in, but I'm just going to go for it and put my facing in and see if I can sew them both together to save a bit of time. So in goes my facing on top. And now you've got a bit of overhang on the facing. Okay. Um, and it doesn't meet up you know, it, it stops one centimetre in. Sorry, I think I've gone, it needs to be a bit Oh, so don't panic, you haven't cut it wrong. Yes, because you've got like a one centimetre gap on one side and the other. Oops. There we go. And then we're going to sew across there, just that top edge. And then we're going to sew down here too. And then just open this up and sew one centimetre in across, one centimetre across the top edge and one centimetre down to the fold there. Oh, I'm so excited for everybody who's buying the um, beautiful floral patterned um, fabric. There's loads of, of those bundles going to basket. So please send in your photographs or tag Fiona in them as well on, your, on the Facebook fan page because they're going to look great in all these different patterns, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. They are. If you've got the pattern in your basket, please do check out. It's just $17.99. I will show you the um, bucket hat pattern whilst Fiona's showing this. So. Um, they are very, 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 very limited. As I said, every single time that they uh, come in, they sell out. £10.99. And we are in the height of summer right now. We all need to be making these. Is it something I can make in an afternoon, Fiona? Hmm? My hat. Afternoon. Can I make it in an afternoon? How long yeah, is it going to yeah, take me? Yeah, two, three hours. There yeah. you go. That's it. Get yourself ready for any holidays. Uh, can canvas on its own. We have three different ones. Can we do this gorgeous pink floral? Uh, now, how much have we got here? Half a metre? Uh, so, for £6.99, let me open it out and show you what you're getting, because it's extra wide. If you're also a bag maker, grab as much as you can of this before that sells out, because this won't um, last, will it? That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Even if you just want a little bit of a, a nod to it, so if you're going for the teal, maybe, and you just want to get half a metre of this for your pocket, Go for it, £6.99, it's so, so pretty. Um, how much are we gonna need for the bucket hat, Fiona? Can you remember? 
I'll have a look on the pattern. Half a metre. Half a metre. Mm. Just and one And then unit. Uh, half a metre for the lining as okay. well. Okay. Fab, you could pick loads of different colours out for your lining, couldn't you? Uh, then we also have the navy blue with the roses. By the half metre again. So if you do want it for the dungarees, but maybe you're making a size 8 and you need um, not as much fabric, let me tell you. It says it does say on the, uh, the blog, so you can have a look. Um... Fabric requirements, size eight, you're gonna need two and a half meters. Yeah, maximum you're gonna use two and a half meters. Um, and size 22, to be fair, is 2.6 meters. So yeah, just get yourself the bundles if you're gonna make the, the dungarees and you'll have a bit of wiggle room then. Um, or of course, if you're making the bucket hat, just half a meter for your outer and half a meter for your lining. Uh, Six pound ninety-nine. That's really good price as well. I'd, they'd pick lovely little tote bags, wouldn't they? Then we also have finally the um, olives, olive branch. This is the only other one that we have by the half meter. The only way of getting the the vine one is in the bundles. Six ninety-nine. That'd make a nice bucket hat. It'd go with everything, wouldn't it? just six pounds 99 for a half meter which is really nice and wide as well so you'll definitely obviously be able to make um your outer bucket hat with it you just need a bit for your lining fab where are you sorry fiona so i've got my straps in the back and i have turned so i've sewn it across sewn it down the sides and i've turned it inside out um i think i've put my straps a little bit too um far in I could have been a little bit further over so um, I obviously didn't have the marker on the fabric so if that happens to you just stitch it up and move it over but um, hopefully you won't do that because you'll do it properly <laughs> now um, and then you press it to the right side you've got some, some nice steam going on and then tuck under the raw edge there and tuck under any sort of, you know, rough bits. And then just pin it like that. And so this, the back, you're sandwiching in the, the, the straps, but the front facing, you won't have straps because you're gonna do the buttonholes. So you're just, when, so you do it exactly the same on the front, but without the straps. Okay. So you're sewing in the facing, sewing it round, and then, and then whilst you're at it, you see I've, I've, I've actually formed my creases on the side curve before I've put my facing in because it makes it so much easier afterwards to just um, do it. Um, and um, then we can join the front to back bibs, mm -hmm. join the side seams and then we can stitch all the way up, across and down, all the way round, up, across and down for the, on the front and the back. And, and then, then attach it to your trousers. And then you've done that, you attach it to your trousers, top stitch it here across the um, waist seam and uh, give it a good press pop your buttonholes on and your buttons and that's it wow i mean they are amazing aren't they yeah. i can't wait to see everybody's and uh, sorry that it was uh, a bit of a pit it's stop a bit, through at the end but yes, it's all in your pattern you can see you know just just that that's obviously something to look out for because i should have moved them over a little bit so just be aware of that when you're making it no, it's just nice to show some key stages, isn't it? Yeah. Of course, if you're getting your pattern, you've got all of your instructions there as yeah. well. So, bucket hat. We've literally got 10 minutes, uh, again, to show any of the key features. I'm sure you'll be back with the bucket hat because oh, it is literally yes. about to sell out anyway. I think we might um, be back £10.99. It's going to be one that you use in the winter as well. I know that we've done it on the show. In fact, I've got it here. I'll show you. That's the winter version. Yeah. But in lots of different fabrics. It's going to look lovely whether you're doing this in, in your cotton canvas, whether you're doing it in denim, whether you're doing it in um, any of your quilting weight cotton, it's fine to do with yes, as well, isn't that's it? Right. I just use a medium face, uh, medium weight interfacing on the inside because I quite like it as being a bit soft and yeah. squidgy. You know, you can literally screw it up and pop it in your bag Absolutely. and get it out and pop it on. Um, the, I've put a little note in the pattern which basically says that your hat is uh, one side um, 
one fabric and one side lining. But you can see on this one, I've sort of swapped them round. So okay. you, you can do that. Does that make it reversible? Well, it does, but it's the opposite to what the other side is, isn't yeah. it? So it is, it is a reversible hat. Uh -huh. um, uh, if you if you sew up the lining or <laughs> nicely. Nice and neatly. Um, but this one here, I've done just the uh, brim and the brim in the same fabric as the outer, and the li it's the lining. Oh, really that's fun! So if you do that, then you just have to cut two brims in the outer fabric rather than one. So okay. you might need a bit of extra fabric, or you might need to place them slightly differently in the late plan. Do you like um, Veronique? Yes, yes, I do. She's my latest model. I love all your models. Model. <laughs> So with um, the hat, now the one thing you must remember with hats is to keep to your seam allowance okay. because if you go and sew jumbo seam allowances, obviously it's not going to fit. The other th tip I would say is clip your seam allowances to ease it in because what you want it to do is to, one, one is going that way, the other is going that way, so you've got to ease the pieces in. So by clipping the seam allowances, and it does say in the, in the pattern, then you should be fine. But there's lots of things you can do to check on as you go. One of the things is uh, to, and the pattern is in small, medium and large. The medium is 55 centimeters. And, the, and on the blog, it gives you a little diagram about where to actually measure for your head. But basically, it's across your temple, above your ear, and around the back of your head. Yes, small so, is 55, medium is 57, and large is 59 right. centimetres. Yes. Um, and what else was I going to say? There's also a choice of brim width. Okay. So this so is you... the wide brim width. So you can see you can have that Paddington bear look by having it flipped up or, you know, cool, or the, cooler, the Jane, yeah. Jane Crawford look. <laughs> cool at Glastonbury uh, budget yeah. hat. Or you can have the narrow width brim width, which is much more of a bucket hat. So the other one's a bit more glam and this one's a little bit more Glasto. Yes, love it. So, you know, it's, really cool. it's, got, the, it's got the sizes variation and also the brim variation and also how you mix and match the fabric. So there's lots, of, lots on offer. Now, um, here I, is the side band, and this is the brim. I'm just doing a small brim. Here's the crown, and here's the um, crown lining, cap, brim lining. So the first thing I'm going to do is sew the side seams of the, of the side band, and that's the side panel here. Now, it has to be said that if you have got lots of hair, so if you've got very curly hair. Yeah, Hannah's you, like, I have. Hannah, I was thinking of you. Like, I wish I had curls. Oh, hey? me I too. I wish I had curl hair. Anyway, you might want a little bit more ease. So you might want to sew a one centimetre seam allowance rather than a 1.5. Mm -hmm. And that might just make it a little bit more sitting better on your head. Um, but, uh, the best thing to do is to make up your, oops, just come unthreaded. See, I'm all fingers and thumbs now. Do, do, do. Just talk amongst yourselves, please. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm sewing down the side seam, side band. Um, now, if you sew a one, even though the, the seam allowance is one centimeter, uh, one point five centimeters, if you sew a one centimeter, it's much, it, and you find it's just a bit big, um, you can always re sew, re stitch it. But if you sew too big, see, and I'm trying it on now. Yeah, keep trying it. And that's much. that's fine. It hasn't got the lining in, but I can tell straight away that's going to be fine. They've got a little bit of ease. You don't want it to be tight. And you can tell straight away if you've got the right seam allowance and you're going to be fine. So you want to then press that seam allowance flat, like so. And also give yourself a little bit of um, a favor by just trimming little points in the edge. And that just makes that seam um, edge a little bit less bulky. There you go. 
Um, so that's your side brim. And you can see that I've marked my um, points on it. So you're transferring your notches to the pattern. And because I'm going to notch that later, I've done it with a pen. It's got interfacing on it, so it doesn't matter. I've done it with a Sharpie pen, and you're much easier to see. Because when you've got the notches, you won't see it. So um, now, here's the brim. And I'm doing exactly the same with the brim. And again, if you've sewn a one centimetre, do the same with the brim. You've got to match the two. Right, so, and then we'll press that flat. How much time have we got? Um, literally a couple of seconds. Minutes. Two minutes. Right, so I'll just... <laughs> it's like we're a sewing bee. <laughs> so, and then we're going to, now I've top stitched that side seam, top stitch as well the side seam of the brim. We join the two together, the two brims, match the outer seam, the outer edge rather, and use your clips to sort of hold it, or pins if you don't have clips, and just make sure that's all aligned. Sew all the way round, and then turn it in, so trim the seam allowance down, and then turn it inside out. Okay. And then you want to do the little stitching like you've got here. So you've got lines of stitching, but on this one, I've just done one line of stitching, you know, lengthen your stitch length and get that nice top stitch effect. Does that make it more sort of, um, what's the word, rigid if you put more if lines you of do, stitching across it? If you across do across lines it. of stitching, and I've put to do them one centimetre apart, so just line up the, your foot to the previous line of stitching. Uh, obviously, the first one is to the edge. And then just go round and round, leave long thread ends, thread them in with a needle. And then um, that definitely makes it a bit more sturdy. Yeah. Um, it's a bit more floppy if you don't. But, you know, it's, it's, it's nice either, really. Um, and then you, uh, once you've turned that inside out, uh, well, you need to put your brim, uh, your crown on to uh, your... So you've, you've notched... You've notched four points, and then you, you're going to match those up to the side band. So, mm, there. So, we've got one there. And it's, it's a circle, the top crown, so there's no front and back. But obviously, there is if you've got a pattern direction. And you can see that I've done a little run, line of, of uh, very long stitch, running stitch. Just so to that gather it. long length, so I can gather it mm. up. And then you're literally easing that in, so I'm matching up the four points, one of them being the back seam. And uh, you can use your clips, or if not, just pop pins in going perpendicular. And there's my last. So match up the four points, and then once you've got those four points in place, then pin even more so you you, you know you and just ease between e ease, ease your gathering you don't want any puckers when you're sewing and mm -hmm. it's quite a good idea to sew on top of your line of tacking stitching thank you so so much i'm so sorry sorry <laughs> no i know we, we need like a whole day with oh, you fiona i tell you what i just could do hats all day long oh i know we could have hats all day long it's sold out the bucket hat did completely sell oh. out have a look on youtube though because we have done, I have done you know before, a few I, demonstrations yes, where we've gone yes. through different techniques so if you search the brighton hat or the bucket hat fiona hesford you'll find it on and youtube and i have linked the film from previous shows onto my blog i think perfect if there not, you go i will be doing that later thank you have a look at the uh the show tomorrow who's on Judd Scott with uh, Susie Duncan with a little bag. A uh, little bag on the prairie at 8 o'clock. You've also got sewing room tools at 9. Free spirit uh, party book. Block party book with Susie Duncan. Designer fabrics at 11. And then breeze block and heading south quilts with Judd Scott at 12 o'clock. It's going to be a brilliant show. Happy birthday, Hannah. We've had a lovely, lovely day. We're about to hand over to our sister show, Hobby Maker. They've got a great show. Uh, loads coming up on their show with Crafters Companion and Francine, uh, Francois Reed as well. So please do make sure you stay tuned. Do have a look through. Lots of your deals are available until midnight tonight. Anna Maria Horner, Fat Quarters, all the fabric deals that Hannah had for our birthday. It's been amazing. Um, Thank you, Fiona. Yes, thank we'll you. We'll see you soon. Lovely seeing you. I know, yeah, I know. Thank you. It's mm -hmm. been really nice thank to see you. you. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Uh, don't go anywhere. We're about to hand over to lovely show, Hobby Maker. I oh, will see you next week. Bye. Bye.
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day.